Never fails. Just when I want to time something correctly, something has to just kind of lock up. Give me a minute here. I was trying to queue up a song so we could talk about what game actually won tonight, but apparently iTunes decided it just doesn't want to work today. It just does not want to read any of the music I have here. There it is, finally. Cool, there we go. Cue up music because we're going to a black screen for a few minutes. How y'all doing? Hopefully your weekend was good, everybody. It is time for game clearing. And game clearing this time around was a poll voted on by subs to see what game we're playing next. Now, what happened this time around was I gave subs 10 different game choices. I gave them 10 game choices, each a game that only one sub had suggested this year. So... These are all basically... Since all the other polls had basically been games that had gotten the most votes, or the most suggestions, it felt fair to do a couple, or at least one full round, with just single suggested ones. So, ten games, each one only recommended once. Let's go over Go the list man. before we show the results. You know what you're doing? The game. <laughs> I don't... Is there power trip on Wednesday? It's it's looking like it's gonna be sub night on Wednesday. Unless plans change last what? minute again, it'll be uh, sub gaming eight. night. Eight. 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 Good eight. job, Stanley. Eight. All right, where's my alphabetical list? Well, alphabetical-ish. I think I screwed it up and used the at some point. All right, here were the 10 games that people voted on. They were given DuckTales Remastered, Metal Gear Solid Ghost Babble. Is it is it Reketeer? I always said Reketeer, but is it, I think it's Reseteer and Item Shop's Tale. Sin of Punishment Star Successor. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 2003 cartoon version for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, previous systems for the others. DuckTales Remastered Steam. Metal Gear Solid Ghost Babble is Game Boy Color. Uh, Reseteer is Steam. And Sin and Punishment Star Successor is Wii. Ninja Turtles 2003 for GBA. The Dog Island for Wii. Twinkle Star Sprites on the Switch. It was an arcade game. Wander Song on the Switch. Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap on Switch, and Zone of the Enders the Second Runner. I listed PS2 for that, but I was probably gonna do uh, one of the one of the remakes, if that one. So, now that we all know the 10 games that were in the poll. <clears throat> did we already do a Cine Punch for game for game clearing? Yeah. Yeah, we did the original back in 2018, I want to say. Yes. December 18th, 2018. So, three years ago. Three years ago minus a couple weeks. So, it seemed only fitting to do Star Successor as well. All right. Well, with that, how about we show the actual results? Coming in at 10th place. So, the way this worked, we had... 10 options, but we forgot to change the values of the votes. So first first place on the ranking votes was 15 points, second place was 14, etc. Which means if you ranked all 10, your last place game got 6 points. Oops, that's my fault. I forgot to mention that. I forgot to change it. <clears throat> so the numbers are going to be a little bit higher for votes based on the games, but it did lead to a funny ending anyway, so I'm okay with this. All right, in last place, with a total of 3,610 voting points, Twinkle Star Sprites. Oh, sorry, Unidentified Squid Switch votes 360. Let's just, yeah, sorry, let's get that over there. Twinkle Star Sprites. This was the shortest game I had. On, you're going to just, this is a Goldman, you're in the way, my dude. Look at your left. What? Yeah, Twinkle Star Sprites. This was the shortest game on the list by far. Uh, it well, could have been beaten in 30 minutes. And that's probably why I got last place. In ninth place, and uh, honestly, really disappointed in this. 
Really thought this one would be higher. Zone of the Enders, the second runner. 4,531 points. I genuinely thought this was going to be higher. Was genuinely surprised on this one. Uh, I guess no one wanted a mech anime done by Hideo Kojima, I guess. Or maybe that wasn't clear enough, but someday, Zone of the Enders, someday. All right, eighth place, 4,620 points, Wander Song. This was an indie title that came out, uh, is it two years ago now, or is it one? But it's all about music and being a bard that essentially uses the power of music and color to save the world. It, it was really interesting, but unfortunately it didn't beat everything else. Seventh place. 4,915 points. You're gonna find the next couple are pretty close together. Metal Gear Solid Ghost Babble. Also really surprised on this one. Metal Gear Solid Ghost Babble is actually really good. It basically is a Metal Gear game on the Game Boy. It's surprisingly well done, but uh, really not what everyone wanted. Uh, this puts us at sixth place with 4,918 points. So three points higher than Metal Gear Solid Ghost Babble for the Game Boy Color was Ninja Turtles for the Game Boy Advance. Apparently no one wanted Ninja Turtles this time around. These were all pretty close. There's going to be a bit of a jump here. Then the next few are going to be close. And then the winner wasn't close. The winner, the winner won by far. First place, I think, got the lead the second I put up the poll, and it never lost it. Next up, fifth place, 5,132 points. Reseteer, an item shop's tale on Steam. An interesting Japanese indie game about running a shop and uh, also running into dungeons to get items. But the... Uh, it was not to be. Sorry, Reseteer. Top four, fourth place with 5,134 points. So only two points more than Reseteer. Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap, the 2017 remake. Uh, I believe this is Lizard Cube, the folks that made Streets of Rage 4. They did this before Streets of Rage 4, which was a remake of the Master System Sega Genesis game. And uh, it's... It looks amazing, but it also does feel a little dated, so, but it is fun. I do recommend it. Which brings us to the top three. Again, not too far ahead. In third place, with 5,230 votes. Sin and Punishment Star Successor for the Wii. Again, as someone pointed out earlier, we did do the original Sin and Punishment for game clearing a couple years back. Uh, and we had played Star Successor somewhat recently, I think within the past year on stream as well. It's a good game. I do recommend it. And I actually was curious to play more of it. But uh, it had to be some other time. Which leaves us with two games. Second and third place actually swapped a little bit. Sin and Punishment was in second at some point. But this game took the lead after it. And held on for the rest of the polling. In second place, with 5,429 votes, The Dog Island for Wii. Some and make that a lot of people remember Truck Nuts McFuck Nuts, our, uh, our awesome dog mascot. But it wasn't enough. And it's actually probably a good thing because we lost the save file for that when my Wii U died. So... That means the winning game is, of course, DuckTales Remastered. However, it, uh, it's a bit of an ill omen, I feel, because uh, it won with 6,666 votes, exactly. It somehow ended up with exactly 6666 points. So, a little nervous about that. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, all right. Well, now that I've got that shown off, I think I can hop over here and show this. 
I'm just gonna say this right now. DuckTales fucking crushed it. It got the most first place votes. It got the most second place votes. It was second in third place votes, only losing to Metal Gear Solid Ghost Battle by three votes. It got the least amount of last place votes, and it got the least amount of skipped votes by 50. It was a significant difference. People who, people really, really wanted DuckTales Remastered. Like, a lot. That was kind of insane. In fact, uh, DuckTales Remastered was also the most third place votes until I put out the tweet today saying, hey, subs, check, check the Discord for votes. So it had all these categories won. It was insane. It was fucking crazy. All right. Well, yeah, there we go. Let's do it. It's time for some DuckTales. Remastered. Now, some of you are probably wondering, why am I playing DuckTales Remastered when I straight up did a Let's Play of DuckTales already for the NES? And the answer is, they actually added extra stages in a way. So it is a different game. So I'm counting it as its own separate beast. Oh, that's the wrong screen. Mike, do you want to see my new chainsaw, Hacky Bass? Ah! Oh, sorry. What am I thinking? Another way forward title, the remake of the original Capcom made NES game. Uh, I don't like this one as much as the original, and I've talked about it in the Let's Play as well. They don't shut up. <laughs> There's so much talking in this version of the game. Now that's to its benefit too because it's the original voice cast from the show. They do an amazing job with it but it's just it's so chatty is the only way to describe it. It just doesn't flow as well as the NES game did. But it is still a good game so that's what we're playing next. Let's, let me just update the titles. All right. This game's not VOD safe. I am aware. I am aware. I went with it anyways. I can't always... Like, it's it's just uh, losing monetization. It's, like, it doesn't mute, so we're safe. All right, let's do it. We are, of course, going to play on a hard difficulty because I think the only difference is you get less health. I forget what it is in this case. Been alarm. Quick, Duckworth, get the limo. I shall uh, <clears throat> get out in gear, sir. Hurry, Duckworth, hurry! The pedal is to the metal, Mr. McDonald. Oh, not the Beagle Boys again. If they think they can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash, they've got another thing coming. What was that supposed to say? Kirby... <coughs> Kirby Bolt says, The director did come out and say later that he regrets that the game was so chatty. They went ham on it because if Disney comes to you and says, Hey, use our VAs, what are you going to do? This was the last major performance for some of the VAs, such as Alan Young, who's Scrooge McDuck, Rusty Taylor, who's the nephews, and June Foray, who's... Oh, yeah. Character we'll see later, for sure. Alright, what is the pogo control on this one? Alright, it's hold. I'm fine with that. Alright, so if you're not familiar with DuckTales, the way it works is that um, you basically just jump around in the air and money appears. That's essentially how the game works. I feel like that's just the perfect summary at this point. Scrooge has got his cane, which he can use to hit walls and other objects with, and he can also pogo stick. The pogo essentially is invincibility. Oh, 
over the whole place. <laughs> yeah, me money. Hey, don't forget about me, Uncle Scrooge. Eh? Oh, 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 don't worry, lad, I'll save you. While jumping, hold X to perform a pogo jump. <laughs> Mama, be so proud. I, I, I caught me a duck. <laughs> Oh, 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 now that's what I call a stomachache. You were hit on the head, you moronic marauder. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Scrooge. You're welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? Well, we saw the Beagle Boys going into the money bin. We? Sure. Louie and Dewey are here, too. You better hurry, Uncle Scrooge. They might be in trouble. For as much as I hate how chatty the game is, I do genuinely enjoy the voice work, because I grew up loving the cartoon. Hence why I played the game in the first place. I just think it go just goes a little, a little harder than it should have, basically. Or a little more frequent, I guess, is the better way to put it. Because the voice acting jobs everyone did are actually really good. All right, the main mechanic as well is is finding treasure as well. There's treasure hidden everywhere in treasure chests, in secret areas, and just straight up in midair. Have I seen any of the reboot? I've seen a couple episodes. I actually really liked it a lot. I just never got around to watching more of it. Because I believe the service it was on to watch in Canada, uh, I didn't have access to. Or it wasn't in one. It might now, since we have Disney+. Plus. But at the time, I didn't. I just never thought about it. Do Prime subs count for sub nights? Yes, I do not discriminate between Prime subs, regular subs, and, and the tiers. You're fine. It is on Disney Plus? All right, well then I guess I will have to finally sit down and watch it at some point. Like I said, the few episodes I saw were pretty good. And I always love the doctor playing as Scrooge. Kind of perform a cane swing. I'm sorry, David Tennant will always be the doctor to me. I just really liked his performance. Say what? Yeah, no. David David Tennant, one of the actors that played Doctor Who in the modern reboot. He's Scrooge McDuck. And he does a really good job. Hey, kid, you got a sandwich or something? Let me go, you big old bum! Not even for that little snack. Big time, it troubled me. Get away from him, you gluttonous goon. Sorry, Scroogey. Not a chance. Burger! <laughs> Hammer. You saved me, Uncle Scrooge! Aye, I did. Are you hurt, lad? Nah, I'm fine. But I saw Louie heading up the stairs with about a thousand beagle boys right behind him. Stay here. I'll handle this. David Tennant and Peter Capaldi are the best. I haven't watched... I stopped watching near the end of um, Matt Smith. I couldn't remember his name for a second. Near the end of Matt Smith's run. And I never actually got around to seeing any of Capaldi or the current lady or any Doctor Who since. I don't remember what... I even have the DVDs for the rest of, I think, Matt Smith's run. I didn't like Matt. He was different, but I liked his take. I just never got around to finishing it for some reason. I didn't like the, the show's quality after a while, I guess. It didn't grab me as well as it did when I first started watching. But I'd heard a lot of complaints similar to that anyways, so I'm not shocked. Jody Whittaker, that's the current doc? Okay. Worst Doctor Who? See, that's the thing. I've only seen the, the reboot. And a couple episodes of uh, Baker's Run. So I can't exactly give you the definitive answer for myself. 
Because generally, I liked every actor they've had play the Doctor so far. Oh, crap. Yeah, that one's gone. The red ones are the ones you always want to grab, so... No! Oh, there we go, perfect. You can change the Pokemon mechanics back to old style. Actually, I like the new style better, honestly. <laughs> I actually like this way better. I have so much more control. Nope, okay. For some reason I thought this was one of the spots I could jump over. And maybe because after David Tennant's time as Dr. Ender, the head writer of the show changed from Russell T. Davis to, I think, Stephen Moffat. Yes, Moffat! I remember hearing about him and hearing a lot of complaints about him. The entire feel of the show changed with that, but I think Russell T. Davis is coming back to the show. Yeah, I remember people complain a lot about Stephen Moffat. Yeah, I like that the old pogo controls are there, but like literally this this one just lets you like control how high you want to go on it like super easily. It doesn't require holding down the uh, like down as well, and you can just cancel out of it whenever you want. It actually works really good. with this one? I think it's... Yeah, there we go. Come on. Let's dodge the giant hammers. you free in a jiffy. Not so fast, Big Jump. We're running things around here now. Cuss me, Kilt. One false move and I'm a roast duck. Leave me at the scrooge. It's not worth it. Nonsense, my boy. Blast. Of course, he jumped back to me immediately. Damn it. You'll never beat us, Scrooge. Good, Damn it. Hey, it's just three, John. I'm going to buy Ma a new hat. Well, that's nice of you, Beagle Boy. It's a shame you're not going to get to enjoy that, though. Ow. We almost got them all. A fat lot of good that will do us if they make it to me vault. I really need some health. Nothing wants to drop health, of course. Where's my sky ice cream when you need it? Sky ice cream! I'll take it one up. That works too. Step away from me, fortune, you crook. Uh, 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 not this time, McDuck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. I think, yeah, with one hit point, I think I'm actually going to fuck this up. I remember this guy actually being somewhat tricky at times. There was something I had a hard time dodging. Your safe is securely Oh, because it bounces off the wall. That's what fucked me up. There you are, sir. Hard mode doesn't give health restoration? Mm, no, that's wrong. We found health already in the stage. 
I'm pretty sure anyways that's wrong. Fuck! There you are, sir. You, I'm sorry, I disagree with that one. There we go. Yeah, I'm playing on hard mode. In case you're wondering why I'm getting already like kind of trounced at the beginning. Everything is ready, son. There you are, sir. Should be hit number five. Curse you, muck duck! This ain't the last you'll see of me. Storming out. Good riddance to bad beagles, I say. Now, why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable. It disappeared. Oh, pluck me pin feathers! It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys, boys. What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. frick dune What is it, Uncle Scrooge? It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only Uncle Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Look! One of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's another one in Transylvania. I'm impressed they know how to read coordinates. Ten miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something screwy. This last treasure can't be right. Yeah, there's no mountain on Earth that's that high. Well, according to the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook, to get there we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. You mean the moon moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. They're Junior Woodchucks, of course they can read coordinates. Fair enough. Alright, and now the actual part of the game. The Amazon, Transylvania, African Mines, the Himalayas, and the Moon. Those are the five stages we can go to. Or, we can just kind of fuck off and go jump in the vault. Whee! This is pretty much the best addition to this version, is just being able to swim in the vault. I know the more treasures you find through the game, you start finding them in here, so... I remember that. And the more money you get overall. But also, the money you get in the game has a purpose this time around. Because there's a bunch of unlocks you can get. However, uh, we can buy, like, basically concept art for the characters. Sprite sheets, essentially. But I know that a bunch of this is expensive. But now we can buy sprite sheets for hockey playing duck! And, you know, all those other characters you remember from DuckTales. Such as spider, and goat, and rabbit. Uh... Yo, I gotta buy Glom Gold. Look at this Scotsman. Look at this raid. What's up, Tom? Tom, I was going to dedicate the next purchase to you, but I actually don't have enough money to buy anything. I only have $140,000. That's it. Oh, I'm getting another raid? Oh, Joey Gatorman also raided at the same time. <laughs> Well, if you double rate it, I guess we'll just double countermeasures then, shall we?
Thank you, he's an evil genius, Joey Gatorman, and apparently I missed a third raid from Jumney at some point. So, uh, Jumney, uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. You're all joining in for game clearing. Uh, we put a vote to the subs, and the subs ended up picking pretty unanimously DuckTales Remastered. So that's what we're working through right now. Wait, it's all raids? Always has been. Okay, let's... Hmm. I'm trying to remember where the health extensions are in this version of the game. I don't remember if it's in the same spots as the NES one or not. Because if it's like the NES one, then it's Transylvania and Himalayas for the health extensions. It's in the same spots? Okay, then it's Transylvania and Himalayas. Wait, so my top vote was actually the top vote for once? You did it, Tom. You did it. Proud of you. DuckTales won by a landslide. It had 6,666 vote points. Watch out. Nice. Twitch poll for first stage? I mean, sure, why not? Let's do it. I know what they're gonna pick, but let's make it, I guess, formal. What was second and third? Second was the Dog Island, and third was Sin and Punishment Star Successor. They had like 5,000 something votes each. They were very far behind DuckTales. Oh, is anyone not, is no one doing the poll? Sorry, I thought someone was doing the poll. Then I'll do the poll. Here we go. Pulls up. I don't have my screen capture on this one. Damn it. Uh, browser, browser. Add existing. Huh. Wait, why is it not even sh- what the heck? Dang it, well there's no point in that then. Get out of here. Not the game, you doofus! <laughs> Thank God Control Z actually works on this. Well, you'll have to take my word for it then. Transylvania currently in a commanding lead, surprisingly. 55% of the vote. 206 votes total. Second place is uh, the Amazon. 17%, 64 votes total. The Moon right behind that, though, 16%, now 65 votes. It actually just took the lead, and it's going back and forth with Amazon. Fourth place is the Himalayas, 6%, 24 votes, and African Mines is in last, 5%, 20 votes. Transylvania is crushing it at the moment. All right, you know what? I think that that seems pretty pretty strong settled. Let's go to Transylvania. Pack your bags, boys. We're off to Transylvania, and we're no coming back without the coin of the lost realm.
Let's take all the children with us. This is it, kids. Draculesty Manor. Home of the legendary Drake Von Vladstone. Heir to the coin of the Lost Realm. Boy, it's kind of creepy out here, isn't it? Uh, Uncle Scrooge, we're not going to break into this guy's house, are we? Yeah, of course not, Louis. This castle has been abandoned for centuries. Hey, look at this. The Junior Woodchuck Guidebook says Drake Von Gladstone was best known by his nickname, Count Dracula Duck. Uh, is there really a monster in there, Uncle Scrooge? Ah, uh, don't be silly, Webby. Yeah, there's no such thing as Dracula. Right! Ah, uh, he is right, isn't he, Uncle Scrooge? Uh, of course he is, Louis. Vampires, banshees, and mischievous spirits are just a lot of superstitious hocus pocus. Ah! But you better stick close to me, just in case. I'm going home. You can all go get the treasure without me. Oh, hey. Thought there was something back here. Actually, I think if I go all the... Does this take me back home if I do this? No, it stops. Okay. Let's just steal more sky treasure while we're at it. Stay put and keep an eye on Wee Webigale. I'll be back with the treasure in no time. Aw, nuts. We want to come with you, Uncle Scrooge. Don't worry. I'll be back with the coin. Nice. E pluribus unum. E purple bus whoom? Yeah, I'm not sure that's as fast as you think it is. Besides, why should we have to stay here just because Webby's a big chicken? Yeah. We're not afraid of... Oh, uh, whatever's hiding out there, uh, are we? You boys are so mean. I'll show you who's not afraid of the dark. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no! Huey, Dewey, Louie. Will they be all right, Uncle Scrooge? Of course. Everything will be fine, my darling. Wait here, and I'll be back with the lads lickety-split. Mm-hmm. Yep. Perfectly safe. Oh, I forgot how good the remix was on this stage. Oh, man. No wonder people voted for this. Good old Vert. What is this? The secret passage? All right, the main gimmick of the stage is going to be all secret passages and weird warps and etc. So get ready for a lot of just jumping around in weird spots. Other than me just trying to find mid-air sky treasure anyways. I assume the, the invincibility medallion is not going to be in this one. Nope, health was though. So yeah, we already just proved that there's it's whoever said there's no health in the game in hard. Uh, that's a path to a different. You know what? Let's go get some of the treasure that's up here, anyways. a warp out point. Uh, I guess let's clean up this room fully and then let's go get the health extension because that's in a specific spot.
Ow. Damn. We're gonna lose all our health if I keep this up. Damn it. Where do I need to break you to actually hit that treasure chest? Probably around here, right? There we go. Ooh, that could have been bad. Oh, Tomoyo, sorry. I probably should have told you. You don't need to time out any spoilers on this. I I already did the original game, and they're all the same. So, yeah, uh, you can untime out uh, Nards for that. Sorry, that was, I probably should have stated that. That's my fault. That was my fault. No, you don't have to worry about spoilers for this game other than the story ending. Don't spoil the story ending. I don't care if you tell me about secrets. It's, it's probably all shit from the NES game anyways. Sorry about that, Nards. But yeah, there's there's a uh, not even a uh, there's not even a launch pad on this stage, right? Cause it oh oh actually hang on, cause you say it's when you start a stage. Is it uh isn't it different in this one? Is it different rather than this one? Cause usually it was go to the launch pad. There we go, got the one up. Come on. One of these has got something good in it. Scrooge must keep losing count. I mean, we haven't even reached one billion yet, and he keeps counting billions, so. He's just really excited about all the money. Oh, there these guys are. All right. Ice cream. Come on. Give me enough room. Nope. Damn it. Damn it, thought I had enough clearance. Alright, this one, yeah, that's a warp back point, so I don't need to worry about that one. I think the correct way to go to progress the stage is over here. I think I can actually just... Okay, yeah, you guys can't be killed like that. I forgot. Yeah, so the correct warp's over here. Which is why we're going to ignore it. Because I think the health extension is down here. right to me. Perfect. There we go. Now we're in a much better situation. Now we can piss off the dead. You can't even use the warp without finding Scrooge's nephews first. Oh, that's hilarious, because in the NES one, you didn't have to. You could leave them captured by the Beagle Boys.
There we go. <laughs> that's mean, but effective. Yeah, that's the Scrooge McDuck way. I mean, he would eventually save the kids, but it's just really funny that you have the option not to. <laughs> Some people are also mentioning, uh, yeah, first off, this game got delisted for a while. It actually got returned, was it last year? So that's actually the reason I have the the Switch version in the first place, because I originally only owned this on Wii U, but I lost access to it when our Wii U died. But uh, I actually picked this up right before it got delisted on Steam the first time, and that's why we're playing this version. But it got re-added since. Oh, crap. Sarah, did I say Switch? I meant Wii U. We, I said Steam. Sorry, I meant Steam. My bad. Sorry, I meant Steam. It is not on Switch as far as I'm aware of. I know there's also a... Um, Disney Afternoon Collection that's out on a couple systems, and that has the original one. I think it also has DuckTales 2 as well. Yo, I'm out of here. Alongside hey, uh, that wasn't a ghost at all. both Chippendales and Tailspin. Trying to beat me to my treasure, no doubt. But it'll take more than just an old bed sheet and flower dust to frighten off Scrooge McDuck. Look, Uncle Scrooge, that Beagle Boy dropped something. It's an old piece of paper. Twist me, Tartan. It's an ancient rune. You mean like a magic spell? I lad, at least part of one. Gee, I wonder who tore it into pieces. We'll worry about that later. Right now, I want you to head to the front door and wait for me. I'll be back once I've found the treasure. Off you go, lad. Right, so that's why the inventory symbol is here. They added that we have to get these three items. That wasn't in the original one, which is why you could ignore the kids. DuckTales 1 and 2, Rescue Rangers 1 and 2, Darkwing Duck, and Tailspin were all in there. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't realize Darkwing Duck was also in that collection. Makes sense, I was just surprised. They're all good choices. Alright, now we should be back to where that... That was perfect. Alright, we looped around, so let's go to the basement area. Six games for five bucks, heck yeah. And that's six games that are stupidly expensive if you were to buy them for NES in physical form now. All those games are dumb expensive to one point or another. I think Chippendale 1 might... No, actually, DuckTales might be the cheapest. I'm trying to remember which actually is cheaper of the two, because they're both pretty, pretty expensive. Or, I guess the rest, rather, are pretty expensive. You know what? Sorry, I'm curious now. I hate that it doesn't it counts the music when I do that, but uh, do 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 do, Chip and Dale. Sorry, it's the letter N. Chip and Dale. Rescue Rangers one for the NES. is 12 bucks getting the cartridge that's pretty good no not ducktales for game boy not ducktales for game why is why is nes ducktales not listed on here what i'm sorry it's not here there it is it's because it's disney's ducktales that explains that but the game boy one's just ducktales 
Yeah, so Rescue Rangers 1, if you want just the cartridge, is 12 bucks. DuckTales, if you want just the cartridge, is 17 bucks. But if you want Rescue Rangers 2, it is a $213 for just the cartridge, $620 for the box. And DuckTales 2 is $254 for the cartridge, $551 for the box. And I think Darkwing Duck and uh, I think Darkwing Duck's around fifty bucks, and I think Tailspin's like twenty, maybe less. Yeah, Darkwing Duck is sixty-five bucks. It's a little bit higher than I thought. These are all U.S. prices, I should state. And Tailspin is one word. I should have known. <laughs> And NES Tailspin cartridge is 23 bucks. 74 bucks for the box. Those are all American prices. But yeah, so uh, Chippendale 2 and DuckTales 2 all came out like really late in the NES life cycle. Like I think the SNES had been out for a couple years. So that's why they're as expensive as they are. It's one of those situations. I believe they're also both generally considered not as good as the original version, although eh, your mileage may vary on that. I think DuckTales 2 was fine. And I didn't mind Rescue Rangers 2 at all either. But way more kids have nostalgia for the first one than they do the second, myself included. Ah, crap. Couldn't get away that time. Right, so that? The special stage is accessed differently than NES. In NES, as you have, as you know, you meet Launchpad mid-level. In this one, if you start the Amazon stage with a 7 in the 10,000th place, you'll go to the stage directly. Okay, so we've got to somehow end a stage with a 10th, uh, or go into that stage with a 7. That's going to be interesting. Does that count buying stuff from the um, from the shop? Because otherwise that's going to be a pain in the ass to figure out. Yes, you can chain... Okay, at the shop. Okay, shop counts. Good. All right, then that seems way easier to do then. Oh no, there's two ghosts! Which one's the real one? Next time, he'll think twice before scrapping with Scrooge McDuck. Speaking of scraps, he dropped this huck at Scrooge. Ah, it looks like another piece of that torn up sorcery. Ah, uh, say what? A magic spell. And it's nearly complete. Just one piece left to find. If only I knew where to start looking. Well, that bungle boy did say this house has an illusion wall. Uh, do you think he meant... Of course, a secret passage. Oh, no wonder I've been having so much trouble finding anything around here. Good lad. Now, off you go. I need you to wait at the entrance with the others. Don't go that way, it's full of spikes! Oops. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it. 
there wasn't shit up there before. Ah! I don't think I can go back and get that either. I'm going to assume if I get back, there's going to be nothing there. But I'm just going to run through to see just in case. Because none of the other treasure chests respawn, so I'm going to assume that got missed straight up. We also might find Dewey stuck in the spike, so maybe... Maybe it's a good thing we've come back. Oh, that's his ghost. Yeah, crap. We can't get up there. Uh, what's up there? Probably just red treasure, red gems, and a one-up. If I had to guess. I think it's just money, just an extra li maybe an extra life. That's what I figured. Yeah, there's no point redoing the stage. We've already completed, like, 80% of it. We have to do the minecart ride, and that's about it. And then, I guess, fight the actual boss. So up here in that shining mirror, we get warped to a little minecart ride here. Oh, shit, or not. Sorry, I wanted to hit the door. All right, how differently does this control, I wonder? Eh, pretty much the same. And I can jump out of a duck. Okay, good. No oh, fuck. Okay, I thought I didn't do that. I didn't even see this here. Jesus. Two ghosts again. Oh, three ghosts. Oh, no. Not so tough without your army helmet, eh? <laughs> Wait till the gang in Sing Sing finds out you were knocked flat by an old guy in his cane. <laughs> yeah, thank you, lad. Yeah? Well, you better be careful where you go poking around, McDuck. Or you's gonna have much bigger problems than me. So long. Now, what do you suppose he meant by that? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, quick, lad, see if there's a scrap of paper lying about. Turn around, uh, Scrooge. What do you mean like this one, Uncle Scrooge? Exactly. This is the last piece of the riddle. But what to do? That's what I'm about to find out. Quick, lad, go meet Webby and the others at the entrance. And all of you, stay put. There's just an abandoned minecart over there, Scrooge. God, you're bad at this. You've sent them all to the doom. No wonder there's more ghosts appearing. Really lost my hat on that one. Is there no end to this madness? Oh wow, yeah, this control's way better than the NES one. Holy crap. 
Like the the minecart. It's really stiff on NES for the minecart control. Uh, I think I wanted lower on that, right? Shit, it looked like I did too. Fuck. So I can't stand on this, right? Oh, I can. But I just can't go there. Okay. Shit. What was that down there? Because it looked like a coin. Is it worth going through again and getting that? That's a yes. Okay. Ugh. It wouldn't take that long to get back there if it wasn't for these guys and they're picking which way they want to move. Come on. Someone said they think it was just a, a big gem. Well, let's find out. It won't take that long. So it's just what I do the refight. Is there no end to this madness? Nearly lost my heart on that one. Is there no end to this madness? Nearly lost my hat on that one. Is there no end to this madness? Nearly lost my hat on that one. Is there no end to this madness? Nearly lost my hat on that one. Is there no end to this madness? Nearly lost my hat on that one. Everything is getting like. A little strap you can put on your hat so you don't lose it? What about that, Scrooge? It might work better for you, buddy. Is there no end to this <laughs> Nearly lost my hat on that one. Is there no end to this Should be right here, right? Oh, that was a new one. Nearly lost my hat on that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you know what? It, no that was still a lot. Is there no end to this He's just doing it now. He's just doing it now without me ducking. Did you miss Moon? No, we've we've only done Transylvania so far. Come on, come on. There we go. All right, back to where we need to be. Watch this. Part of the spell matches the inscriptions on this mirror. Look at the ducks. I solved the riddle. Uh, what riddle, Uncle Scrooge? You still got the entrance. Boys, I thought I told you to stay with Webby. They did stay with me, Uncle Scrooge. <laughs> right here. Oh, what a pretty mirror. Aye, lass. And if I'm right, using this spell will reveal the foul perpetrator. Behind all these shenanigans. <laughs> Magic I dispel. Ugh, I should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, Scroogey, my old friend. You wouldn't believe how much fun it is watching you run around making a fool of yourself. Oh, what? Magicka. <laughs> oh, you really don't think you need ancient sorcery to find Coin of Lost Realm, do you? No, I have Beetle Boy's hide paper scraps to throw you off trail. Why, you sneaky, conniving... Please, save compliments for garden party. What garden party? 
the one I will throw in celebration when I get home with lost coin. So long, fools! <laughs> Gee, she is very nice. <laughs> you said it, Webby. All right, you kids stay here. I'm going to track down that witch and give her a piece of my mind. Yeah, as, as Chad's been pointing out for the most part, uh, that is the original voice actress for Magicka Dispel, a main villain from the DuckTales cartoon. Uh, she was 96 years old when she recorded that voice acting, that voice track. To be fair, Scrooge was actually is also was pretty high up there as well. I'm trying to remember how old he was. I think someone in chat said 92 earlier for Scrooge's VA. Ninety-five for Scrooge. Okay. Oh, that's right. Magic of the Spell is also the fucking voice for Natasha and Rocky and Bullwinkle. I forgot that. It's like it's the same damn voice. Ah, no, no, right before boss cake. Okay. Scrooge, why must you always meddle? That coin is mine. Okay, this fight's very different. <laughs> There we go. This is how the boss fight normally is. And then I pressed the wrong button. Fuck. Oh, shit. That was lucky. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Well, now he's at full health again. Alright. Condor form. Four hits. How did that not hit me then? Act I'm a bit I thought that one definitely hit me just then. Oh, I guess that was only four hits. Gold men! Do you know what you're doing? Hmm. Or did she take more than five hits in this version? Okay. I don't. Oh crap. We done? We done. Last is inferior mirror and beam spells. It's last time I shop for spell ingredients at this discount store. You haven't seen lots of magic at the spell. You may have coin of lost realm, but your number one dime will soon be mine. <laughs> yeah, I'm 
And then Uncle Scrooge fell asleep holding the money. Did not know she also voiced the rubber baby bumper babysitter service lady from The Simpsons. Oh shit, that was her! Holy shit, I didn't even think of that! Damn, 50,000. Okay, so we gotta change that number to a seven, that five. And if we do that, we'll get a bonus stage. Do you think Magica will keep out of our way now, Uncle Scrooge? It's hard to say, lad. Folks like her have a way of popping up at the most inconvenient moments. Well, when it comes to Magica, there's no such thing as a convenient moment. Too true, Louie. Now then, where to next, lads? Well, obviously, back to the vault. Now it's a little bit higher. There's a couple of the diamonds we found. And of course, the coin we just found as well. Gallery purchases. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, do we have anything that'll get us to seven easily here? Have there anything? Is there anything with an eight zero eighty thousand? No. Are there two nineties? Well, actually, wait. Wouldn't this work? Hang on. No, it put me at 65. Never mind. Launch. Actually, yeah, you're right. Launchpad would work. Bingo. There we go. 75,000. All right, so let's do the bonus stage if it happens at the very beginning, and then we'll uh, go to break. How fitting, buying Launchpad to get Launchpad. So we have to go specifically to Amazon, right? Just making sure my notes. Start the Amazon stage with a seven in the 10,000th digit place. And you will go to the stage directly. Get launch pad on the horn. I'm headed to the Amazon jungle to find the scepter of the Incan king. <laughs> he just dropped me. Hey, Gyro. Thanks for the money. Oh, oh god, I can't... I couldn't see that that was a platform! I'm gonna... I'm gonna assume I can't do that again, huh? Because it saved, it saved my money amount, right? Yeah, shit. Uh, there was one with a nine here earlier, wasn't there? Yeah, this will work. No, wait, no, that'll put me at that'll put me at nine. Shit.
Meekly won't put me there. That'll put me at 1-2. Then I'm gonna have to pick something else off of Beakley. 195K and 225. That would work, I believe. Two two five. Nope, two five won't work. It'll, oh, it'll shoot me over. Shit, that's what I get for just buying willy nilly. If you have three mil, you'll find something. I'm sure there's some com uh, combo we can do here that'll work. And if we can buy that, um, ah, uh, huh. That's a number. <laughs> This is a known glitch, don't worry. Okay. Yeah, now a 9 would be perfect, but there's nothing here with a 9. Is there? And there's no setup to get a 9, is there? Because that's going to be 10. Actually, hang on. No, it would be a 6 again. Fuck. Right back where we were. Why are not the other? How much do I open the open the other stores? the buy from the main store here. Could do a different stage for Amazon. That's probably what I'm gonna have to do. Nice. All right. Uh, which price do I want to pay on this one? 150,000, 325,000, 175,000, 150,000, or 150? No, no, it's still 150,000. Just the zeros on the other line. Which price do I want to pay? <laughs> Pick your favorite. Oh my god, do I have to buy all of it? Because I know the prices and all the other ones are, I think, cheaper for the most part, so it'd be easier to tweak the number. Uh, well then, in that case, let's see if we can go back to Amazon for a split second and spend a little bit of money. We can't go back to Transylvania! Fuck! I have to go to a stage and leave and come back. I guess I'll just hop into a stage for a second and then just leave it? I assume I can do that, right? Can I even? I'm trying to think what stage has the most money at the beginning of it, though. You literally just did that. You know what? That's 
I'm an idiot. That's completely right. Find Gyro. Our next stop's Africa at the center of the Earth. What treasure do you think you'll find there, Uncle Scrooge? Only the largest gem known to history, the giant diamond of the inner Earth. Ah, oh, shit, it's not going to save the money. Ah. Hi, lads. This is the place. I can feel all those diamonds singing to me. <laughs> and it's a right pretty song, too. Gyro, I thought you said this winch was brand new. It was. It's an unbreakable diamond tether, Mr. McDuck. I made it myself. So long as you didn't use any of my diamonds to do the job. <laughs> Uh, 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 What's all this hullabaloo? Your lunch break isn't for two hours yet. We heard voices down there, Mr. McDuck. Strange, g g ghostly voices. Nonsense. There aren't any v v v voices down there. Oh, whatever you say, Mr. McDuck. But your mine is haunted. You finish digging it. Oh, you want anything done, you've got to do it yourself. And believe me. If I hear voices doing there, I'll give them a good talking to. Now, you stay here, boys. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. The rock bottom, Mr. McDuck. This mine shaft goes down for miles. All right, let me just quickly grab... Yeah, there we go. Oh, wait. Wouldn't... Ooh, shit. I don't know how much we had in the first place. Wouldn't we have to go back to Transylvania to get the key? Actually save our money? Or is it different in this version? It's already different in this version, I can tell. Damn it. You don't go back in this version, they made a new part. They removed the key requirement. To be fair, that was a dumb requirement, so I at least appreciate that. This old lift won't budge, Uncle Scrooge. Looks like the key's missing. That'd be what we need the key for. Go straight off with it, do ya? Look, if I hear one more word about this mine being haunted, I'll start haunting it myself. And we know that if I exit level, it doesn't save money. Damn it. Uh, oh well. Okay, so are we... Should we just go to break now and continue this stage after? Or do we want to actually pick the stage after break? Pick stage after break. Pick stage after break. Okay, everyone's saying pick after break. Or at least enough people are. So let's do that. You're losing unsafe progress in the current game. Yeah, so there we go. We don't get the money. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, well, in this case, we might as well see if we can at least unlock enough to get that next... Yeah, there we go. Concept art finally unlocked. And it's just as expensive. Uh. Fuck. Yeah. Shit. Oh, there is straight up a 20. Why did I think there wasn't? For some reason, I didn't see that one. I saw the I only saw the I only saw this one down here, so I thought we were still fucked. All right, now let's fuck this up again. Get launch pad on the horn. I'm headed to the Amazon jungle to find the scepter of the Incan king. 
Launchpad, you did it again! Okay, this time, notice the very hard to see clouds. We did it all just for that. Jesus Christ. Thanks for the lift, launch bud. No problemo. Lift is one of my favorite principles of aerodynamics. Oh, say, you got your radio, Mr. McD? Hey, of course I do. Great, then I'll be your eyes in the sky. Look, I'd be happy if you just keep your eyes on the sky for once. What an airhead. Now then, ancient Incan legends claim the King's Scepter was locked away in a giant temple of the clouds, and it should be dead ahead. Gee, Mr. McGee, I see a lot of clouds, but no temple. You wouldn't, Launchpad. The legend says the temple was hidden away from all but King Manco Capquac himself. But there's bound to be a way to reveal it buried somewhere in this overgrown salad bowl, and I'm not leaving till I find it. There we go. All right, now we'll go to break. Once OBS pops up on my screen, there we go. All right, let's drop some eggs. Liminality Carb, Zero, Zio Wings Fan, uh, Udiptez, Still, Mayo, and Skit Scott. Thank you all for the gift subs. Shout out to Mayo getting a sub to Satan6666, and Still getting a sub to Lucifer from Hell. In case you were confused where Lucifer came from. Fuzzy Headphones is a brand new sub. Thanks, Fuzzy, for hanging out. And everyone else, thank you all for hanging out tonight and subbing, but I cannot read out the whole list. It's a little too long. However,. Thank you all for subbing as long as you have. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Uh, how long is this one with this note? Because that would dictate if... Ah, uh, that's short enough. I think they're both from Game Fan, right? Yeah, they're both from Game Fan. Okay. <clears throat> from Game Fan, don't shake the baby. Sorry. I believe it actually says, don't, sorry, don't shake the bab, why? As you can see down here. Ready, Ike? Shake the baby. Don't shake the baby. Shake. Shake. All right, we're going to get a break. When we come back, we'll grab some co-coms, and we will continue DuckTales Remastered. See you after the break. Check. First thing I see in chat. Is there no end to this madness? Uh
Yo. Yo. Hi, chat. How y'all doing? Hope you're all well. I hope you doing me. Hope you. The, the, the. <laughs> I can speak, I swear. Good hope answer, you... good answer. Great answer, great answer. Hope you've been doing well, then. Number one answer. Number one answer. God. Ryan will join us after as well since he's a big way forward fan. Speaking of wait. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> it is I, Ryan. Ah uh, yes, Ryan has shown up. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Couldn't commit and go best girl Ryan, just had to go with Ryan. Sorry, B S girl, Ryan. <laughs> what uh, the there's fuck? There's also oh, Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> All right. <laughs> also Ryan. Hello, also Ryan. Oh. How goes the day? Good. How is Japan, Ryan, and also Ryan? Konnichiwa. <laughs> what is <Ryan>. happening? <laughs> If you couldn't tell, because uh, it's not on screen, uh, Shamrock and Popsky have changed their names in Discord to Ryan and also Ryan. <laughs> I am also Ryan. It's nice to meet you. I'm not getting involved. <laughs> Ryan, have you met also Ryan? Ryan? I understand it's Ryan Day. I too am Ryan. If you didn't change your name, he's an evil genius. <laughs> he left! <laughs> he left to go change his name! I... No, we're not doing Hello, it. Hello, another Ryan. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hello, also, Ryan and... Ryan. <laughs> okay, this bit's gone far enough. I'm out. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Alright. Oh, God. Meanwhile, the actual Ryan's like, What the fuck, guys? I'm gonna go get a drink. I'm gonna go use the washroom. Commit? No, I will not fall under peer pressure. No. Good God. All right. Well, anyways, while we wait for the actual Ryan to show up. <laughs> uh. Dun, 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 dun. The boom one says, I've been wearing the Rosa hoodie to different amusement parks to see if anyone would say anything. I wore it at Disney two, two days ago. <laughs> nice. I don't think it's going to have the recognition you are, you're expecting, but I appreciate you enjoying the hoodie. We don't have a Ryan in here, but we do have a Brian. I guess he's got me there. <laughs> Hello, I... Who what? the fuck changed my name? Who the fuck? <laughs> Someone changed Cole's name to Ryan also? Son of a bitch! We are not doing- Ryan, I am so sorry about what's going on. Called. I heard I've called by my, by my multiplicative of names. Uh, I don't know Wait, what's going on. Becoming everybody. I get everything. No, please. I don't think please. that's how that works. Oh, I don't think, I don't think that's how that works at all. I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure this is how it works. I didn't no. even try and like I'm taking over. No. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> I did not consent to this. This works really well for me actually. I'm like a virus. Oh. Which works well Brian. with my new robot persona. Hi Brian. Hi. <laughs> how you doing? I'm not falling for that again. <laughs> I'm talking to Brian and call, not you, Ryan. <laughs> Or Ryan also. Brian. <laughs> he just left. <laughs> Alright, I changed around the volume size a little bit to try to make the co-coms louder. Did that work? Now, I might have made myself a lot quieter in the process, but how do volume levels sound? I hope I'm not too loud. Testing, checking, how am I? You as a 
as in John, are a bit quiet. Alright, I'll bump that back up. Kill comms are louder. Alright, well. <laughs> Shocking. They're pretty loud. Okay, now they're too loud. Okay, well, we solved one issue, I guess. Well, we didn't I say anything after the first test. Hyper Ryan might is be a bit too Oh, God. Someone please change my name back. I don't want- I want off this Ryan ship. Please. No. Okay, okay. okay I'm on it. <laughs> there you go. I hate you. I hate you <laughs> so much. <laughs> Y'all the worst. Just change his name to Hyper Ryan. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Whatever. Ryan ship, Orion. What? This is I this is the best uh, day off. Why day. am I hyper man? What the fuck? <laughs> God. You're All a right. man named Ryan now. Hyper man 64. All right, that one's pretty good though. What's up? Yo, <laughs> yo, Ryan. This Ryan doesn't like shit. No. What? No, it says this Ryan doesn't like ships. No, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> the fuck is wrong with people? What, what did you hate? It's what's wrong with boats? Weird. Ryan, what's wrong with boats? I should have just played Xbox all night. I, I, feel, like, I feel like boats, I need to fucking but... capture this window at this <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with uh... want to talk about ships. That's another conversation. I am not left-handed, by the way. <laughs> by the way, that, that <laughs> one is a lie. That is an app. X- No! <laughs> <laughs> I will take my Xbox back to Best Buy and like take this back. Take this back, please. I don't want this. It's Xbox been tainted. Ryan. <laughs> it's been tainted. Refund, uh. <laughs> Ryan. It's times like this where I wish I was a mod <laughs> so I can change my name back. Super Nintendo Ryan. <laughs> All right, I'm a, I'm a take this ship back under control here. <laughs> what the? F no. Apparently not. Never mind. You're Proton Brian now. <laughs> I thought it was you. Who is even Brian? Are you doing this? this I uh, wish I could type that fast. I have to do like three right clicks, and that's just not worth it to me anymore. I'd rather sit back and laugh. Tom. Tom. His name is Orion. Orion. <laughs> <laughs> Lord <laughs> Poopy Pants. It was Mod Ryan for a second. <laughs> there. Okay. <laughs> We're good. <sighs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Taking a second to control. What's up? I just destroyed everything I wanted to do when I hopped in. Tom, mm. I, I hope you know we can hear you type when you do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, how are you doing? I hope you're good. I'm really, really good, except I'm paralyzed by choice because the simple emotes I wanted to draw turned into democracy and that turned into a tie. So now Aww. I need people's opinions. Shit. Oh well. <laughs> All right, Kimikawa says, here's some bits in exchange for that famed birthday luck. Happy birthday, Kimikawa. Lady Antisocial says, hi, John, I have a bit of a weird problem. I was part of the sub discord when it suddenly was gone from my discord yesterday. I'm still subbed and I can't think of anything I did to get kicked out. Sorry if I'm using a bit <coughs> message for this. Also, cow. Uh, I don't remember anyone getting kicked from the sub server. Let me check the ban list just in case. Uh, no, you're not on the ban list. Must have been a glitch then. It's gotta be a it's gotta be a Discord glitch. Refresh your Discord, see if that shows up there. If not, check it tomorrow and it should be back. But yeah, you if your if your sub has not run out, which you said you're still sub, so I don't know. It might also be just a hiccup from that. I know we had some Discord issues back when uh, Twitch forced everyone's dis uh, Twitch connections to reset. That might have caused some issues. That might just be from that. Yeah, Reaper in chat also says the issue might be after the Twitch leak. You may need to reauthorize Twitch and Discord. So you may have to do that on your side as well. 
Faison Farmer mm. says. Uh, Reseteer is pronounced with an S sound because it's a portmanteau of the two main characters' names, Reset and Tear. Ah, okay. So, Reseteer, okay. I thought I was going for, like, Racketeer, but, like, a play on words for that. Well, that Saint might be where the tear comes from. Maybe. Well, they said it's another character named Tear, so... Satan says, why, hello, John. I'm sure you're wondering if I had anything to do with the DuckTales vote count. And the answer is, no shit, Sherlock. Hail me. Uh-huh. Okay. Thanks, Satan. Mm -hmm. Lady Andy Social says, cow for John. Red Mimicry says, more gold for Scrooge's money bin. Faison Farmer says, John, I've been following your streams for something like four or five years now, but I have never seen that Tiny Raid video before. Has it been here long? Uh, six years? Maybe not that oh. long. It, we've had it for a while. Hang on, there's one way to find out. Uh, studio mode. Raid. 20% raid. Oh, that's where I put it. That would make sense. Vids, raids, 20%. Mini raid as a modified May 13th, 2017. Yeah, so we've had it for a couple years. Hello. Hi. Katie. Sad Bagel. Boy. Oh. Hey, buddy. What did he do? Just oh, did he eat the food that was done? Just did. Okay, good. Good boy, buddy. Good Hi, Hop Along. How are you doing? Hey, mister. Bagel has learned to run on three legs to make up for the fact that he can't fully use his fourth leg yet. Mm. But he is standing on it a lot more, and he's moving it more than he was before, so he is definitely getting better. Good. Hey, buddy. But we're not letting him out, so he's upset. <laughs> of course he would be. I'm getting better, but I can't go out. Meh. Yeah, the first time he left the bedroom, <clears throat> he ran down the stairs as best he could tumbling down practically according to Reese uh, to try to go out the front door <laughs> oh yeah isn't that right you did that yeah you did this is my only chance I gotta go I gotta go <laughs> you almost hurt yourself you dingus oh you put some pictures of them nice let me see Yep. <laughs> uh, here, just. Aww. He's here to bagel. Aww. Cute. Look at this guy. Okay, you can see my mouse. So this this is the <clears throat> paw he hurt. Ah, so okay. he. Uh, well, it's his shoulder, not his foot. Well, yeah. Sorry, his shoulder. It's like his whole leg. He has the problem. But yeah, and like that's why he always keeps it close right now. How did he tear his soldier shoulder? We have no idea. We assume jumping off of something. Probably something Anything outside. Or... Yeah. Funny enough, I think one of my one of my dogs actually, I think was that last year, two years ago, actually had his um his leg injured as well, to potentially jumping off something as well. So. He's not running away from you anymore and hiding, so that's a good start. So, Reese was the one always giving him medicine, and as a result, uh, Bagel started hiding whenever he heard or saw Reese. He only stopped doing that today when he realized he wasn't getting any more medicine. Mm. But he would literally, like, he'd be like two rooms over and he would run into the bedroom and hide under the bed. Oh. 
Bleh. Don't want the icky taste. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Mister. All right. Let's get back to this, and then let's go to our block, and then let's go back to DuckTales Remastered. Queen Chi says, after the three raids, I swear I think I just lost three pounds from wheezing and laughing. I fucking hate it here. <laughs> but really, Chad, y'all are the best. Thank you. Thank you, Queen Chi, I think. <coughs> uh, Dolan Duck says, Scrooge, please, seen those cousins into the castle. Nothing totally will happen to them. It does say seen those cousins, not send. Lady Juice says, don't even get a piece of that birthday luck for my job search. Happy birthday, Lady Juice. Good luck on getting a new job. Faison Farmer says, uh, the Rocketeer pun is acknowledged near the end of the prologue in a, are you sure this is a good idea way? Since that's what they're naming the store. Oh, well, there you go. And Legend of Daniel says, DuckTales, woo What was Pokemon coming out? Duck ass, you said? I'm sorry. Why are we hunting duck ass? I guess. But did we actually hunt duck ass then? Can we hunt duck ass? <laughs> Reese is walking up the stairs slowly and he goes, I don't know, maybe the duck ass were the friends we made along the way. Just kind of like mumming like, you know what, I love this line, but I'm also not committing to it. So I'm just stopping away so I don't have to hear the end result of it. <laughs> Thanks, hon. I'm just going to drift it out there. Acknowledge no responsibility. She was like halfway to the <laughs> stairs when she finished the set. She's like, I ain't slowing down for this. All right. <clears throat> let's go to Art Block for a little bit, and then let's go. Oh, that's the wrong screen. Uh, let's go to Art Block for a little bit, and then let's go to Funky Town, a.k.a. back to the game. Our block starts here with me forgetting to turn on my timer. And the transition from Paint Pen. Swimsuits at this time of day, at this time of year, in this part of the country, localized entirely within a cup of red wine. I'm game. Also probably on hiatus for a few weeks because of Thanksgiving and finals. Hope you have a good night. Uh, yeah, no, I expect a lot of people are going to be like that. So don't worry. <laughs> good luck on finals. Good luck Sorry. on finals. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I keep... Final luck. This is all you're getting. Man, no, luck. no more luck after this. <laughs> All right, everyone who's good taking place with American Thanksgiving this week as well, enjoy. Mm -hmm. And sorry, I interrupted by the way. Congrats Damn it, on I didn't. Incubus John joining the uh, sitting in a glass of alcohol posing club. I did it twice. I interrupted you twice. <laughs> Damn it. I did it like six times, man. The delay happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this delay, and also I usually just ignore you guys anyway, so. Uh, okay. From Heroin Mari, uh, posted this on Twitter, but I figured I'd post it here too. Happy birthday to Luca Jen, the funniest and sweetest horse mom on the internet. Yes, Reese's birthday was on Sunday. So happy birthday to her. Oh, shoot. I had a gift I wanted to send, which was just the only Taco Bell I found in Tokyo. <laughs> just information about it. <laughs> Here's the Wikipedia page. <laughs> From TBG Hunter. During an expedition into a human-shaped mountain marauder, archaeologists found what looked to be a broken, beat-up old submarine located deep within the depths of what is now known as Dungeon Man Mountain. No one knows how such a machine made its way into the mountain, but after hauling it back piece by piece and refitting the old parts with new, they managed to produce a submersible fleet capable of exploring the ocean depths in search of newer discoveries. Once war broke out, these once research vessels were pressed into combat, outfitted with new torpedo tubes. They were known to be quite a nuisance against the Allied nation's fleet. I was going to say, I could, didn't quite get the full reference here other than it being a yellow submarine. But I guess we leaned heavier into the uh, Earthbound ref since you have Dungeon Man there, too. <clears throat> Followed up by this one. All's from TBG. At the Ally As the Allied Nations began their invasion of the Marauder homeland during the Runaway War, the Marauders knew they needed something to combat the overabundance of T-copters landing enemy troops in uh, in their soil, so Chief Mechanic Miles got to work on the Tornado Mark I fighter planes. <sighs> well, <coughs> one sec. You okay, bud? Right. 
While capable in a fight against enemy air transports after battle, copters, uh, the fact that they were made with limited time and resources meant they were quickly dispatched by the Allied nations, more superior aerial firepower. After the war, Chief Mechanic Miles rolled up plans for a newer fighter model, one with stronger hulls, a more souped-up engine, and a better air-to-air -to -air missile, making the Tornado Mark II a far superior fighter to its predecessor. Hey, why does, why does he get tails? I guess because he did most of the flying stages, if not all. <laughs> there is straight up a Yellow Submarine in Dungeon Man in Earthbound. It has been a while, but I knew there was a Yellow Submarine reference in there, but I thought for some reason it was Mother 3 I was confusing it with. Never mind. From Junko. The colored version of the comic from Saturday. It's babysitting mama time! Moon, you know, don't use egg as a doll. Hey, that's my little sister. Give her back. Tamago-chan! No, no, no. Please don't shake the egg. Don't shake the egg. No, don't no. Don't shake the egg. No, no, no. Don't spin like a pizza. <laughs> From Senshi999, something I realized is that I've never drawn Rosa John with Rosalina's outfit in my art style yet, so I decided to do just that. Cute. It works. Even if we try to step away from the uh, the Rosalina outfit and get into more of the, the Rosa John side of things, it still looks good. It's still a nice dress. Thank you, Senshi. Next up. No, John, don't drop the baby. A hilarious mental image of John thinking about dropping the baby after the babysitting mama segment of last weekend's fortune cookie. John, whatever you do, don't drop the baby. I can see that evil look in your eyes. That's why I'm not looking at the baby, right? Thanks, game fan. Was was there? Were you gonna drop the baby? Well, no, it's a it's a stuffed toy, so it can't really be dropped. Like it'll it'll be fine. I mean, but you can. It, it, it's affected by gravity, right? Yeah, it's also plush. It's not gonna get hurt. All right. Hey, buddy, you getting comfy? Yeah, good boy. Good boy, buddy. Yeah, rest your arm. Rest your shoulder. Good boy. Okay, I got a bagel underneath my feet. <clears throat> what do we got here? Weird fucking cat. Big space lady and payompa. <laughs> and on the bottom I see voluptuous. Got bored and painted a bit in such art. Bonus random patron saying something in the vicinity of Rosa that I was not fully expecting. I mean, it's accurate. It's just funny. There you go. There's our voluptuous space lady up there. Thank you, Rhyme. Speaking of voluptuous, we have... What was this character's again? From Game Fan. I may weigh more than a garbage truck, but that's all right with me. Behold, with a very caked up butt, Unicorn Rosa Chan. Oh, so it's not Buff Town anymore. It's not... It's Unicorn Rosa now. Shows her planet-sized thighs to impress everybody. Watch out, you could be crushed severely by her big fat flank. All right. God. Thank you, game fan. Well, at least she looks like she's also ready to kick the shit out of someone who makes fun of her, so there you go. Ready for both. I thought it was like Unicorn Buffton Rosa John or something like that. I guess it just became Unicorn Rosa. From Shenanigans, I crawl from the void to bring you a redesign of Rosal Rosalie. I hope you all enjoy her coziness and resting bitch face. It's what we all share in common as a family. Thanks, Shenanigans. Next up, the Hydra Force has returned. From BLT General, another Hydra joins in the fight. These brave, or three brave volunteers join together under Mooch's eye to form a fierce but cute warrior. From left to right, we have Sylvia, <coughs> Somaria, and Angel. Together, we hope that they can turn the tide. Hello again, I had the privilege of creating this Hydra for the BVA event. She came out better than I could have hoped. As always, have a good night and a happy second egg pack anniversary. Thank you, BLT. We got the two twisting cattails, the angel wings, and then we've got the three elemental heads. Nice. <coughs> Specialized eBot catalog. Engineer bot, looks like you guys need some help. Uh, Y'all been nice to Ed, so this one's free. Dr. Dream Weary. <laughs> That's what it says. or dream worry. That could be either way. Execution bot and ER bot. Obviously, one of those is a little different than the others. Here's something I made for the BVA anniversary event that's going on. My character's been in a couple other people's projects, but I wanted to contribute something myself to it. What we have here is a catalog of some specialized e-bots that have come to aid under the notice of someone called Dr. Dream Weary. Okay, it was Weary. Turns out this mysterious figure is the one who created the e-bots, as well as Eddie, the main e-bot you usually see. Or just Ed for short. Here's a couple of types of special <coughs> bots that came to help. Engineer bot's pretty self-explanatory, specializing more in structures and appliances rather than complex machines. Execution bots are battle bots packed with all sorts of weapons and tougher than normal plating for hard beatings. 
ER bots are medics that have supplies for both man and machine alike. And I, I have no idea what it is in that syringe, though. It might be pink lemonade, so... Uh. I also just realized they were all still started with E. Nice touch. That's a really good touch, yeah. Thank you, ER. Uh, ER bot, God damn it! Thanks, ER. <laughs> Brain yeah. melt now. All right, from Greeny DTH. Oh, I was hoping someone had a picture of this. Fun fact, oh. to promote the release of DuckTales Remastered, Capcom actually made a set of repro carts of the original NES version of DuckTales, but with artwork from Remastered and in a gold painted cartridge shell. 150 carts were made, most from what I can tell were given to press outlets like IGN, and a few were even given out in a contest if you sung the DuckTales theme song. Wow. I, I actually do remember seeing these, yeah. For some reason, although I thought the cartridges weren't legitimate, like they didn't have the original game on it. I thought it was just like, it was a shell that opened up and had the code for the game in it, is what I thought it was. I might be wrong on that. I'm going to assume I am wrong. Because I might be confusing that with Mega Man 9. <clears throat> which did something similar. Oh yeah, Derek even says that's Mega Man 9 you're thinking of. There you go. So I guess this actually had uh, the original DuckTales NES on it. Cool. Thank you for sharing that, Greeny. Like I said, I was hoping someone would, would be able to show this off in some way. There's even a certificate of authenticity in this picture, too. Ooh, 50%, 50 cents off green cheese of longevity. Nice. Is that just to fill the gap? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. From Raptoid, our final first round match had Hydrodon take on Ryu. The fight started with a bang when Ryu rushed Hydrodon at the opening buzzer. Hydrodon would ride up Ryu's wedge. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, causing her horizontal spinner to impact the ground, sending her flying. Due to the crazy gyroscopy. uh, Gyroscopally forces from her two spinners, Hydrodon's horizontal spinner would end up smashing the top of Ryu during her cartwheel dance. That damage would end up severely damaging Ryu and Hydrodon in one fell swoop. Ryu would lose his weapon while Hydra was, uh, would lose mobility. Ryu would control the next minute while Hydrodon got some good shots in. With about a minute left, Hydra would land a massive hit on Ryu that heavily damaged his wheels. He would be able to show enough movement to make it to the closing bell, however. The fight would go to the judges. The split decision would have judged Lukajin. Uh, would score the fight for Hydrogen. Judge Bubba would score the fight for Ryu, and Judge Emil would score the fight for your winner, Hydrogen. Our first round ends with one hell of a war. Let's hope the second round can live up to it. Cool. Thank you, Raptoid, for all the carnage of BattleBot Jonaverse Edition. And capitalism. Ho! I thought for some reason I read that as capitalism is a hoe, despite the fact that that definitely is not the full word capitalism. Oops. Yeah. Oh, Greece, I can like, see it. <laughs> yeah. Or it really it says capital is a hoe if I read it if I had actually read it the way I should have. I was gonna post this even if it didn't win, which was very likely. I'm more baffled that Zone of the Enders 2 was so low. It's so good and every every character is cool. Also, fun fact, Zone of the Enders 2 came out the same year as hits like Devil May Cry 2. I wouldn't really call that a hit, but alright. Jack 2, Call of Duty 1, and Knights of the Old Republic and Jedi Academy. Rest in peace, sales. Yeah, wow. that that it was a sleeper hit, even though Kojima was attached. Thank you, Greased. Someday we'll we'll enjoy Zone of the Enders, even though this is for Reseteer. All right, my alarm's going off, but we only got two pictures left, so I'm gonna get them both in. From Begrudgingly <laughs> Waluigi with the Ryaning, I had to make this. That's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm very Ryan, accurate. You're Ryan. He's Ryan. Are there any other Ryans I should know about here? <laughs> <laughs> and just to show the picture. Thought you'd like having this. Sorry, Cole. Yeah, Xbox Run. <laughs> yeah. really. if, if it's any constellation, I, I am enjoying my new Xbox, so... I, I, I'm I giggly because the best memes involving me don't involve me. I didn't start anything. I just show up and it's me, me, me. I mean, that's a good point, actually. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> You know, Popsky, I'm almost tempted to rename myself to Xbox Ryan on Xbox. <laughs> I'm almost tempted. I can guarantee I'm that almost... name has been taken numerous times. Probably. All right, so are we continuing Amazon, or are we actually picking a different stage? What's chat feeling? Meow, I'm the last Ryan. Bye. <laughs> the last you, Ryan is in captivity. The, oh, the galaxy shit. is at peace. Oh. <laughs> People keep saying moon. I, I just want... I almost, 
I almost want uh, Ryan. Uh, Ryan. Sean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what can I do for you? I almost want John to do uh, Moon last, personally speaking. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people are saying continue. All right. Well, we won't bother with the poll. We'll just list. Oh, my controller turned off. Oops. The Ryan is consuming me. It is a virus. <laughs> Run, chat, before you get consumed. Giant monkey. Giant monkey's friend. <laughs> So this was actually my uh, first place pick, so I'm really happy this got in. I uh, looked at the poll, but I didn't actually vote this time because I only really had an attachment to Reseteer, and I didn't think personally that that would be a great stream game. And this would have been my second choice had I voted, just because way forward. It's not out oh, yeah. of attachment to DuckTales. Launchpad. I found an ancient <clears throat> coin depicting a nightingale. I'm not even going to dignify that question with a response. Like for me, like this. <laughs> so for this stage, uh, they actually made it so that you have to grab like these eight coins around the map before you can even make mm. it to the end of the stage. So it's a, it's kind of a <clears throat> lot of padding in this case. Like, I think out of all the stages, this one got it the worst. Are you my brother, Rex Racer? Show me a moves. Yeah, from what I read on the uh, the Amazon page, like the level design is not exactly one to one. It's expanded. That's what I said on the uh, Wikipedia yeah. page. But a lot of stuff is still similar, like this. Again, like I, I've never played the original. Like I've only played the remaster, so I don't really know like what's exactly different. So. Like, my experience with DuckTales is actually kind of slim. Like, it, there's this, maybe one episode of the original, and then the pilot for the new show. <laughs> That's I my experience. Watched, I haven't watched a lot of cartoons of, like, th this era of stuff. I, I don't know. Like, these, the, these types of kids, these types of cartoons that people grew up around this era, I just didn't see a whole lot of them. Same, honestly. Um, I want, I, I want to eventually watch the reboot like through because because yeah. i do have disney plus so i've heard it's amazing what, well, I, it's, what I have seen the reboot is was really good it's really good Wait. like all the huey Dewey and louie all are their own separate characters <laughs> webby's her own character they bring back a lot of characters and give them their own personalities while still kind of paying homage to the original cartoon <laughs> like it's very well done i kind of just like not not just but having not even seen one i like i liked tenant uh, I liked him in Doctor Who. I like his personality. I just love that a guy who, like, grew up and dreamed of doing a thing got to do the thing when he became an adult. Yeah. <laughs> so, which is, like, that's always super heartwarming. Um, but just, like, the, the line art of it. Like, visually, it looks a little distinct. It looks a little unique. And that's another thing that I really appreciate when I see a cartoon or something that, like, stands out. Especially in a way that's got, like, like clear line work that that uses corners well like i i never i never got much into steven universe because that looks too soft to me and i think gravity falls kind of fell into the same thing like if you can use hard angles in your line work that's really appealing to me for some reason it's interesting because like when uh when the show was kind of coming out or a little bit or there were previews about it there were people who were kind of skeptical about it just because of the <laughs> style change and then also like they got David Tennant to do the voice, and people weren't sure about it. But I think nowadays people are just like, "Oh yeah, it works," and, and David Tennant's mm. great. And David Tennant is fantastic. So, and and just yeah, for a, on our style again, one of my favorite visual styles I've ever seen is "The World Ends with You." Take one guess why? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think the. Um, just as a one who's like never really played the original, but has played this, I think this game is great. Personally speaking, I, I definitely want to give the original a try. I, I checked the Xbox, and it, it is on sale for five bucks right now. The afternoon collection, so I might get that shot. Yeah. By the way, guys, I, I didn't I didn't mean Steven Universe is too soft in the uh, content. I mean literally, like drawing wise, it's all circles and round shapes. That, that that's what I meant, just visually. Yeah. Which I can get that, because it is definitely like. 
a, lo a lot of like, especially like people even point out the ca the Cal art style, where everything is kind of rounded and everything else mm. like that. Ancient coin with the image of a scythe. It must represent a good harvest. Even when I say that though, I I personally like someone mentioned Gravity Falls earlier, and I. What is it, lunch bud? Hold on, I'll, I'll leave it for this. Well, where are the extra fuel canisters? Oh, you'd best find those fuel canisters. Your ideal animation style is the 2D animated Clone Wars. Airplane. From what I've seen, I really okay, like the way okay. that looks, yeah. Next time I ask you for help. Is that a promise? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, even, even with us, like, pointing out Gravity Falls, I still personally love Gravity Falls, but the, the, yeah, style, but the style of the show is definitely, like, you see it in a lot of other places. So I, I watched Gravity Falls, and I enjoyed it. It, it, it was a good show, but like, if you're it, if you're just showing me screenshots of a thing, like I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna gravitate towards that, um, just based on the way it looks in a still image. Mhm. Mm yeah, I get that. By the way, nobody said CalArts is bad, guys. We said it as a visual identifier. Yeah, like, I I, <clears throat> I don't think, like, the whole thing with, like, the whole criticism for CalArts, I'm not one of those people that criticizes it a lot, but, yeah, it's it's just an interesting comparison. I have literally never heard of it before right now, and I just immediately understood what you're talking about. That's why people jump to it. It's an identifier. It's not a statement of quality. Mm -hmm. Well, Launchpad's dead. <laughs> eh, so it's a normal day. <laughs> yeah, I think Keith put it best. Uh, the Kel art style is saturated. That's probably the best way to put it. But yeah, visually, this game just looks fantastic. Like, this is one of those games where even, like... Like, what is it? Like, this game came out in 2013, right? Something like that. It was a Wii U title. Originally, yeah, it was so. a Wii U title. Yeah, it was Wii... Wii U, Xbox, PS3. Um, like even oh, today, yeah, this because the PS3 great. version got a physical version, but it was oh. just the case and a code for the game inside of it. Right. Okay. So for those who haven't heard, um, the original PS3 version, as John said, uh, when it released physically, they released it, but it was only a code. And basically, it had this whole thing where it said like something that looked like a disc, but it said like "woohoo," and it had the code on, and but it didn't even have the code on the back. Mm. Um, and I think it came with like a, a pin or something like that. And then one month later, they release actual physical versions of those games, including the PS3. So what was the point of the, that original release? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, I think, like, the, the code version came with, like, a pin to offset it or something like that. Yeah, basically. But it's funny. It's funny how that's kind of, like... It's, like... But what's interesting about that, though, is that you had that one thing back in the day, but nowadays, especially on Switch, you see so many more games that are quote-unquote physical, but you either have to download... Have, have to have a separate download to get the full thing, or it's just a download code. I mean, I, for the Switch, I feel like it makes sense. I don't like it when it happens, but at least it makes sense for that system. Yeah, the PS3 but... didn't really have an excuse, especially for a game as small no. as this. No, it didn't. It's It could have been Capcom being like, would this work physically? But then they released the physical version one month later anyway, so it's like, what the fuck? But yeah, all that <laughs> Switch, like, it, like, quote-unquote physical, that's just, like, a download code, I'm just like, just get the game digitally at that point. Like, why waste that much time making a box? <laughs> I don't know. Well, the reason they do that is for, like, like people who have, like, their parents go into game stores or Walmart. And they see a game they want to pick up. But it, just, just go on the eShop. That's not what... That, that, that's, you can't really gift that way as a yeah, family member. Window, window shopping's a thing. I guess that is a good point. But also, I'm kind of, I'm kind of of the opinion now, at, le at least for me, like... It, like, for Christmas, I'm just like, just give me, like, a fucking gift card. 
Because I buy oh, most of the games now, Tony. So. People don't like doing that either. A gift card feels really impersonal. A gift card is practical, but not traditional or not personal. Yeah, I get that. Well, I don't have all day. What was your thought? Launchpad, were you dropped on your head much as a child? All the time. Why? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, poor Launchpad. Oh, Launchpad, he's still my one of my favorite characters. <laughs> but like, um, like yeah, it's it's definitely something that's not very impersonal. I personally don't mind gift cards, but I can understand where it's just like people feel amped about it. There's a carving of Monkle Cupquack on this stone slab, and there's eight succulent notches around it. Sounds great. Does it tell us how to find the treasure? Well, I'm not sure what it tells us, but I'm certain it's an important clue. Bless me, bagpipes. These coins I found will fit perfectly into those notches. Oh, you must have come across an ancient ink and polka table, Mr. McDee. How about I come down there and you deal me in for a hand? You come down here and I'll deal you a blow to the head. You're supposed to be keeping an eye out for trouble, remember? <laughs> All right. Trouble spotting it is. Launchpad, what if the images on these coins symbolize the various tribes of Monko Capquack's empire? Maybe if I surround him with them. Nice throw, Scrooge. Oh, no. It's not oh, you get them all before you hit there? All right. I mean, I found them <laughs> beforehand, yeah. Maybe not. I think you can get there without getting all of them. You can. So, so, here, so here's the thing. The way the game is set up is that if you know where all the secrets are in the NES game, you'll be fine because they made it so that you, you would miss stuff in the NES one and it'd be okay. All the hidden areas are basically needed for progress in this version. So if you have ah, enough okay. knowledge of the NES game, you'll be perfectly fine. If you don't, you're going to have to hunt around a bit. Oh, yeah. I mean, I get that. I mean, they probably made it all required so it would make the game feel longer. I mean, the dialogue does that enough. Yeah. How do people feel about the dialogue in this game, by the way? I love the dialogue, but like I said, it uh, there's, too, there's a lot of it. That's the, that's the main issue is that it, it kills the pacing of the game. You can't skip it though, can you? Yeah, um, I forget if you can skip all of it or only some of it. I think I remember, I, I know, I, I think I remember. I know you can play it, through like, and like not have to deal with it all for like if you want to do a speed run proper, but. It also feels like, it kind of feels like a sin to skip it though since it is the original cast, that's the downside. Yeah, okay. like what I'm hearing here is less that like people, or John specifically, standing in for all people, um, want a black or white, listen to all of it or skip all of it. It's like, maybe just cut the script in half so that they're still using them, but they just say less at each yeah, like, conversation period. Like, for example, that scene where we just had to put the coins in, like, that <clears> scene <throat> goes on for a while because it loads up two different dialogue sets, one based on getting there for the first time and one based on how many coins oh, they have. I yes. Did it. I found a legendary temple of Manco Capquack. But at the same time, someone mentioned it earlier, like, if you had access to those legendary voice actors, you probably would want to take advantage of them as much as you can. Oh, yeah, exactly. I don't fault them for it at all. I, like, if, if you told me when they were developing this they were going to do that, I would have been fucking crazy excited. And I still like the, the job they did. I just yeah. wish they, they were a little less wordy. Yes. Because like I said, or, it kill, yeah. it's, it's the pacing that I'm complaining about. Is, what Prison yeah. says there, too, is if they'd made it in a way where you can continue to move while they talk or do dialogue. Or like, that, while too. That would also. Yeah. Yeah. I think that. <clears throat> funnily, enough, that would, funnily enough, that would be taking a page from Sonic, because Sonic did it all the time back in the day. <laughs> kind of funny how that works. Bounce, 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 bounce. bounce. God, I remember, uh, like, I don't know if it was before or after, but I remember listening to this game's soundtrack all the time. It's so good. Oh, 
<laughs> like honestly, the sound like g looking at like retrospectively, especially looking at um, Vert's other stuff, this does feel kind of like a bit of a precursor to like future Shantae OSTs, especially because some of the sound fonts in this game sound kind of similar to something like um, uh, oh, Pirate's think. Curse and even Half Genie Hero. Oh, no, I can't get that now. All right, let's go meet Mrs. Beaklix. I'm sure she. Ooh, is she not up here? Shit, I thought she was. I know she's in this stage. There she is. Hey. <clears throat> this is the size that Scrooge has been comparing all the diamonds to. Someone has to make sure you get your daily nutrients, Mr. McDuck. Ice cream, ice cream, and doll. Gold, Mrs. Bickley, uh, if you'll pardon the expression. Huh. Of course, but I'll find my own way out. Thank you very much. <laughs> Also, according to Kirby Vault, this game's engine is basically a precursor to Half Genie Hero. You know what? I can see that. Yeah, I can see that too. Makes sense. I will say, I really like um, Mrs. Beakley's new design. I really like her new design in uh, the new DuckTales, by the way. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the redesign in her, too. She looks more stoic. She routinely fucks shit up, too, from what I remember. <laughs> yeah. They just, like, obviously, like, you know, the original DuckTales is probably, like, a classic of a series, everything else like that, but it also probably is, it's one of those things where it's probably still a series of its time. But then you have the, the new one where, like, the, the characters and the way they're written are a bit updated to, you know, modern standards. Ooh, you know, give me more kids. still need the money to actually get up there, or is it different? No, there's a platform there now. Okay. Good, because I thought that was kind of dumb. Yeah, basically, she's a muscle lady. Basically, in the new, in the new, in the update, that's what she is. I miss a secret. Are good. I feel like I missed the secret somewhere. Cause I got all the coins, so maybe not. Nip. Yeah, score to settle achievement unlocked. That's so a lot in, of in money. the original game, this took like was it three hundred thousand gold to actually make this platform appear. Oh. Wow. Also, I, like I don't you spend it, or just if you have it, it shows up. You you need the money to make progress, unless you find the path that we took to Mrs. Beakley, or mm. if you are really good at just bouncing off of enemies. Ninety were that different? Well, like, I think I'm, maybe I was just talking about into perspective of just like because as uh, uh, Miss Miss Beakley in general, because like I feel like nowadays I think at least in terms of female characters, they're definitely written to be much more like dynamic. If I mean, that makes she, any was, sense. she was just a glorified nanny in the original show. She did have her moments to shine, but I feel like they wrote her, they gave her a better deal in the newer one. Webby as well. I would definitely also say Webby as well, was made better in the, the new well, show. Well, Webby's character in the original show was basically, I'm Huey, Dewey, and Louie, but a girl. <laughs> and in this one, they're like, oh, no, she actually is her own character now. Like, we, we, we made up for last time. A lot of people compared her to Mabel, funnily enough, from Gravity Falls. Is it? Wait, yeah. yeah new, I, I new one? Like in the new one, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I was like, mm, Mabel's like half the show. There's no way she falls into that original description. <laughs> But yeah, I definitely want to check out more of that show, honestly, outside of just a few clips and the pilot. Same VA, so it makes sense. Hmm. It's the All same right. VA. Wow, okay. That would bring some of the same energy to it, maybe. Yeah, that makes sense. Theory. Damn it. Oh, it's not the same VA. Okay. Curry Vault set apparently it's not the same VA. Hold on. All right, so chat's a liar. Got it. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Take with grain of salt. Got it. <laughs> Mabel voice. Christian <laughs> scroll. It's 
Yep, not the same. All right. Yeah, someone pointing out in chat. Thank you, Kirby. Oh, this was the area I was thinking of. There we go. Okay, so we didn't miss a secret. Also, I just read that is Chat Lee and thought they were talking about, like, a person whose name was Chat Lee. It took me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Chat Lie. Uh, never. I think they met, think they meant that Webby shared her VA in the uh, with the triplets in the OG. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could see that. <clears throat> there it is, the King Scepter. Well. <laughs> Oh, this was easier to find than a penny in a parking lot. Catch me, kilts. What was that? <laughs> God. Why Last time. People, why do people make joke accounts so fast? <laughs> God. Holy shit. That was really quick. <laughs> Also, making her, yeah, like, it, there is nothing wrong with being gentle or kind, or like, like anything else compared to like characterizations, obviously, and obviously the '90s. Whoa, fun! Like, oh shit! Yeah, a, a, a gentle. There's nothing wrong with a gentle character. The, uh, you know, the myth part is when that's the only thing that seems to exist as a yeah. female archetype of like one of three possible lady roles. That's what yeah. I mean. Is like, it's nice to get away from that. Yeah. Or to have some more variety. Fuck. Of course it jumped just as I got to it. Damn it. Alright, well. Back to full health. Alright, three hits. That that's it's actually something I really liked about the, the new Castlevania when I finally watched it. There's a point in the series, I'm not gonna spoil much, but there's a point in the series where there's like a group of women who are in charge of like a kingdom. And they have very different character types, and only one of them could even be kind of considered gentle. <laughs> you just the reminded... others are very, very different. It's great. You just reminded me. I still need the fish, Aria of Sorrow. I got distracted <laughs> by other games. Surprise! It's not even that long. I, I I think around the time I got my Xbox is when I was just like, I'm gonna start playing other stuff. That's fair. I, most of my time recently has been playing Unleashed, actually, for the first time on Xbox. But Arya is really good, though, so I'm definitely going to finish it, because it's really, really good. I don't remember this arena being this small in this version. <clears throat> So I can least, yeah, uh, I was, um, I, <laughs> I literally, like, that was one of the reasons I got a new Xbox, was to play Song Unleashed at 60. Which, by the way, amazing. Well, that's 10 hits now. Oh, crap, come on. 11. It's probably like 12. Crap! Oh, shit! 12, yeah, it's 12. Woo! GG. Don't need the fish circle to move before you get to Aria fish dissonance. It's kind of interesting. I think I actually prefer dissonance over circle of the moon, personally. Not leaving without that scepter. Get us out of here, launch pad. It's <laughs> Scrooge just like screw it, we're out. I can't believe we came all this way for nothing. What's the meaning of this? Outsider, our prophecies have long foretold that our ancient city would one day be returned to us. For hundreds of years we have waited, and at last that day has come. You mean you're not mad at me? Mad? Quite the contrary, Feathered One. Is there anything we can do to repay you? Well, now that you mention it, uh, 
I did come here looking for an ancient scepter. I didn't suppose... Does it look like this? It fell from the temple. Oh, they're climbing for nothing, eh, Mr. McDee? Bless me, bagpipes, the scepter of the Incan king! It is yours. Take it and go in peace. Just like that. After all, it was just the old king's back scratcher. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's like, we don't need that shit. It was a back scratcher all along. Back scratcher! Money, 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 money. I do find it cool this game does have a difficulty modifier. It actually gives you a reason to play it I mean, on a higher difficulty. the NES difficulty. game had the difficulty settings, too. Oh, okay. Fair enough. We didn't do mine yet, Cecil. We, uh, we jumped back to Amazon. The scepter of the Incan king. I tell you, boys, there's something special about this treasure. Really, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, it just looks like an old back scratcher to us. <laughs> you boys need to learn some respect for the finer things in life. Now, if you're done having fun at your old uncle's <laughs> expense, help me decide where we should go next. Extravagant housewares achievement a lot. Let's go swimming. Let's go to Ikea so we can show you the other back scratchers. <laughs> there's the back scratcher. And there's the metal we found too, the hidden treasure. All right, let's go buy some more stuff. I think we can go ahead and just buy everything now, right? Or do we need a certain amount in total at the end of the game to get the best ending? Or is there even a best ending situation in this one? Yeah, I was gonna ask about that earlier. I just didn't want to feel like I was spoiling anything. I don't know a dang thing. Haven't played any of them. I'm here to experience it. Yeah, chat on that though. I did actually just buy the afternoon collection, so I'll have to get that uh, try later. <sighs> More stuff to play on my Xbox. Do you want to actually? Yeah. I, oh, there's only one ending. Okay. Well, then there you go. Okay. So there's no there's no difference. Gotcha. So, for those who didn't see the uh, playthrough I did on YouTube, there are three different endings to the original DuckTales, uh, but they're like all tiny differences. There's having uh, $10 million in the vault and the two hidden treasures. There's having below that, and then there's having zero dollars in the vault. And that last one is very annoying to do. <laughs> It's like the, I imagine, it's, it's like the, the Luigi's Mansion, like, worst rank achievement, I imagine. Basically. Dream and friends! Exactly. Alright. Where are we going to next, chat? <coughs> we got the African Mines, the Himalayas, and the Moon! Moon is last. Let's go to mines i'm influencing you chat mine didn't the himalaya wasn't the himalayas the one place that had the other health extension himalayas has an x health extension unless they change it yeah can anyone confirm ah there's the mines african mines and the himalayas Maybe we should, uh, I'm gonna, let me go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. New poll. Also, I, I think someone mentioned it earlier, but if and you guys want to try the original, the Disney Afternoon Collection is five bucks on Xbox. I don't know if it's also on sale in other places, but <clears throat> it's available for cheap right now. 
I influence the pole. Hmm. My power grows. Oh, I can't. Oh, it won't let me make a new pole when the other one's active, and I can't stop the old <laughs> pole? That's neat. Thanks. That's helpful, Switch. <laughs> Thanks for oh. that feature. The mines has there, there it is. Okay. I had to go into a different yeah. menu to find end pole. Never mind. <laughs> Lol. All right. I bless the mines down in Africa. All right, there you go. Next stage, the mines, the mountains, or the moon. Okay, so the mines, African mines, and the mines in Africa. Himalayas, I believe, has another bonus stage tied to that dumb stipulation of having seven in the 10,000 slot. So it's just the stages that had uh, that have launch pad in it, because those were the two stages that had launch pad in it otherwise. Although I think uh, Transylvania also had launch pad. There were three stages with launch pad. No, it was the moon. The moon had launch pad. <laughs> That's what it was. You could take the helicopter home from space. I mean, that, that might work if you just push off the moon with enough force from the helicopter and then you can drift back to Earth. All right, the mines currently in the lead, 122 votes, 63% of the vote. The mountains, 22% of the vote, 43 votes, and the moon, 15%, 30. Looks like everyone wants the moon for last. So yeah, looks like we're gonna just be going in stage order for the rest of this. Makes sense. I think that's fine. The only reason I even do would normally do Transylvania first is just to get the health extension, so. The mines, the him mines, and the mine. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna keep going with this junk, are we? Our next stop's Africa, at the center of the earth. What treasure do you think you'll find there, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, the largest <laughs> gem known to history, the giant diamond of the inner earth. See, I don't know how to pronounce that word, but I know what you're saying. Crytoxin. Hi, lads. This is the Kozan. I can feel all those diamonds singing to me. <laughs> and it's a right pretty song, too. <coughs> Gyro, I thought you said this winch was brand new. It was. It's an unbreakable diamond tether, Mr. McDuck. I made it myself. So long as you didn't use any of my diamonds to do the job. But doesn't he work for him? What's all this hullabaloo? Sorta. Of. break isn't for two hours yet. <laughs> we heard voices down there, Mr. McDuck. Strange, g g ghostly voices. Nonsense. There aren't any v v v voices down there. Oh, whatever you say, Mr. McDuck. But your mine is haunted. You finish digging it. Oh, you want anything done, you've got to do it yourself. And believe me, if I hear voices down there, I'll give them a good talking to. Now, you stay here, boys. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. The rock bottom, Mr. McDuck. This mine shaft goes down for miles. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. I really thought that the raid was like a snare drum being played in the game. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a terrible joke. Nice. And then Scrooge <laughs> grabbed his rifle and said, I'm going to make them voices pay. <laughs> <laughs> um, shit, what was I going to say? Yeah, Gyro, uh, technically is a freelancer he's just like a like a creator in general but also scrooge has the most money in duckburg so he tends to bankroll all his weird inventions mm. so he doesn't work for scrooge but yet scrooge kind of pays him a lot of money all right let's run countermeasures before we hop into the stage get the guns out I was trying to remember for a second which one we hadn't done yet. We had not done 8-bit. So, enjoy 8-bit death, Jeff.
Space Hamster! Jeff, thank you for the raid, buddy. Hopefully your stream was good. We're doing game clear tonight, and we're playing DuckTales Remastered. I've actually never finished the remastered one. I played a bunch of it, but uh, never got around to it. And then my save file got deleted because my Switch died. Or, sorry, my Wii U died. So, uh, yeah. So this is the only way to finish it now for me is to play it on Steam. Oh. Those grunting below me. Yeah, Jeff, it sucks. I lost all my all my digital stuff on there and a bunch of like WiiWare stuff I bought. I have to I have to uh, learn how to solder to actually fix it. Cause I don't know anyone in town to do it. it sucks. What's the difference between this and the original? Uh, a lot more dialogue, uh, and some of the stages have some differences to them, and including, I think, the last stage being completely different, is what I've heard? Yes. And there was a different uh, intro stage as well. Mm -hmm. I was just gonna ask, actually, does the idea of soldering your own electro your electronics make you nervous? Because I would be worried. Especially if it's stuff that, you know, it's like collector's things. I mean, it does, but it's already broken, so... Okay, in that case, yeah, that's probably fine. If, if it wasn't broken and I was trying to learn how to solder on something not broken, yes, I'd be worried as fuck. But since it doesn't work at all right now, it's literally like, what can I do? Break it more? The answer is yes, I can do that. But uh, at this point, it's not going to emotionally make things worse for me. <laughs> Man, I tried to learn this new skill, but I just wound up with this pile of melted metal. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Soldering is something where I'm just like, I don't know if I would ever be able to get into that. The only know. soldering I've ever done was on stained glass. And it was nice there, making smooth lines of, like, lead? I don't think it was actual lead. It was a it's, high school. It's not but lead. Well, the lead. solder is the actual material. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, making those just, like, nice smooth lines. I would just be afraid of getting burned, honestly. Well, also that. I worked in a lot of kitchens. I... There's, like, my hands are weirdly resistant to heat now. What is soldering a game system exactly? So, okay, so the insides of a game system are basically an electronic circuit board. Uh, I need to uh, fix a piece of the circuit board to replace it with a new part. And to do that, you have to remove the old part, put the new one in, and trace a line with solder to the correct part of the circuit board to make it make it complete. So that's what I need to do, is I need to remove two caps, essentially, and then put new two new ones on there and refix the line. So is, is the solder itself uh, electrically conductive, or is it more of, like, something that just holds down the conductive parts? It is electrically conductive. Hmm. I do find it interesting how, like, in the original, again, you had to go to a different state to get the key, and this, this game is just right here. <laughs> I'll tell you what scared them away. Overactive imaginations. I'm not about to let a bunch of silly superstitions stand between me and the giant diamond of the inner earth. Now, man the controls and lower away, lads. Yeah, someone puts it a perfect way. Soldering is basically like welding on a tiny scale. That's exactly what it is. Mm. It's a perfect comparison. Here's a treasure near so like so, one thing I saw in chat. So Jarro's uh, Jarro's VA here is uh, Chris uh, Edgarly, who's also known as Hayden from uh, Naruto uh, Shipp uh, Shippuden. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Peter Potamus uh, in Harvey Birdman, and Sid High Wind in the Kingdom Hearts games and Final Fantasy Avid Children, among others. Wow. So is is Sid High Wind just the Final Fantasy VII Sid? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Because I know that guy, but I've never heard his last name. Hi, Mrs. Are Beakley. Here, Mrs. Beakley. These mines are so damp, Mr. McDuck. I wanted to remind you to wear a sweater. These are ice creams, not a sweater. Mrs. Beakley. Uh, if you'll pardon the expression. <laughs> I've called you fat twice now, Mrs. Beakley. But I can take care of myself very well, thank you. Okay, bye. All right, so this led over to a secret in the original game. What does it do in this version? Oh. How about that? 
Well, I probably should have grabbed those, but... Okay, so it looks like they just swapped everything around, because originally over here was where you got the, um... That key, or sorry, that ring that we got in the, uh... In the left of this area. So they just, they just swap things around, because normally that was a one-up in the NES one. Drawing a butt, drawing a butt. Why does money Making disappear? It, it's uh, it's magic money. This is why it appears yeah. out of thin air. Is it not popping out of the boxes and stuff that you're whacking onto, or is there I stuff? Yep, that it, came out of yeah. midair. See, some there's some in the boxes. Some will literally appear out of midair. <clears throat> Dimensional money. Good, I wasn't sure that would actually work. Getting money is basically a pixel hunt. Is this all stuff that you got from, like, secrets in the NES game, or is there any hint that there's stuff in these places? Uh, little column A, little column B. All, all like, the secret areas I'm going to, I know about because they were in the NES one. The, the the stuff in midair I've been finding, that's just me moving around for the most part, or it lines up with the NES one. Hmm. But, you know, also, usually golf club swing at things will also bring up some sort of secret. Oh, this is different. Oh, I'm not missing anything by doing this. Tomorrow we are on our third stage. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, damn it, there were two. I'm only getting can one you of go them. Back? I can only get one of them. No. Can, can, can you go one back? One with and make ice them cream. Can you go back and make them respond again, or? No, because the chest will disappear. Ah, shit. Well, and also we took the wrong path, anyways. Ouch. All right. Bounce, 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 bounce. It's a good sound. It's a good sound effect. It is a it satisfying is. sound. There, there, there are, like, a, a sound effect that you hear so often is an easy thing to muck up. Oh, yeah. Weird. Like, I, I actually kind of... I love the Donkey Kong Country games, alright? But I kind of don't like the new ones because they change the sound for hitting enemies into something that I find way Oh, less that's an insta-kill! Oh, it wasn't in the original! Oh, no. Well. Time to run. Yeah, no fucking around this time, then. He says as he immediately fucks around. Uh oh. Uh oh. You're not uh, jumping over this one. You were saying? No, oh, I had to go that way anyways because it actually freed up the path. Neat. Neato burrito. Hi, Hi Wang. That's like what, our fourth raid tonight? Fifth raid? It's, it's been pretty populous. It's, it's, been, it's been a big raid day today. Uh, you know what? Merry Christmas, Highway. Pretty much. Poor Highwing said, oh, I guess I'm not special. Sorry, dude. I just, I wanted to use the faster one since we've gotten a bunch of raids tonight. But I appreciate it as always, dude. Thank you for the raid. All right. Also technically, also technically, yeah, it was five because we got the one for Germany. Yep. All right. Uh, Highwing, we're playing DuckTales Remastered for game clearing because I never bothered finishing the Remastered Edition. 
And it has a, a bunch of different changes compared to the original. Including, I believe, like, a, even the final boss is different? From what I remember? Oh, I can't take that secret path anymore? Oh. So in the NES one, there's a path up there you can take to skip most of this, but I guess they don't have it in this one? I'm just not getting enough height for it. Oh, fuck. The pogo stick missed. How do you miss with a pogo stick? It's such a wide shot. It's not really? <laughs> not really? <laughs> the answer is shut up, Ryan. <laughs> it's the, most, the easiest thing to hit with. <laughs> Here, just to, to show, like, Pogo Stick misses this way, so if I was too far to the right, <laughs> which is what happened. So that's how a Pogo Stick misses, Ryan. All right, thank you for the demonstration. You're I welcome. guess that makes sense. <laughs> I'm nothing if not thorough. It's funny because, like, when I played, I think when I played this game for the first time, uh, it was way after I actually played through uh, Shovel Knight, so I'm just like, oh, this is just the bounce from Shovel Knight, just higher. Yeah, that's exactly what Shovel Knight got its inspiration from. Yeah. Which I find funny because that's also, like, Yacht Club is former way forward devs. <laughs> you really? <laughs> yes. Wait, wait, did you actually not know that? I did not know that. that Yacht, yes. Club, Yacht Club is half the, the original way forward. way forward team, yeah. Nice! Oh man, I don't. I, I usually don't. Uh, oh, I mean, I don't really have studios that I like so much in anything. It's usually like I like individual creations, but man, WayForward's just like solid. <laughs> That's why Vert did the music for, for both like Shantae, DuckTales Remastered, and Shovel Knight. Mm -hmm. He literally just works Seriously. for both companies because he knows everyone at both companies. <laughs> Nice, nice. Man, yeah, WayForward's great. I like them. I like them a lot. Speaking of Shovel Knight, oh my god, I'm looking forward to Dick next year. That's gonna be so much fun. Well, isn't, isn't the Pocket one come out soon? The Pocket the... comes out this year, I think, yes. I think, yeah, it's like... I mean, there's not much left of this year, so it's pretty soon. Yeah, it's probably next month. But, uh, Pocket... Yeah, Pocket Dungeon looks great, too. I'm just... I'm, I'm excited to see what Yacht Club's gonna be doing next, honestly. That still isn't out yet? Uh, no. Pandemic fucked it up. It got delayed a while back. It's supposed to be out, like, very soon. I, I don't know why December 22nd is in my head. I don't think that's correct. What? There's a solid why to have them leave to make Yacht Club games. Maybe because they just wanted to make a different game. Like, people don't leave a company just because they're like, man, we hate this place. Yeah. Most of the companies I've left is on good terms. I just wanted to go do something else. Oh, fuck. Pocket Dungeon is still listed for Winter 2021. Yeah, I know they, they put out tweets on their Twitter account lately for it. Yeah, they've been putting out a lot of promotional stuff about it. So I, I thought it was pretty soon. Speaking of way forward, I actually, um, this is something I was actually thinking about since you were playing DuckTales. Um, I imagine you guys have heard about the new update for Seven Sirens. I have heard about it, I haven't seen anything about it, but I don't care, I'm looking forward to it. If it's Shantae news, I'm there for it. Yes, so uh, the new update for those who haven't heard, uh, it's coming out on the 30th. It is basically a rebalancing of the original game. There's going to be a new mode called Definitive Mode, which rebalances the game to be more in line to the difficulty of the other Shantae games, because I think a lot of people found Seven Sirens to be fair, very easy. Mm -hmm. So they're rebalancing the game, they're adding new map features, they are also adding a couple of other modes as well. I can't remember the names of them, but they are related to the the deck feature of the um, deck feature of the game. Uh, but if you do want to play the game as it was originally intended, there's also going to be a legacy mode, and there's also a beginner mode that's based off of uh, definitive mode. I'm glad they're doing something more with the cards because those existed, and I, I kind of just like found two or three of them and left them for the whole game because it was so relatively easy. I didn't have a need to change anything oh i'm disappointed in you lads it's dangerous doing here uh we just wanted to help uncle scrooge yeah hush lads did you hear that 
Wait, did voices that Miner was talking about? You boys did one of them just mumble as his voice line? <laughs> it's not it's not the twin or the triplets, it was Okay. The balls we saw earlier. <laughs> all the all the orbs. Orb. <clears throat> also, yeah, Ring Ding points it out. There's gonna be definitive mode, full tech mode, rule breaker mode, beginner mode, and legacy mode. So full oh, tech like mode. Rule breaker. Yeah. rule breaker mode yeah. lets you uh, equip all cards. Yes. Okay. Cool. So then, what's the other one do? Full uh, deck. That just sounds like legacy. Full deck. You have all fifty from the start. <laughs> all right. But you're still limited to only having three equipped. Oh, rule breaker is you can just equip everything. Okay, so yeah. that's like just yes. go nuts. Yep. Basically. And yeah, beginner mode is basically an easier mode that's based off definitive mode. And also the new map features and the new and also the new hints they're adding is gonna apply to all modes, including legacy. Still have to find the cards in Rule Breaker. I like that, because then it's like you're just consistently getting more powerful. Yeah. I Honestly, I, I want to use this as a reason to give Seven Sirens another chance, because I don't know. Seven Sirens was fine for what I played, but it definitely didn't click with me as much as I wanted it to. I enjoyed it, but at this point, like, I played through Seven Sirens twice, but one of them was in Japanese, and the second one was Magic Mode, which was my first Shantae Magic Mode run. But really, at this point, like, after Pirate's Curse, um, nothing has topped that gameplay-wise, so I'm just always there for Shantae to like go through the whole game and see the colorful cast and the jokey writing, and I'm like, I'm, I'm here for it. It's gonna make me laugh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have jokes with it on stream, I'm gonna have a good time. Actually, funny you mentioned that because um, the new update will also have new dialogue. Yay! So, so I'm gonna look forward to. But yeah, like... <laughs> For me, I, I think Pirate's Curse, like, Pirate's Curse is, is very solid, but I also really enjoyed Half Genie Hero. I like them both for, I think I like them both the same for different reasons, personally. <clears throat> yeah, they've got a different feel, essentially, but they're still all solid games. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to give the new update a, a shot once it comes out. Like, I think my biggest problem oh, with Seven Sirens is that it, it felt like it was a game that was clearly made for mobile first. Because there were so many checkpoints and also felt kind of easy. Well, it wasn't made for because mobile, well, it was made for Apple Arcade. <sighs> yeah, but it's also, it's kind of oh, yeah, mobile, kind of not. So, like... Right, Apple Arcade can be not, can be on non standalone stuff, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so basically it was made for mobile. Mm-hmm. So, that was my thing. And also, like, initially, when I saw footage for it, I was honestly not impressed with it because it kind of looked a little rough. Luckily, they delayed the game to make it look better. But... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm hoping this new update will hopefully give me a better f first impression. Oh, well, this won't be your first, but maybe a better second impression. A better second impression. That's probably the best better way to put it. The only one I've played was Risky's Revenge. Risky's Revenge is also pretty solid. Like, that's where I started with the series, and I loved it. I still need to play it, Risky's Revenge. It shows its age, for sure, but I would honestly recommend either Risky or Half Genie Hero go into Pirate's Curse and then try the rest from there. I also need to finish the original Shantae too. The original yeah, Shantae I, is yeah, a I think the hardest one to go back to is, is the original Shantae because it has yeah. lives, uh, it's a lot stricter, mm -hmm. it, it, it shows its age I think the worst out of all of them. It's still mm -hmm. a good game, like it's a, it's like if I had played that game on the Game Boy Color when it was out at the time, like I would have been blown away. But compared to the rest of the series, like it's the loosest Metroidvania out of the five. It and was that's interesting, impressive considering how Half Genie Hero is more of a straightforward platformer. Mm -hmm. It is interesting how like I I play the original and I'm just like, oh, I heard this track from this game and that game, and just hearing all the tracks that came from the original, mm. it's kind of crazy. If you started with the first game and you want to keep playing, like, yay, good. You were not scared off by it. Perfect. Probably best to continue linearly then, because it's all going to feel like an improvement. Oh, yeah. Original Shantae 2. Man, I gotta find that game. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they're probably talking about the Game Boy Advance Shantae that was mm -hmm. announced, that was supposed to have come out. Right, and that turned into Risky's Revenge on the... It was originally on DSiWare. It was like the DSiWare game. Oh yeah, I played it on DSi. Like I played the original. I haven't oh, played the director's cut except for the big <clears throat> did on stream. Whoop, cutscene. Nope. <laughs> you, what's the meaning of all this racket? 
Out of the way, stranger. As the king of the Terra Fermians, I forbid anyone to interfere with the great games. Great games? Stand back. You'll interfere with the roll. Ooh. Strange creature, you are disqualified. Yes, you're disqualified for unsportsmanlike conduct and roll and crash interference. Now, see here. I own this mine, and I won't be bossed around by an overblown fuzzball. Step aside. I've got work to do. Oh, so you're the one causing all the ruckus up above. Well, I have heard enough. All right, let's see how different this boss is in this version. Oh, I can hit it when it's rolling. That's already a great improvement. So I was wondering why this guy's voice sounds familiar. So this guy, so uh, this, uh, what is his name? King something? Th this random ball thing. He's voiced by uh, Frank Welker, who also does a lot of voices for a lot of other uh, w uh, Warner Brothers stuff, including Scooby-Doo. <laughs> yeah, he's the voice of Fred. Fred and Scooby-Doo. Uh, I'm seeing Fred and Scooby-Doo, apparently. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, Frank Welker does a lot of voices. He's he's pretty prolific. How do I dodge this? Or have I just gotten unlucky every time? Oh, and that's my own fault. He also voices Baggy Beagle and Big Time Beagle in this game. He's the ki he's He is the king of voice actors. Wow, really? I mean, he might as well be. He's done a lot of work. He voiced CGI Garfield. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, okay. That's a different move this time. All right. Orb. Oh, wait, Orb. How do you voice Curious George? Does, does Curious George have a voice? Do I... Am I just getting unlucky every time with that? Oh, every time. I'm too busy complaining about the one thing. I don't notice that coming. Not the movie one. The CGI series. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, I say, the movie gotcha. one was Bill Murray. Okay. It's been a long time since I've seen the movie. I've just gotten unlucky every time. Ouch. So, can you pogo off of the ones on the ground and you yes. have to avoid the jumping? I have, that's exactly what I have to do. But I've gotten unlucky that every place I have chosen to pogo with has been right in front of where they start jumping. Oh. Oh, he's also in Aladdin. Okay. Yeah, he's the you idiot. We've all got swords, guy. Maybe, maybe you need to pogo off the ground first just to get above that first it, wall. It's gotta be. But it, depending on the horn, I think it's a different pattern. I think the horns dictate what the pattern is. I oh, know this is the rock slide this time. Never mind, it was two toots no matter what. Ready for that time. Oh, that was Jim Cummings. Sorry, that was the U.A. Wheel got swords. Walker was Abu. Okay. Jim no. Cummings is also a very prolific voice actor as well. For Abu. What Chante game would I want to start with first? I I would recommend Risky's Revenge or Half Genie Hero. Those are two good starting points, yeah. Like, Risky is short, but it leads better into Pirate's Curse. And Half Genie Hero is like a remake of Risky's Revenge. It's a, it's kind of like... Is, is that it? I can't hold <clears throat> oh, that's it. Under your assault no longer, stranger. What is it you wish from us? Well, for starters, stop these infernal games. You're causing earthquakes, scaring off my workers, and ruining my equipment. It's now impossible to mine for diamonds. Diamonds? Aye, diamonds. Like this one. Though the particular one I'm after is a fair bit bigger. Oh, you refer to garbage rocks. We have no use for garbage rocks. They're hard and sharp, and you can't roll on them at all. You don't say. <laughs> uh, uh, tell you what, uh, I'll do you a favor and haul away your uh, uh, garbage rocks free of charge. Just keep the earthquakes to a minimum, all right? Agreed. I am proud to announce that the Terraformians hereby welcome your garbage rock mining operation. 
Uh, here, you can start by getting rid of this one. Bless me, bagpipes. The giant diamond of the inner elf. It's gonna... Oh, can't. Okay. Rip. <laughs> can't. We cannot destroy the orb anymore. <laughs> Anywho. Yeah, um... Really, just where you start in Shantae, it's, for, for me, it's entirely... To, like, the, the second game has to be Pirate's Curse. Pirate's Curse cannot be first, in my opinion, because you gotta play one of the transformation games first to get the contrast. Yeah. It's funny you mentioned that, because I played Pirate's Curse first. <laughs> I mean, you did it wrong. Don't be like I mean, Cole if you were here. playing it as we were coming out, that's not a big deal. <laughs> Yeah. That was the that was the one that I heard was the best one at the time, so that's why I played it. Based on that recommendation, sure. Yeah, yeah, that's and, fair. And even <clears throat> and even with that, I still enjoyed Half Genie Hero. I still enjoyed the transformation mechanic, regardless. So nah. talking. Gee, Uncle Scrooge, you mean there weren't any goats down there after all? That's right, Louis. It's as I told you, boys. There's a rational explanation for everything. Yeah, a whole kingdom of underground creatures who cause earthquakes as part of a game is a completely rational explanation. Uh, I... <laughs> Never mind, boys. The point is, we made it back with a giant diamond of the inner earth and gained an entire diamond mine in the process. No, where to next, lads? And there we go, garbage collector achievement unlocked. Hey. What well, platform is Pirates Curse? I mean, all of them are on Switch, but they're all also going to other systems too. Like PS5 is going to have all of them. They're uh, all on Steam too. Well, I yeah. mean, I, most four of Steam. them are on Steam. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I think it's basically every platform at this point, honestly. I, I'm pretty sure they're on Xbox. Don't spend any more. You do get something for having $10 million. Oh, I thought I asked earlier and people said no. Maybe an achievement? Probably an achievement. But, uh, I might be too late to get $10 million now. We only got two stages left. Oh, wow, Sean. Oh, yeah, it is on Xbox One. Never mind. Never mind. Are they on Stadia? Uh, oh, probably not. Actually, maybe. I'm seeing Stadia listed. Oh. Okay, then. Oh, a Stadia port set for release in 2021, but we haven't. I haven't heard anything about it, so... <laughs> nah. All right. Pack my parka, Duckworth. We're headed for the Himalayas to hunt for the lost crown of Genghis Khan. Shall I forward your call, sir? Gee, can I come, Uncle Scrooge? I want to see the pretty Himalayan marmots. Oh, not this time, Whippy, darling. I need you here looking after the boys. Otherwise, who knows what kind of trouble they might get into. Oh, that's very smart. <laughs> that's why I'm leaving. Bye. Indulge me, lads. The last thing this expedition needs is a wee lass about. Oh, I'm going to have enough trouble looking after the launch pad. Launchpad, shouldn't you be in the front if you're piloting? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, why? <laughs> and that explains it. Launchpad, I told you to land in the center of the mountain range, not in the center of a mountain. Gee, Mr. McD, I thought that crash was rock solid. The only rocks around here are the ones inside your head. Ugh, Can you at least, like, look at me? <laughs> I'm down here. <laughs> now fix this wreck so we can get airborne. And step on it, lad. I'm paying you by the hour. And I'll may have you billing me for overtime. No problem, boss. As long as I have this fuel regulator, we're as good as... Whoopsie daisy. Oops. <laughs> uh, my mom always said I was a Butterfingers. <laughs> oh, no. Please tell me you've got another one of those. Sure I do. <laughs> but it's back in Duckburg. Launch pad. Don't worry, Mr. McD. I'll climb down and get it. You'll do no such thing. I'll get it. You stay here and try not to cause any more damage. Okay. You're the boss. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, look oh. who also was in the plane crash. Oh, no. I'm back to yell at you, Launchpad. <laughs> also, this track slaps. <laughs> oh, right, I can't pogo stick. Yeah, I, I was wondering about that. Like, a bunch of these types of planes do have the pilot in the back, for one reason or another. Maybe because oh. the gunner was supposed to sit in the front? Oh my god, this guitar solo is so good. <laughs> I guess that is the case, yeah. All right, I guess I can't uh, I wrap around to get that, I guess. Someone says, so if I didn't like Half Genie, will I not like the rest of the Shantae games? Mm, the, mm, Half Genie, like I said, is more linear than the other ones are. So maybe give one more a try, but if you didn't like like the the way the characters are written and that they talk to each other, like all that, you're definitely not going to like them. Because that stays yeah. the same through all five. Yeah. That's that's yeah. my main draw, honestly. Is it, like I, they're 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 solid games, but I'm there for all of the like aesthetics and the character and the the expressive aspect of it. Yeah. So if you didn't like the personality, absolutely not. If you didn't like the gameplay, mm, you might have a better luck with one of the other ones. One of the yeah, more if, if, Metroidvania like ones. If you didn't like the gameplay of Half Genie, then try Risky or Pirate's Curse. I would say that. Mm, yeah. Torn on that because Risky or sorry, Pirates is kind of, kind of like that. Oh fuck! I feel like Pirates executes it a little bit better. Yeah, you know what? I'll agree with you on that. <laughs> what about the plot of the characters? <laughs> yeah, they could be bigger. I have uh, an emote for that. <laughs> also, Mooch, thank you for using my emote for that. <laughs> <laughs> I like my smuggy. Oh, of course it was Mooch saying that. Uh, let's see. Is the secret where you fall down into a pit still over here in this one? God, this track fucking slaps. <laughs> also, oh yeah. Also, um, Kaufman did. Pirate's Curse, too. I feel like Pirate's Curse has the best OST of all the oh. Shantae games as well. Pirate's Curse soundtrack is so good. Like, I've always said, even just the first level is aggressively bouncy. God. Like, it it attacks you with how boppy and energetic it is. I love that, like, I, I think Pirate's Curse, the one thing I love about the soundtrack is, um, is, like, especially, I, I noticed that it's a lot of, like, Genesis influence, especially with some of the sound fonts. It's that. It sounds, oh, no. Rip. Because there's yeah, a one-up in one of these alcoves. At least there was in the NES one. Ah, okay. And it was right there below it. It's as bounty as Shantae's hair. God. <laughs> yeah. I also really like Half Genie Hero soundtrack, though, too. In its own way. It, it's good. It's different. And I got into Shantae with Kaufman's original work. So to me, that's just what I identify with it. That's fair. <clears throat> well, how many of the games don't have... Uh, his stuff. Because I know even the, I, the original has his music. Yeah, the, the, uh, the I think he did the first three, and uh, Half Genie and Seven Sirens have been someone else. No, Half Genie was still him. Don't touch that. Was it? Okay. Half Genie was still Kaufman, Seven Sirens was not him. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, it's too late. Those bunny bandits if you guys want also other slappers, uh, other soundtracks that I recommend listening to from Jake Kaufman is the Mighty Switch Force games. Those soundtracks. Oh! <laughs> so good. <laughs> Aggressively bouncy is a good way to talk about those games in general. That's fair, yeah. That can be applied to almost all of Shantae. Every character, oh, yeah. male or female, <laughs> applies to that, I yeah. feel. <laughs> <laughs> also, of course, Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight was actually the soundtrack that got me into Jay Kaufman. I still love that soundtrack to this very day. <clears throat> Thank you, Alita. Ah, there we go. Final health extension. You know, I'm just... Since we're talking about it, I'm just going to link to Vert's Bandcamp. Go listen to his stuff. It's phenomenal. Now, I assume this is the same as the NES one, and we should find... Bubba over here. Oh, yeah, he also did the soundtrack for Contra 4. Right. Yeah, he and did... Double he's 
uh, done a lot of work for way forward. Yeah, and Double Dragon Neon. I still need to try that. Oh yeah, someone in chat also pointed out since we were talking about like, do Way Forward and Yacht Club still talk to each other since they were both from the same company? Uh, apparently, the guy who did the voice act, the voice acting for Skull Mageddon from uh, Double Dragon Neon, works for Yacht Club, and he came back for River City Girls. So yeah, they they still work together. Yeah, they're still on good terms. Yeah. Again, originally Yacht Club was made uh, was originally created to make Shovel Knight and to do the Kickstarter and stuff like that. So. It's, it's kind of crazy thinking about, though, because Shovel Knight is just such a big name now in the indie community. It's kind of funny to think about. Every now and again, something indie hits it big. Yeah. I've been I've been on the Delta Room kick recently. I've actually, now that I'm in Japan, it's weird because I get to... Um, I get to show Undertale and Delta Room to some people who've never experienced it before. Nice. God, I need to replay Chapter Oh, nice. Two. I have 420k exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ruin it in a minute, guys. Sorry, but enjoy while we got it. Get some blazes in the chat. How close am I to finishing this? Uh, we could probably finish this tonight. Because we're on stage four we... of five that you can pick, and then stage six is its own stage. Yeah, I think you can finish this tonight. And we've been averaging roughly 30 minutes of stage! <laughs> <laughs> yes! I yes. take that back, maybe. Yes. <laughs> God. Oh, man. It's because everyone in the 420, isn't it? God. I gotta say, like, the, you talk about Deltarune. This, like, this end of the year, kind for at least for me, in terms of games, just kind of popped off. Especially in October. There were so many good games that came out. I have only bought maybe two or three games all year, but, again, most of my gaming is, like, so slow right now. Yeah, I hit, Del I hit Deltarune months after it came out, and now I wish I'd hit it earlier, because, like, I split my sides laughing at Chapter 2, man. <laughs> it's it was so good! so good! Uh, John, I assume you still haven't played through Chapter 2 yet? Correct. Yeah, yeah right. we're, we're, we're not saying nothing, just... Yeah. yeah. Same to you, I chat. No spoilers about Chapter 2. Thank you. Oh, that's what killed me with the damn icicle. <clears throat> There he is. So that. Trust me, kills. It's Bubba Duck. Looks like that poor little pea brain got caught in a deep freeze. Let's go free him. Oh, what happened? Scooge, ooga ooga, Scooge saved Bubba. There, there, little fella. Uncle Scrooge is here to help. Scooge saved Bubba. Scooge saved Bubba. Scooge saved Bubba. Bubba helps Scrooge. Bubba helps Scrooge forever. You know, I could use a bit of help smashing away this giant ice box. What do you say, Bubba? Ooga, ooga. In that case, follow me, lads. Or run ahead of me. That works too. Also, yeah, Rota said in chat, no fake spoilers either. Fake spoilers are not cool. Don't do that, please. Thank you. Take some ass, Bubba. <clears throat> oh, how long uh, is the SMT5 Yeah, Bubba, you're going a little too fast now, buddy. Uh-oh. Well. Rip that treasure, I guess. <laughs> Let me jump off your head. We've got some uh, asking. How long is the SMT5 banner up for? Oh, oops. Yeah, sorry. That actually was supposed to go away uh, after Saturday stream. I forgot to do it on Saturday. So, so is the banner still valid to click, or yes, is it like already expired? The, you can still click it, but uh, okay, it doesn't have to be there anymore. Okay. <clears throat> so basically, it's going away uh, as soon as stream is over. <laughs> oh, I'm getting this one. Hey, there you go. That's probably another red ruby if I had to guess. This is the end of the line, Bubba. It's time for you to head to the surface. 
Baba home with Scrooge? Aye. Launch pad is waiting to take you home to Duckburg. On your way now. I was just waiting for that thing to start blinking while you were stuck in dialogue. You know Jake Coffin from the Godzilla Domination soundtrack. What? Sure, I think that's way forward. Or no, that was that was Atari that published it at least. <clears throat> Jake Coffin definitely gets around. Two parts, I think. It's the second piece of the fuel regulator. One more piece to find, and we can get out of this overgrown ice box. Can confirm it is way forward. Nice. Where are you going, buddy? On your chair? Hey. Oh, bagel. Bagel. I get comfy somewhere, mister. Oh my god, I don't know which path I want to take at this point, because it all just kind of loops around in a weird way. So you're... The money in the corner is just the money you've collected on this stage, right? Correct. Okay, I got confused. Because earlier you said you had like four million, and then I saw it roll over, and I'm like, I lost a digit somewhere in my thoughts. The spider. <laughs> well, this is normally where the boss is. Are you my brother Rex Oh, oh. You are his brother. I can see the resemblance even That's over here. Uh, that's gonna be a red gem at least. Oh, yeah, I want up in a red gem. There we go. Nice. How much is how much is the reds worth? Are those 50k or more? Uh, I forget exactly, but I think 50k is right. Where you going, bud? Yeah. No. <clears throat> Sorry, your leg still hurts. We should go lie down. No, I want to be here and bother you. Make it better. He sure does. But he still needs his rest. It's very difficult to tell animals to stop moving. Yeah, they tend not not listen. I don't know if it's a bad idea to go this way or not. It does look like this is gonna at least loop back around to the plane. And there's a couple paths in the bottom I haven't checked yet. Well, they fixed the plane at least. Will wonders never cease? Launch pad, that crate looks almost airworthy. Don't crack up, but you can't fix up. I always say. Any luck finding that fuel regulator? Ugh, oh, no. Some wee beasties ran off with it in pieces. They've got to be down there somewhere. All right, but I'm gonna need it before I can finish any more repairs. Is there not something else to keep you busy while you wait? Nope. Good. Enjoy the downtime then. Gee, thanks, boss. Because yep. I'm docking your pay till I get back. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Poor launch pad. Right. Someone in chat earlier said that me saying he's one of my favorite characters in the show explains a lot about me. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? He's got a good voice delivery. He does. Well, I think it's a bunch. a lot of the characters I like in Disney stuff are, I guess, what would be classified as himbos now, so... <laughs> like, Kronk, Launchpad, definitely, like, prime himbos. There's no denying that. I, I can definitely see that. Whee! 
I was just talking with Maniacal about Xenoblade Himbos yesterday. We had to discuss whether Dunban classified as one, and I don't think so. Uh, what? I, I've seen a bunch of people argue that. I've seen for and against on that. Ryan is no question a himbo. I think Dunban's way too smart for that. Yeah, I think Warrior simply because of Ryan, there's good. no way Dunban classifies. <clears throat> This is on Steam, not on the... W Baba, don't get smart with me. <laughs> okay, so we looped around there. So we're going to take the top path now. Thumbman is an honorary Giga Dad. I'm not sure what a Giga Dad is, but I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard this term before, and I'll swear my life on my life. My <laughs> I like it. Sign me up. Himbo doesn't have any real strict definition aside from what people have been saying in chat. Pure of heart, strong of arm, dumb of ass. Yeah, that's a pretty and good e breakdown. Even strong of arm is like optional, I think. They're usually bigger guys, but the f first pure of heart, dumb of ass still applies. There's the third part. Oh, look of the ducks! The last one! No, to get this fuel regulated back to Pirates Pirus from Undertale a himbo. Eh, I don't think he's stupid, honestly. Yes, feel... it's absolutely a himbo. Uh... Papyrus? I don't think <laughs> so. I disagree. that definition we just said? No, he's not dumb. I think we will just presume he's dumb. I, I, I think I think Papyrus There's is There's so many we'll plot elements I f that make him seem like an idiot that I feel it works. It, that, that's the thing. It does. You don't feel like it should work, but when you actually go down the checklist, it's like, oh man, you might have a point here. <sighs> he's definitely I, oblivious, which I feel counts for himbo. He's oblivious, <laughs> but he's not stupid. Like, that's my thing. Like that, I could think of a couple stupid moments of him though that that are plot relevant. Yes, but also, <laughs> and a himbo doesn't have to be like dumb as a rock. They can also have smart moments. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I don't know. I feel like sometimes I, I think that just comes down to like when I see things in the fandom and people just baby, just essentially baby papyrus in the fandom. And I'm just like, no. This is kind of just a good dumb. point as to why you know you shouldn't use these things as any kind of objective list for anything. It's like yeah. we're just having fun talking about it, and based <laughs> on what we just said, yeah, he applies. May not feel right. <laughs> is Undyna Herbo? You know what? Yes. It's a Herbo. I'm a uh, basically, oh, her Herbo, and him, but her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would say I would say Undyne's a Herbo. I would agree on that. Yeah. I would argue she's a lot smarter than Pyrus. I mean, yeah, she is. <laughs> Oof. Did was there a? Was there a path we didn't take on this stage? It feels like there was one in below where uh, where Bubba was. Fuck! I hate these spiders. They're in like the worst spots. <laughs> Undyne is anime. You know what? Yeah, Undyne is anime. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fair. I'll accept that. I don't know who half the people chat is talking about now, or <laughs> like even are. So I, I, I'm out of my element here. How dare you not I'm keep on our him, keep up on the himbo and herbo <laughs> list? I just the, the I, registry. I, I watched OSP do a two-hour stream about ranking himbos recently, and oh. just I don't know. Chat's not talking about any of them, so I'm I'm gone. <laughs> Maniacal, how dare you call me out? Cole on Cocom starter pack. Undertale is discussed at some point or another. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But also, it's true. Okay, but to be fair, I brought that up with yeah, Deltarune. He was, he was the first one that brought up something Undertale Deltarune related, so I was the one that started it. So, But in terms of the himbo talk, yes, <laughs> you, I could definitely agree upon that. <laughs> Oh, 
Also, Maniacal, I'll just I'll just be honest with you. If this was 2016 me, it would be a lot worse. <laughs> Trust me. Our Zeke Knuckles himbos? and Donkey Kong himbos. Uh, Knuckles from Sonic Boom, extremely. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. <clears throat> DK ah, probably wrong, also. So. I, I mean, DK from the animated series. I uh -huh. assume we're talking animated series, DK. In which case, extremely. I, I I do not think Bimbo is interchangeable. I've seen a few people in chat asking about that. That's a very derogatory term. Well, the point yeah. the point of Himbo was supposed to be like it was the male equivalent of a bimbo. That was the whole oh, okay. origin of the word. Well, then maybe people. But then it's kind of taken on a life of its himbo own because usually the yeah. usually Himbo was used in a positive connotation and Bimbo in a negative. So that's yeah. that's, okay. that's, that's why, why people Herbo. are using Herbo because that's a lot more positive even if it sounds a little silly by kind of like extension. yeah that's that's it sounded silly to me because like i completely yeah. forgot that himbo and bimbo are like connected in that way and i'm just like yeah. himbo just sounds funny herbo doesn't sound as funny it sounds like a spice you know what i can agree on that yeah i don't know i'm trying to think of other himbos like in video games um um, people have asked me about Zeke a couple times now from Xenoblade 2, and he's probably closest. If you're going by that cast, yeah, he he fits. But he's on the smarter side of being a himbo. He didn't go left to that rope? Uh, yeah, I did. That's where Bubba, Bubba Duck was. Or was there another rope after that? Oh, bimbo originally meant what himbo now means. All right. Oh. I didn't know that. I did not know that either. Interesting. Okay. All the more you know. I don't, I don't think Tora is a himbo. Tora is not pure of heart enough. <laughs> Someone mentioned Susie from Deltarune earlier. And... Different I... archetype fits that better. Yeah. For sure. All right, let's see what happens now that we got the fuel regulator. Yeah, Susie is just Susie. That's who she is. It's Patrick Warburton a himbo. He plays at least two. So yeah, Patrick Warburton, yeah, it's like played the original himbo. Good as new. Now get this bucket of bolts back in the sky. Just a tick, Mr. McD. If this order, do it. Oh, it was powered by Webby. Your problem, Webbergale. What in the world are you doing here? I wanted to see the pretty crown, Uncle Scrooge. Oh, great. Now I've got to babysit you and Launchpad. But I can help, Uncle Scrooge. You're not like the boys, are you? You don't think I'm just a worthless tag-along, do you? We're, We're ready on off, Mr. the Himalayas. I'm not a moment too soon. You probably shouldn't be here. <laughs> Off we go! Nothing but blue skies ahead. <laughs> okay, Kirby's a himbo now. I think we've lost track of the point. <laughs> yeah. Infernal chatter. Gee whiz, I was only trying to lighten the mood. If anything, we need to lighten the plane. Feels like she's lost maneuverability with all the, uh, unexpected cargo we seem to have picked up. No worries, Mr. McD. I've got the coordinates for Shadow Pass locked in. We'll be there lickety-split. More like lickety splat. Glum gold. Nice to see you, McDuck. Especially since you've led me right to the treasure. To whom do I owe my thanks? Your idiotic pilot. Or did you play it safe and let those two V ones fly the plane? You dusty cheat. Only you could sink so low. And at 15,000 feet, no less. Complain <laughs> all you like. The lost crown of Genghis Khan will look right at home on my feathered noggin. Wouldn't you say, Scroogey? <laughs> That's what you think. You'll never beat us to Shadow Pass. So, the crown is in Shadow Pass, eh? Thanks for telling me. <laughs> Launch pass. Oops. Also, yeah, guys, let's, let's drop it with Kirby, honestly. <laughs> Kirby is a baby. Let's drop it. Oh, right. Scrooge. 
This is a lot more involved than it was in the NES game. Good God. Oh, is this the guy that you were talking about earlier? This is Somebody Glomgold. Said, my part Glomgold was from South Africa, not Scottish. In the original comic. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, that's cheap. Fuck. What a bad place for that to land. Oh, nice. Uh, the other way around, and I couldn't agree more, Webby. Pickle me, pin feathers. There it is. Shadow pass directly ahead. Take us down, Launchpad. Slow and steady this time. No problem, old Mr. McD. We're close to that treasure now. I can almost smell it. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> <coughs> Well, that definitely wasn't me. Whatever it is, it won't last long if it tries to get between me and the lost crown. Uncle Scrooge, don't go. Do not worry, lassie. Whatever is in that cave is no match for your Uncle Scrooge. I oh. earn my fortune by being smarter than the smarties and tougher than the toughies. If anything's in there, it had better step aside. But I'm scared. Stay with Launchpad. He'll take good care of you. Stay with Launchpad? Gee, now I'm extra scared. Poor Launchpad. <laughs> I told God, you not to come Launchpad. along last. Uh, Crytoxin says, uh, the reason Glomgold was changed in the cartoon was to avoid apartheid. That makes a lot of sense. What is apartheid? Uh, I'll look it up. Yeah, it's it's a that that's a better Wikipedia article than stream topic. That yeah, gotcha. that is that is a big big topic. <laughs> yep. Okay. Moving on. Yep. Yep. Moving on. Yep. Moving on. That's why I couldn't answer. I'm like, it's complicated. Yeah. It's a little, I it a little more complicated than a casual discussion during Ducktales. Yeah, we're gonna move on then. Let's move on. It's a big worldwide. It was a big not worldwide event, but it was a big event that kind of has had ramifications worldwide. It's yeah. a good term to know so that anytime it comes up, you can be like, okay, I know the weight that is being referenced. <laughs> yeah, if any of you guys wanna know, Google it, like I did. I wouldn't call it modern politics. We're talking like what, 80s? I'm trying yeah. to remember when apartheid even started technically, but it is, yeah, let's let's not discuss it here, big. <laughs> anyway, DuckTales. <laughs> oh, it was 40s. <clears throat> Why did I think it was like 80s? Also, I forgot the Yeti was that big, damn. He is not that big in NES, I'll tell you that much. Oh, man. Parch, 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 parch. Just, just Google it, just Google it. Google autocomplete for you. Yeah. I'm not, I, I, I'd rather move on, uh, move on guys, so. <laughs> Look it up on your own time. The 80s was likely near the end of it when it started being an issue outside the country. Okay, there we go. That's probably why I associate with the 80s then. So I usually, most discussions I remember were around that time. Fuck, that was bad. Rip. Punch, 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 punch. There we go. Boy, I hope I don't have to hit him 12 times like the other bosses. I'm gonna assume this is a five or six situation just based on the pacing of this boss. Uh-oh. Oh, that's bad. Punch, 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 punch. Ooh, that just damaged oh. me straight up. Oh. That oh, geez. seems scurry. Oh boy. So, what is what is the Yeti? Abominable snow person. Or snow being. 
I Yetis was... are not. How? Oh, come on. They're not real in the sense that there's no real evidence for anything that could be considered a yeti. It's more like just a folktale creature. Yeah, they're a cryptid, I believe, is the term? Mm, that sounds right. I thought Which they were does a place not have to be an insectoid, by the way. I thought there were a place where you could buy yeti. shirts. <laughs> no, the, the, the yeti is also, uh, you know, mythological entity. Bra bra bra. Ma'am, don't be daft, lass. This monster tried to pummel me. Why, I nearly cashed my last check. Oh, I know, ma'am. But Uncle Scrooge is really nice once you get to know him. Webby, you understand this creature? Of course, Uncle Scrooge. <coughs> it's all in a Junior Woodchuck guidebook. What's she saying now? She says she's sorry if she hurt you. She's just upset because she stepped on a thorn. I can't get it out. A thorn? That's why she's she stomped don't... everywhere. Here's your thorn, Webigail. <laughs> the lost crown of Genghis Khan. The pretty crown. It's not even <laughs> flattened at all. Not even remotely. It must have been in there deep. I get why she was mad about it. She didn't even react when Scrooge removed it, though. Hey, it's in the snow. It's numb right now. Oh, okay. I think she likes you, Uncle Scrooge. Hell, that's odd. Usually it's me the ladies go gaga for. <laughs> well, let's get home before she grows any fonder of me. With a chin like that, yeah, I believe it. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's cash all this in. That means there's one more stage. The moon. Well, one more selectable stage. And then one after more selectable that, stage, it's, yeah. it's the actual final stage. Good time to take a break, right? Yeah, I mean, the alarm already went off during that stage anyways. Okay. All right, looks like if we can get three million off the moon, yeah, even less than that, two and a half, we'll, uh, we'll get the <clears> 10 million <throat> achievement. That seems possible based on what we got out of that That's pretty possible, yeah. Of Genghis Khan is mine, lads. <laughs> All it took was a bit of tenacity and perseverance. And a little kindness and patience. Right, Uncle Scrooge? Right you are, Webby darling. Now, where's Bubba run off to? Yeah, where is he? He was here a minute ago. Why don't you answer Bubba? He's over there having a tea party with Webby's toys. No, Bubba Smash! Uh-oh, Webby. Sounds like Bubba's not getting along so good with your Quacky Patch dolls. <gasps> you keep away from my dolls, mister! Uh, remember, kindness and patience, Webby Gale. Set a good example for the lad. Well then, what treasure shall we look for next? Any crash you can walk away from, achievement unlocked. Go for another dip. Baba, stop breaking the toys. <laughs> Is that, yeah, you ran through mod stuff. It was apparently the, the he wanted to break some dolls. All right, let's go to break. <clears throat> I went to go click OBS to bring it up. It was already on screen. And I was staring at it as I was doing that. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, let's drop some eggs. Oh, hello. Well, I'll let that's that play out five. first. Oh, no, wait, that's, that's not a ring. Forgot what? the music. Oh. Forgot the music. <laughs> well, what are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, I guess guns are being fired. Fluffy! Fluffy! 
Fluffy Scarhorn kills Ryu with kindness and bullets and says, Obligatory killing Ryu because stealing luck for birth. Also, a bit of a stress reliever since I have been playing Ninja Gaiden and those birds. Well, if I can't harm them with an alert... Was it, well, I can't harm them with an alert, so... Fair enough. Happy birthday, Fluffy Scarhorn. And yeah, Ninja Gaiden tends to make you hate birds. Alright, let's drop some eggs. Shockwave, 527, Mikey DCT, and Tropic Sky. Thank you all for the gift subs. The Apple Freak, thank you for the new sub. Franzel for eight. Met Wars 2 for 36. Mayo for 97. 605 Nina for 10. Eurochan for 91. Banana Render for 28. Dodger Earwig for 13. This is yay, my vote won. Let's go. Well, there you go. Uh, Wolf Link 370 for 61. Doodle Will for 34. Uh, where's our Launchpad McQuack spinoff? That's called Darkwing Duck. Uh, them Turk 217 for 52. Des Blade for f 5. And Drazen Flames for 30. Alongside Trop... Uh, no, I got the Tropic Sky one in there. Sorry. Uh, so alongside Math Wizard 7 for 19. Thanks for subbing, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Because there actually are a couple in the inbox. In the old egg carton here now. Uh, game fan with Shoryuken! Mama. Shoryuken! That's it. <laughs> that was it. It was literally a Shoryuken. Still with, will this madness ever end? Nearly lost my egg. On that one. Is there no end to this madness? And only a chatter with, a sea monster ate my egg. 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 Was six times he did that? <laughs> God, really ate that egg. All right, we've looped. Uh, let's go to break. When we come back, Art Block, and at this rate, we're probably going to beat the game tonight, unless I got to call it early. So, uh, we'll wrap it up after this. Yay! Progress. What's up, Chitter Chatter? Oh my god, there's a picture of Melia dressed as Poppy. Retweet. <laughs> <laughs> While Ryan's doing that, you got any questions, chat? <laughs> Get some questions in here. saw that too it is it it's great right <laughs> what's your preferred snack um i don't know the name of it but recently also i'm i'm assuming that's just snack as in like literal food maybe snack with two c's is different Tan tana tana no ki tana no nuri i don't know it's rice crackers little bean shaped rice crackers they have a little bit of spice to them they're so good I'm just I'm 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 just a basic person with my goldfish. I'm basic. Goldfish are also amazing. I haven't seen any since the game over here. Oh man. Just I just posted the link to that uh, picture, the tweet in chat. There you can go. There you go. That's what nice. I saw. Nice. If if you could choose <clears throat> a video game to play as a randomizer, which would it be? Honestly, based on uh, even though I've never played through the game in full, I kind of want to do more Link to the Past. I don't really play randomizers i don't really replay games in general so a randomizer's tough for me mm. i mean randos are how i've been learning a link to the past in general so it's kind of just like meh. which seems unconventional but that's that's just how i am if i want to play a randomizer i'll just play like a roguelike and then i can still play a new game that mm. <laughs> works you're, that way that's that's just my preferences if you're as rich as scrooge what would you do with the money <laughs> a lot of things. Probably a lot of helping the world. You know, I, I, if I had enough money to be able to help as many people as I wanted to help, I would do that. Have you guys seen the 25k Pikachu statue the Pokemon Company just had made? What the fuck? I, what? No, I don't. No, no, I've Hold not. On. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm looking this up. Favorite uh, snack with two C's? That'd probably be Pyra. Do you need a care package of only goldfish? If somebody wants to send me a care package of goldfish, sure, but like I can't promise its safety once it arrives here. 
Oh, it's a statue they made for the 25th anniversary. Okay. It's a crystal Pikachu for $25,000. What the fuck? See, okay, if I had the kind of money, I would uh, not spend it on stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even look cool, like, honestly. Like, if I'm gonna buy something expensive, it should at least look cool. That's my is personal there, stance. There any characters in a series that is a fan favorite character that you personally dislike? I need, like, a series first, because if you just call out something general like that, I, I don't know where to start. I honestly don't have one either, personally. I guess, I don't know, like... I'm 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 just thinking of uh, Deltarune again because that's the one that I recently played. But I really didn't like those three music guys. Oh really? Yeah. But nobody in my chat did either. I it's only after the fact that we're like, oh, apparently they are liked. Hmm. Who to thunk it? I mean, that's whatever. Yeah, they weren't really important or anything, so it's not a huge upset. Yeah. Wasn't the NES Moon theme the one with the copyright? I have no idea what the copyright deal is with this game. I don't so. know. Um, I do not agree with the chat that JFK from Clone High is a himbo. And this one did come from the uh, OSP video. JFK is too much of a bad guy to be a himbo. He is not pure of heart enough. He fits the other criteria, but he's not a good guy. And, like, Kronk is technically a bad guy, too, but Kronk is, like, wholesome. You know he is. JFK is just kind of a dick that a pay a Karen a occasionally has an all right moment. What about the four nineteen ninety nine life size Lucario plush? I would also not buy that. But that's me. I I only spent like three hundred dollars once on a Pyra statue, and that was years in the making as a twice-over birthday reward for myself for moving to Japan to chase a career. And that's the only thing I'm gonna buy that's like that. Maybe a Shante if I could find one, but that's it. That was special for me. Most of those big things I consider to be a... big... unwise spending of money. <clears throat> Also, something that uh, Bubba pointed out in chat, um, I'll just say right now, uh, the, the copyright situation for this game specifically, um, the credits theme for this game is the original theme from the cartoon. That yeah, would explain also, it. <laughs> also, guys, don't worry about it. This came up at the beginning. John said, don't worry about it. It's just a demonetizing. It's not going to mute nothing. It's it. We know. We all know. It's not a concern. You can stop Tom. warning us. Hi, Tom. How What's you doing? up, Tom? Now that's raid number five. <laughs> John's away from his keyboard, but thank you for the raid. Baby walk. Apparently, we're going for a baby walk. Tom. Baby, wait. <clears throat> Tom, what is your opinion on shaking babies? What is your opinion? I am. I am pro shaking fake babies. Mhm. Mm it's a really important middle word. Do not cut that out and take it out of context. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> Tom, did you not see John play uh, Babysitting Mom on Saturday? <laughs> I'm kind of behind looking at chat right now. Uh, <laughs> John played Babysitting Mom on Saturday. There's there's a line, I don't know if you knew about it, but the line in Babysitting Mama where it's like, No, 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 please don't shake the baby. <laughs> also, how was your stream, John? What were you playing? You mean Tom? Tom. We're here on John's stream. John, Tom. Right now. I, mi <laughs> I mix up names a lot, yeah, this is what I do. How was your stream, Tom? Hope it was good. Hi, John. Favorite welcome, to well, well, welcome to Tom's stream. <laughs> Favorite way forward license game. I've only played DuckTales Remastered, so that... Um, I haven't really played any way forward licensed games. Unless, I don't know, does, like, does River City Girls count as licensed? Uh, I'm gonna say no because it's uh I think license would be more like just something outside of a video game franchise. I've heard that the mummy is like weirdly good, so I'll just say that. Oh, you were doing a Nuzlocke for the new Pokemon. Nice. Nice. I started a Nuzlocke for uh Platinum, the old Gen 4 Pokemon. And it's in Japanese, so that's gonna be real hard, because I don't even know move names anymore. <laughs> Rip. I'm 
I'm, pro I'm gonna probably gonna be starting <coughs> Fire Red this week, actually, because I'm mean to do that game. Favorite OSP episode? I really like um, the one about Lovecraft, where uh, you know, the just straight up says he didn't have the constitution for math. Cut away to confused face. But also, like, I think that Dionysus is probably my favorite overall episode. <laughs> Also, I just realized I got the baby walk <laughs> raid message because of the look of uh, the new Pokemon game. Favorite Shantae character? Ooh, why you gotta put me on the spot like that? Um, mm, that's not easy. <laughs> that actually isn't easy. Wow. Uh, it's it. Uh, it's probably risky, but only from Pirate's Curse. Which is another reason you have to play something that's not Pirate's Curse first, so that you can get the contrast. <laughs> also, I'm literally drawing a risky emote right now for my channel, because I already have a Shantae. Guys, remind me the- Squid Baron! That's the name! You know what? I'm gonna say Squid Baron. I think he's hilarious. Squid Baron is pretty awesome, yeah. That, uh, I, I did- like, one of the first series that I did on my channel way back when, on YouTube, was like- a Shantae, uh, Pirates... No, I, I started off with Rissy's Revenge solo, but then we did Pirate's Curse. I did that with a friend, and we just both got into voices for the whole thing, and he did such a funny Squid Baron, so now I just always connect. Like, that that's Josh's character. That is his. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, come on, Risky wears the face of her old boss. That is badass. <laughs> I will not give you context for that. Like in Half Genie Hero, when uh, hi uh, hi uh, Hypno Baron uh, was summoning a horrific. It turns out. Yes! Yes, Tom! I remember that! <laughs> that was so good! That was so good! <clears throat> God. I love that. Also, the music uh, for that area, by the way, Mwah, beautiful. Yeah, Squid Baron's great. Yeah, like, they're, they're all really good in context. That's the thing. Roddy's great. Bolo's great. Shantae's great. Mimic's great. Risky's great. It's just like, which one do you pick? It's kind of more based on a moment or an interaction. <laughs> Character. And yeah, yeah, Pirate's Curse is them just, you know, like, going on a really long date that Risky doesn't <laughs> want to admit is a date. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Anyone play Seven Stars? If so, what are your thoughts on the game? I've played a bit <clears throat> of it, thought it was alright, didn't really stuck, st stick with me, so I'm hoping that the new update changed that. I had a good time, but as I said earlier, I am into the Shantae games mostly for all the personality. The gameplay is secondary to me with that series. Yeah, I, I, that's fair. If you just want the character with the biggest booba, good news, that's also risky. <laughs> <laughs> Bolo's absolutely himbo. Bolo, Bo, okay, Bo, Bo, Bolo would ride the line. He, he can be himbo. He's self-serving, but he's not as self-serving as JFK, and we already had that discussion. So you know what? If JFK is the line of, like, this is not a himbo, Bolo is more than he. That Bolo? was a sentence. Honestly, Bolo is kind of just a... I don't know. I don't know how to feel about Bolo, honestly. Personally. Yeah, clone high JFK. We have been talking about himbos for a like kind of d disturbingly long time at this point and uh I, yeah. i'm pulling my my take on jfk from yeah the old osp it wasn't old this year a couple months ago the osp video which is that jfk is just too much of a self-serving dick to really be a himbo he's not pure of heart enough and he does not drink his respect women juice oh yeah mermaid queen right mermaid queen has best chest by default well because Sorry. she's bigger <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you're talking about proportionately, then maybe she's tied, but, like, that's not fair. Come yeah, on. that's kind of cheating, honestly. Himbo Major Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist? Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's one of the poster children, I would say.
What about Sky? Sky's good. Sky doesn't have a lot of good moments. That's a thing. Well, okay, okay let me let me put it this way. Sky doesn't have a lot of moments. Period. <laughs> Uh, when she's there and when she's involved, yeah, she's pretty good. But, like, she has less moments than Roddy. And Roddy is more consistently hilarious. Yeah, I can agree upon <laughs> that. I heard you talking about Giga Mermaid as I was typing Shining Pearl and wrote Shining Personality. Ah! <laughs> 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 uh... Yes, Tom. Yes. Well Amazing. done. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I feel like um, if there's anything that, like, uh, you, we, you were guys talking about Sky, that actually reminded me of the Friends to the End DLC from Half Genie Hero, which was interesting to say the least, because that was the one where you were switching back and forth between characters. Mm. Yeah, that uh, Friends Forever, that was nice, yeah. I did play all of those, the, uh, the Half Genie Hero extra modes, and they were good. There was one mode, though, uh, I will say, there was one mode in Half-G Hero that I absolutely hated, and that was the sunscreen mode. The, the, I don't the mode... think I played those. I, I played, like, three of them, I think. But I didn't beach... play the ninja or the sunscreen. Beach... Oh, it was beach mode. That's what it was. Beach mode. Yeah. Basically, you need to have sunscreen in order to not die. And it just yeah. got <clears throat> so goddamn frustrating. It's more, it's more like it. picking up clocks, right? It's like a time attack, but you just yes. need to pick up sunscreens. Basically. But it got, like, so frustrating for me. Um, um, somebody asking if Caspar is a himbo. Uh, he's close, but I think I, I, that was also in the OSP video, so I'm just gonna, like, anything you say from that video, I'm just gonna repeat their thoughts, and anything you say not from that video, uh, I'm gonna have to think. So, <laughs> so um, I, I don't know. I would actually Cas say- Caspar seems small, but otherwise he fits the general, um, criteria. I would actually say my favorite mode, my favorite DLC mode from- uh, Half Genie Hero was probably. What was the name of the Mighty Switch Force mode, chat? There was a Mighty Switch <laughs> Force mode because it was basically it was basically Mighty Switch Force, and you had the music from Mighty Switch Force, which is incredible. So that might I that know. might be my favorite extra mode. We Off think in mode, here. Like, it look, it's uncomfortable, but if put on the spot, I can be made to think. I don't mind thinking. It's just most of the characters you guys are talking about are people I've never seen before. I have no reference. They're from series I haven't played. All the girls were Hooligan sisters. <laughs> that was really good, too. I forgot about that. Yeah, go play my Switch Force. That game is great. <laughs> yeah, Knuckles uh, from Boom is a himbo. Yes. Also, I'm sorry, did I hear John? <laughs> I, I didn't it? hear anything. Okay. <laughs> I must have heard something else then. My bad. Yeah, the Half Genie DLC was kind of the same game over and over. That's true. I think that's why I stopped after a couple modes. That's fair. And they also got Promare? No, I have not heard of Promare. I've literally never heard of it before. Yeah, and like the 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 funny <laughs> thing about the Half Genie. DLCs is that as time went on, it felt like they got line more linear and more linear. As, like they got even more linear as time went on. Funny yeah, enough, just a straight line. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I got a thing for snake women. So Tuki was hitting the right notes for me. Tuki was pretty good. She didn't. She didn't do a lot, but I did like her design. Gumshoe is a himbo, yeah. I don't know his name in either language right now, but so is uh, the Steel Samurai actor. That big guy in the yellow jumpsuit. <sighs> Sorry, Will Powers, that's the English name. I'm, I'm on that case in Japanese, and I just cannot for the life of me read the kanji, so I just, I know when they're saying him, but I can't read it. Sorry for the wait, guys. Uh, went upstairs to grab a quick bite to eat. And then oh, Bagel yeah. started crying, so I made food for him. And then he kept crying. Then he started like, hobbling around the living room. Then he ran upstairs as best he could, so I followed him. He bugged Reese. He went into the one of the bathrooms that didn't have his litter box. Then he went into the bathroom that did have his litter box. <laughs> and he wanted me to stand there so he could poop. <laughs> because ever since this accident or whatever happened to him, he needs someone nearby him so he can peer poop in peace. 
Like, he feels too nervous to do it otherwise, so. Maybe he got attacked while he was, uh, making. No, he doesn't have any, like, animal wounds or anything like that. It really is just like he pulled a muscle. Mm. It's all right. We've uh, continued to talk about himbos for the entire duration. I Tom showed up and it's joined in. Somehow yeah. not <laughs> shocked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tom Fox raided earlier. Oh, shit. Yep. Yeah, that that Tom. I thought you meant Tom White. He's an evil genius. <laughs> yeah, he raided he... while you were gone. All right, He's well, still here, yeah. Uh, I don't think I have Tom's countermeasure. Do I even have the small ones on this screen? No, I don't. Ah, fuck it. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thanks for Ray Tom. Uh, we're going to wrap up DuckTales Remastered here after Art Block and all that. Although I might cut Art Block short since I was gone for so long. Yeah, apparently Tom's raid was 14 minutes ago. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> oh, the time goes so fast. Yeah. We were also talking about Shantae for a little while. Fair enough. We, we brought it back to Hambos. Don't worry. Uh, shit, what was I going to say? I don't remember, so clearly it was important. All right, uh, <laughs> let me quickly get caught up on stuff here and then we can get back to it. Uh, Ryan Curtis, 2001 says, I heard my name. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Queen, she says, update from last bit, Dono. I just checked my weight and I legit lost three pounds from last time I checked. Dono, John, luck confirmed. I repeat, this is not a drill. I am not touting myself as weight loss. I definitely <laughs> cannot claim that. Doubly so because our routine thing we say here is bigger, so we definitely can't claim that at all. But congratulations. Uh, the Legend of Daniel says, I'm not sure if they will do it, but I would love a Darkwing Duck reboot. They seem like they want to reboot a lot of the Disney Afternoon stuff, but I just don't know if anything's gonna happen. I feel like the one that has the best chance though is Darkwing Duck. Legend of Daniel says, Proton radiates Big John energy in that his name is John. I mean, that's how a name works, usually. Uh, the Legend of Daniel also says, Yes, waiter, I would like a refund on that launch pad pun. Fair enough. JT Incorporated says, These goats are the cow! Wait, reverse that. And Ryan Curtis says, Fun fact, Jake Coffin does get around, including composing for an M&M's Game Boy Color game, of all things. I mean, he... He knows how to program on that thing. He knows how to make that Game Boy sing. It's a, It was a needed skill back then. Can we claim weight gain? Yeah. Even, even like, memes <clears throat> aside with the characters, you're, you're sitting around on a couch or a chair watching the stream, so yeah, kinda. I feel like all streams can claim that by, by default. Uh, let's do a cut in half art block and then we'll get back to the game. Isn't it in the works, but it came at the cost of the DuckTales reboot? I wasn't sure about that. I had heard it was in the works. I just wasn't sure if that was officially confirmed. But a couple people are saying mm -hmm. that it is actually confirmed. All right. Art Block starts on the only thing we could start Art Block with today. Oops, all Ryans. That's it. There's no message. It's just oops, all Ryans. Thanks, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it Bubba's picture? Did you ever watch Chippendale Rescue Rangers, John? They're bringing it back. Oh, yeah, I loved that show as a kid. That show was great. Uh, I watched that. Darkwing Duck, uh, Tailspin, Gummy Bears. Uh, what else was from Disney Afternoon? Obviously, DuckTales. I feel like I'm missing something that was in there. I said Tailspin, Chippendale. 
Oh, Winnie the Pooh was one of them too. Yeah, I watched that as well. And Gargoyles, Goof Troop, but that kind of split out from Disney Afternoon. Quack Pack was not in Disney Afternoon, but yes, I did see Quack Pack. That rings a bell. I... Hmm. Quack Pack was the, like, pseudo-sequel to DuckTales, where it was about Huey, Dewey, and Louie living with Donald. And they were, like, teenagers instead of, uh, instead of kids. Hmm. Oh, man, Mighty Ducks! I forgot about that cartoon! That one right. rolled! Right! Yeah, they I remember made it, that. It was about actual anthropomorphic ducks, and they were they also disguised themselves as a hockey team. And, like, their power form was, like, the main leader put on a fucking goalie mask and became, like, a superhero. Yep, yep, I bet, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> the last Ryan is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. But not for long. I shall break out. I shall return, and after I do, I shall watch Proton John stream. Oh. Same name gag aside, I made a quick edit for the Super Metroid line. Enjoy. Now, if you'll excuse me, my, my rideshare is waiting for me. He's a space dragon of some sort and says he used to be a pirate. Seems like a cool guy. Nice. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Super Ryan. The last Ryan is in captivity. Captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Don't know what else to say. Oh, right, because Camille was the last Ryan. That's why. <laughs> Wait, that's Camille. <laughs> that's good. Locked away. Next up, cooking. From Daisy and Chibi. Uh, she may not be a Saiyan, but she is a super mama taking care of her husband, who is strong and has bottomless pit for a stomach, and a son whom she is willing to go rescue from an alien invader. Do not mess with Chi-Chi, daughter of the Ox King, defender of a small village, and the most terrifying opponent anyone has to face if they hurt her family. All art done by Daisy. Yeah, imagine if imagine if Chi-Chi actually had Super Saiyan powers. Then that family dynamic would be a bit different. Or literally the same. The villain in Mighty Ducks was voiced by Tim Curry, too. Nice. I still remember Tim Curry voicing the villain from Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. That was another show I fucking loved. And for some reason, I remember every episode of the show ended with, like, Tim Curry laughing, like, <laughs> Then he would go, end. That's it. That's just how the episode always ended during the credits. <laughs> it was so stupid. It was so dumb. Next up. From Mel, a commission from Mark, a.k.a. Uh, Major Mooch. A Hydra combination of characters belonging to Ebot, Dragon Tamer, and Purple Fire. Thank you so much for commissioning me. Cute. There we go. More dragons for the uh, for the dra for the Hydra Force. Although I had to do a bit of a double take when I saw this here, because the pattern did not look like just a tattoo. So I'm like, wait a minute. No. Okay. Good. It's a tattoo. Thank God. <laughs> Thanks, Mel. Uh, Tim Curry was the smog monster from that preachy environmental movie. Oh yeah, Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest. Yeah. I remember that too. That's a core? That's a jelly being? Okay. Mooch even said I had to check that too. Finally, I've done it! Thanks to my initiation uh, and reverse engineering that Abomination's DNA, I've made a device that'll disrupt the creature's bio makeup. The problem needs time to charge. While these heroes will buy me some time, I think I'll need to get my hands dirty. Let's rock. Things are heating up. After hiding in silence for so long, Wily John's ready to, for some revenge, even if it all is really his fault. The abomination he's referring to is Altamira, by the way. She may have stayed by Wily John's side at all this time, but he la still lacks the social skills a genius of his caliber would. Oh, of course. Of course. We'll follow up with the, sequ the sequel comic here. Five seconds later. Let's rock. Uh, Rosa. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hop down here. Uh, man, I hope we find him soon. My feet are killing me. Joanne says, Well, that's what happens when you walk in heels. I mean, that's true. <laughs> Don't you usually float? <laughs> that's not the point! Ugh. Would you keep it down? I'm trying to. Oh, it's you. Dun, dun, dun. Wily John has finally been found uh, uh, by our heroes. But will he actually cooperate? So yeah, happy second birthday, Egg Pack. As you saw in Icy's post earlier, it took some god tier timing to get it back to back. Wily John has a machine that may be able to turn the tide on Joliana. But will it work? We will have to find out. Well, I thought we just realized it wasn't for Joliana. It was for uh, the Abomination. 
Or, uh, sorry, Alt Mera, as we were saying. I got them got mixed up for a second there. Uh, also, sorry, this game is blurrier than usual. Couldn't get the camera to work. Also, poor John Tech got off screened. She'll be fine. Thanks, Silver. All right, like I said, we're going to cut this art block short, so we'll hop to the rest in the last art block of the night. Let's get back to it. Okay, we've only got one proper stage left, and we all know what stage that is. It's the sun. That's right, it's the main menu, baby! Let's go back to it! Okay. <laughs> it's time to go to the moon. <clears throat> what are we gonna talk about on the moon? Space. Something like that. It's a oh. long way to the moon, lads. But the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Up, up, and away! <laughs> take the take that helicopter to the moon! The take that helicopter to the of... bonus stage I didn't realize we had access to again. Oops! <laughs> well, now you have a better chance to get 10 million. That's true. We can definitely make it now. Also, you all better use your dance emotes once the music pop g goes up. Y'all better be using your dance emotes. You to do my work. Why are you dropping diamonds? <laughs> I didn't realize we had a seven in our in our number because we literally didn't even go look. Well, we got lucky. So. There we go. The helicopter turned into a rocket. Gosh, Mr. McDuck. I've never been to the moon before. Well, when it comes to space cadets, Fenton, you're a natural. <laughs> now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> why, that's Oxy Chew, Mr. McDuck. It's my latest invention. Oxygen flavored taffy. Five good chews and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too. That gyro is a matter of opinion. <laughs> now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? Isn't it all around us? Yeah? How do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of green cheese. Well, that's what my dear mama said. And did it take a feather brain like you to believe her? Ugh, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... Wait, what's that? Look, here's someone who can give us directions. Hello? Mr. McDuck! Help! Bye, Finn. Oh, Who are you no. again? We've got to save him! Now I'll get explained later. Really? We do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the Gizmo Duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. Jam's time. Here we go. <clears throat> also, uh, since someone mentioned the name in chat, uh, not in this game, but in the 2017 reboot, uh, Fenton is voiced by Lin Manuel Miranda. Nice. And I think they also changed uh, his ethnicity actually in the reboot as well. But yeah, uh, Fenton is essentially the pilot for Gizmo Duck, or is Gizmo Duck, depending on how you want to word it. And Gizmo Duck is the equivalent, I guess, of. Robocop meets Inspector Gadget in the DuckTales universe. He's like a super powerful superhero if, robot. I was just gonna ask if that guy right there was the Gizmo Duck, because it looked really on point for the way you described it, but I guess these are mooks. These are, just, Latino, these are, these are aliens. Okay, Roto Eva pointed out, uh, yeah, Fenton is Latino in the remake. In the Me. reboot. I do hear, uh, like, diversity was definitely a big thing in the reboot as well. Which is nice. Yeah. God, I, the one thing I will say when I think of this track, I can think of Jared actually playing this on his streams. He absolutely loves this song. And the moon theme is a classic. Well, this, this variation especially is insanely good. Looks like the same spaceship that took off with Fenton. Cow. Well, <laughs> I guess this means I'm invited on board. Well, at least they explain how he gets on. 
One of the executive producers was also Latino, so it was important for him to have a Latino superhero, which is why he fought to have Fenton be multiracial. Uh, that is super cool. Neat. Honestly. I always appreciate stories like that. The song has lyrics and everything. Oh yeah, because the, the song actually shows up in in the show, but yeah. the scene it shows up in is mega spoilers. So yeah, we're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna talk about it. Yep. And even I have seen that scene. Yeah. It's a it's a nice scene, but it is also yeah mega spoiler. Yep. Oh, I gotta get used to the, they've changed the layout of the ship. So does this spit me back down instead now in this version? Because originally there was. Oh, well, we're gonna find out for sure now. Yeah, I've I've also seen that scene, and again, like the 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 like the clips I've seen of the show really makes me just want to go and watch it. But it's like it, it is a good. Like I said, I've only seen a couple episodes on an airplane, and it's it was good. <laughs> it's just the problem, just being like I need to actually have a day c to actually binge watch it. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to binge so. watch it; just watch one episode a day. Yeah. Like space it out like I that. I could, but also maybe I'll get into it too much and I'll just want to watch more of it. That's the problem. Yeah. Well, then, I deal deal with that problem if it becomes a problem. I don't think you should be sked looking for a giant block of time in advance before you even try it. I don't know. I tend to be the one person where if I'm enjoying something a lot, I tend to like get into it like for a very very long time. If you're so. a, if you're a binge watcher straight up, then yeah, I mean like do what works best for you, but just be aware that that's just gonna eventually like. You'll miss out on some experiences because you just can't do anything other than binge. That's mm. fair enough, yeah. Sometimes you just gotta be like, all right, I got like 30 minutes, let's just <laughs> watch a random show, and if I like it, I'll then I'll schedule time to properly binge it. That's yeah. actually that would actually that's actually probably a good point. Like yeah. I I have to do a lot of stuff like midway through, regardless how much I'm enjoying it, because as I've said many times, I'm doing all my stuff in Japanese right now. I have to do things slowly so I can rewind and understand it and stuff like that. I've left many Netflix shows just in the middle because I got through half of it and then had to go do something. I, I, I mean like in the middle of one episode. I am very glad though that you can now watch the whole series on Disney Plus so at least there's an easy way to watch it now. Yeah, and now there's a way to watch it over here. Oh, that's good. Yeah, usually when I when I do like I have time to like watch a TV show or movie, I'll usually be like, okay, I don't know if I'm gonna like this, so I'll just give it a watch. And then if I want to watch more, then I can plan to do more. Or if it if I don't like it, I'll just go look at something else or play something else. Yeah, again, I've I've watched the pilot episode multiple times because I loved it. I just never. The other issue is because of the fact that it was only on TV originally. That was also an issue, because it's like, oh, I have to watch this on a specific time, and I'm just like, hmm. I so. guess I should free him if I can. <clears throat> Fenton, get down from there, and stop embarrassing yourself. Oh my god, is that how they ex- Oh, that's clever. Thank goodness you're here. I think those aliens wanted to suck out my brain and make an army of Fenton clones. Bah, they'd soon learn that one of you is one too many. Now, help me find a security override so we can get to your gizmo duck suit. You mean this? Security system disengaged. Fenton, you're a genius. Gee, Mr. McDuck, do you mean it? Oops. Warning, damage report. Artificial gravity system is offline. Fenton, you're a nincompoop. You broke the gravity controls. Not to worry, I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. I got a level three certificate of technology from Happy Ducky University, you know. Oh, no you don't. You'll probably slam into the self-destruct button too. I'll get us out of this. Oh, I forgot about this part. Swim, was skirt, like, swim! Is it, was this like this in the original? No. Restored. Okay, so that's a new thing. Nice work, Mr. McDuck. Now, let's go get my gizmo duck suit! Not so fast, Dunderhead. You go wait with Gyro. I'll find a gizmo duck suit myself. <laughs> okay, bye! Bye! Okay. God, I, I really need to replay this game. <laughs> <clears throat> I didn't get to be number one by 
Goodish news since Disney Plus is doing so well, they're talking about canceling Disney, uh, uh, Disney Channel and Disney XD. That doesn't surprise me. Really? Yeah. For some reason, Canadian Disney Plus only has seasons one and two of DuckTales reboot. It does not have season three on there at all. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. That's more I what I would have actually expected. Oh, I can probably just grab the helmet now, huh? There we go. Look, look, Popsky, I got an Xbox. I'm playing a bunch of games on my Xbox. I can't help it. If I didn't know better, I'd swear Fenton actually gets smarter when he wears this thing. Uh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the lad. No, only two more parts to find, and we can break into that moon bolt. Oh, does he actually know that Fenton's Gizmo Duck? I thought that was a big thing that he that no one knew except for Gyro. <laughs> Just turn it off. Pop, please. Also, Pop, don't think I didn't see your Pog message when when, when I friended you. <clears throat> don't think I didn't see that. It has season Scrooge. three now. We just watched it last week. That's oh. good. Oh, sick. The Canadian one does? Okay. In the original Pog. series, Scrooge found out about halfway through the series. Okay. I don't even think Gyro knows. I'm pretty sure Gyro knows, because I'm thought... Oh no, because it was an accident is why Fenton has the suit on in the first place. I knew it. America, you don't know about Canada. Oh, okay. No. Hmm. I mean, they are going to take so long at that point, you might as well get a VPN. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm more bummed out about, like, Amazon Prime, for some reason, took away... We were watching Farscape together, Reese and I. They took away season one! <laughs> what? But not the other three seasons. Or the <laughs> spin-off <laughs> series. <laughs> Just season you, one! You, you uh... can't start this anymore. It does indeed have season three now. Heck yeah, just checked. Nice. Yeah, no, that's good. So some people are thinking it was a it's just a random error because apparently Seinfeld had the same issue on Amazon Prime or some other series. But uh, it hasn't come back yet, last I checked. Which sucks because we were two episodes away from the end of season one. And uh, we thought we were at the end. So when we booted up the first episode of season two and it was like, Here's all this shit that we have no idea what the fuck's going on with, and it looks pretty big situation-wise. Like, oh, we should, we're not, we're not here yet. Man, I love subscription services. Uh, so much. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta go buy the Blu-ray. Season one, so we can actually finish season one. I joke, uh, I joke about subscription services, but I've really been enjoying Game Pass, so maybe I shouldn't say shit. <laughs> I mean, Game Pass is a pretty good subscription service, yeah. It's, it's really damn good, honestly. I've been trying a bunch of, I, um, what have I been, what have I been trying? Um, I've always been playing through Banjo for the first time. I tried Perfect Dark. I tried Cluster Truck. Um, I got a bunch of other games to also try as well, so. I've been, I've been replaying Ori, actually, on my Xbox. <laughs> I own it on, like, I own it, like, three times, and I'm playing it again on Xbox. <laughs> Maybe you should use some of that time to watch uh, DuckTales. Or I can keep playing Ori, because I, I love Ori. I miss it again. Now, where did you come from? Why, from home, of course. I had to be sure you were all right in this filthy place. Oh, yeah, the geolocking. Yeah, that's definitely You're bullshit. as good as you want, my dear. Oh, he learned. He didn't make a fat joke. Good job, Scrooge. Good job. Oh, yes, Game Pass is also on PC, but, like... It's, a, di like it's a different subscription I think you need for that. Unless you get Game you Pass can, Ultimate. Which I did get. Um, because you can also get Xbox Live with that. Um, but yeah, like, I think the thing with me, like, with Game Pass is I think it just fits better with console. <clears throat> because I feel like on PC, I feel like I have so many games installed already and it feels kind of overwhelming. And there's, like, other things I can do on my PC. I feel like the console version, because, like, Xbox is mainly for gaming, when I'm on that console and I'm playing on my Xbox, I feel like I'm more likely to actually use it. So. So. That's my thing. 
I've just, I've honestly just been impressed with, with, with my new Xbox. Like the Series S is actually a really damn good system. Yeah, I've so. been, I've been playing it a bit for Forza, and uh, we're playing it for something for top-down perspective right now because it's on Game Pass. Like it's been, it's great in the sense that. <laughs> Hang on, sorry. I like Game Pass for the fact that it lets me play games I would not necessarily buy. And that's yes. the thing I like about it. That seems good. That's basically like giving you back the idea of rentals, which was yeah, great. Yeah, e exactly. And it's it's like not really a streaming service because you download it and then you got access to it until it either yeah. goes off the service or you are done with it. So I wouldn't really call Game Pass a streaming service as much as it is a subscription service. Yeah, that's probably the best way to go about it, subscription. Yeah. Also, also Popsky, I have been thinking about adding RetroArch to uh, my Xbox. I just need time to do it, so... Because you can, for those of you who don't know, on the Series S and also X as well, you can get emulators to work without any modding and without voiding, voiding your warranty. Like, at all. And it's pretty sick. Yeah, we're not going to go into details on how, because I'm... Well, I guess it is legal. I mean, Microsoft allows it, so... <laughs> That's the thing I don't get, like... I guess it's, it's got to be because just emulators themselves are not illegal. It's just a weird situation. Eh, one point to Microsoft, honestly. Like, honestly, like, it, it's so weird because I initially was just like, oh, first, like, next-gen console I'll get is PS5 because they'll probably have more exclusives. But, like... I mean, it has. It has, but I don't think there's still... I don't think there's still <laughs> enough on PlayStation to buy it. At least initially for like 500 bucks. So, I, I feel like if, I'll, I'll say this right now, if if anyone wants to get into next gen and they want a really good all, all around system that allows you to play past games and new games and everything else like that, get a Series S. Like, if you don't mind going digital, get a Series S. It's $300 and it's most likely going to be more available than in a Series X or a PS5, honestly. I'll probably still eventually get a PS5 for the exclusives, but I, there's still not really any desire for me to get one right now, so. It's, it's, it's really weird how that kind of flip-flopped a little bit between that type of stuff. Ah, shit. Ouch. Up I go. The few exclusives that are on a PlayStation are stuff that I don't really need to play. My time time is super tight. I'm, I'm always just like, I got my Nintendo, I got Steam, I'm happy. Honestly, I the still struggle to recommend this current generation to people. Yeah. Like the PS5 and the Series X, are, are they're hard to recommend still. Yeah. Because most games are still being made for last with last gen in mind as well. If you can get it, yeah, and like the, the struggle, it's more so the struggle it is to get one of those systems is just not worth it for what's available. There are good and games on there, and there's games I've enjoyed playing on it that I think you can only play on both systems, but yeah. it's still too low of a number to be like, yeah, go out right now and get one if you can, or like, do the work, the legwork to get one for as much of a pain in the ass as it is. And I think that's where, honestly, like, like secretly the Series S kind of like shines is the fact that it's basically a Game Pass machine, essentially. Looks like I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit. It's a good thing Gyro rigged up this hyperspace pocket for me to carry things around in. Now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro. <laughs> I hope it's not too late. And yeah, the only PS5 exclusive I've, I'm really interested in trying is Rift Apart. That is literally it. Magic and maybe really Returnal. Fun. I really enjoyed that. And maybe Returnal, because that seems super cool. But that's pretty much it. Like, the only other thing I would use it for is backwards compatibility, honestly. Yeah. And quite frankly, Xbox has PlayStation beat with backwards compatibility. <laughs> they kind of do. So. Not helping the Xbox Series X and PS5 is that COVID put a massive monkey wrench into developing games for those consoles. That is also true. So yep. they, they both dropped during a pandemic. Mm-hmm. Which is... An interesting take, an like, interesting choice to do, but I guess they had so many things already lined up, they couldn't really reschedule it. Yeah. Like, I've heard, I've heard a lot of people say that Nintendo is also 
only put out the OLED now because they're like, yeah, we want to do a, a pro equivalent too, and we can't because we're in the same situation the other companies are in. And I could entirely see that. Also, interesting point from James. To be fair, a good PC cannibalizes an Xbox. Yes and no, I would say actually now. Because, yes, because games would obviously play at the highest quality settings, and there's also maybe more freedom with that. But I think where the Xbox kind of has an advantage over PC, in my personal opinion, is there are still things you can only play on Xbox, especially through backwards compatibility. And I think that Game Pass just works better on a console. Honestly. I thought the whole point of the new Xbox, of Microsoft's new thing, is that every game is available on both. Yeah. All platforms. It yes. Is. But here's the thing. So, like, it's, sometimes it's just nicer to having a dedicated machine for it. Financially, yeah, sure. you might not yeah. be able to do that. And in that case, then, yeah, you get the PC. But, uh, <clears> like, <throat> I like being able to play on my computer and play on my console at the same time. Like, I can be like, oh, okay, yeah. I'll load up a stream over here and then I'm going to play a game. And you can still do all that on one PC. But I just, I just like the, the setup. But but also that it, it, it's with that reason that I also still can't justify the Series X, because like I feel like the the Series S is powerful enough for me that it can still that I'm I'm really not really gonna care. Like the X is the most powerful, but again, Xbox still has that exclusivity problem. So I just even though I I give my praises to the S, I still can't recommend a Series X personally. A second monitor is not the same thing um, as, like, a different system. You're still using one machine to run everything. Yeah. It, and and I, I'm honestly aware that the whole thing with the Series S is ultimately sort of a mentality thing as well, because, again, it's a separate system. But sometimes that's kind of what you need. You just need separation from, even if it's just from your work, honestly. You kind of need that separation sometimes. All right, here we go. Let's drop off the suit. We're in luck. I managed to find all of Gizmo Duck's suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now we could blast into the treasure vault. Just a moment, Fenton. <clears throat> Gyro, I, uh, I think I. Oh, he doesn't know. That two-dollar bill under the back seat. <laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Gee, boss. Why'd you send Gyro back onto the ship? So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you dunderhead. But there are only three of us here, sir. Won't he figure it out anyway when Gizmo Duck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? I wouldn't worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are about as good as yours. Oh, hey! Would you just get on with it? Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Code word? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blather, Skite, I'm useless. Ta da! I'm useful to the extreme. Point me toward the offending blockade so that I might deal justice upon it. Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Behold, Gizmo Duck. Mr. McDuck? Fenton? Gizmo Duck? Huh. They're gone. And all I could find was this two million dollar bill. Oh well, back under the seat it goes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need that. Come back, no. Dude, dude. Let's go, Gizmo dude. Duck. Fire some missiles. Fuck him up. Oh, oh Fuck damn. Fuck him up, Gizmo Duck. Let's go! Also, Popsky pointed out earlier, people keep saying try Blue Dragon, by the way. I haven't tried that yet. What is that? It's, it's an RPG. It's an, it's an RPG, apparently? Yeah, JRPG, art style done by Toriyama. Uh, but I forget what the actual plot of it is. It had a sequel that was on the DS, but the original game was 360. Or was it, oh shit, was the DS one a sequel or was it a remake? Or did I get both? Gizmo, Gizmo Duck? You... I, I don't know. I don't know. Nothing about it. There he is. Two sequels on DS. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. 
Don't play it, it's boring. I mean, I wasn't gonna play it on stream. And I played it already a little bit of Blue Dragon. I like the start of it. I mentioned, I mentioned Blue, Blue Dragon because Pops, I think it was Popsky specifically who said like, play it. He's playing top. it currently, yeah. Somebody so says Blue Dragon is the game that spawned the no RPG rule for Cookie. Oh, that sounds right. <laughs> Fire the underwear! How was that, Mr. Mc... I mean, oh, the path is clear, good sir! Good work, Gizmoduck. No? How are they all breathing on the moon? Ah, Flinthard Glumgold. What are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? Why, same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> Why, you... How did you find out about the green cheese? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> but thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McGuck! Halt, evildoer! No, Gizmo Duck. I need you to help me deal with the... Uh... Beagle Boys. Bah! Rip. Yep. All right, I think we're gonna be cutting this really close for getting that 10 million because uh, the end, the the treasure we get here, the moon cheese, is worth a million. Uh, we get whatever we have on hand right now, which is almost a million, and then we get a bonus for playing on hard, and that tends to be around 400 million. So. If there's not any treasure down here, or this isn't an extended zone, we might be just straight up SOL. Rip. Interesting fact from chat. Fenton's VA in this game is Eric ba uh, Bowser, who, funnily enough, would voice all the Beagle Boys in the reboot. Yes, all of them. <laughs> He's also Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and Marvin the Martian in some recent Looney Tunes stuff. Tiger Claw in the 2012 uh, TMNT show, and Splinter in Rise of the TMT, as well as Leo in Batman v TMNT, and a lot more stuff. Oh, is Eric Bot? That dude's Canadian. <laughs> that dude's from, like, Toronto. Like, like, he's, like, the current VA for Bugs, right? And a bunch of the other characters, because he does a really good job. Oh, wow. Hold on. All right. Behind the voice. Yeah, he's like, if he's current Bugs Bunny, then like he's the one from Space Jam. He's like half the characters in Space Jam. He's gonna be vo he's gonna be voicing Bugs Bunny, Tom, and Jerry in the new Multiverses game coming out. Yep, yeah, then that's him. Oh, son of a bitch! Yeah, Do you get the rock back? The rock will come back, but the chest is gone. No, oh. that's the shitty thing about it. That's why you gotta explore first. Ouch. Oh yeah, well, I see a, I see a bunch of Beagle Boys on his behind the voice actors page. <laughs> <laughs> is is there gonna be money in the final final stage? Uh, in the original game there wasn't, but there also wasn't a very big stage for the final stage of the game. Hmm. It was Transylvania again, but only half of the stage. Uh, what okay, that's weird. You go back what to Transylvania I three times in the original NES game. Multi versus. What are my thoughts, Cole? Uh, what are your thoughts, Cole? Um, I have no thoughts, honestly. I, I really see it'll be fine. It. It'll be fun. It's just, it's just, it's just don't take it seriously, and it'll be fine. It's 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 just like to me, from what I see, it's just it's just other companies trying to capitalize on Smash. That's really it. And especially since Ultimate is done, they're essentially. It, I, I feel like a lot more companies are probably gonna try and capitalize off of it. I mean, there's a. Di eh. I'm I'm cynical of that stuff just because I don't think people will want to buy a new game when Smash is still there and really really good. Yeah. I mean, I didn't stop Nickelodeon All Stars from existing, so. Sure. I just saw that for the first time today, though, and. I, oh. There was a bonus treasure still in this stage. Never mind. We're fine. Ah. Yeah, that, that was cool. a big. Yeah, boost. the bonus treasure is worth a million, and I thought this one, this version, didn't have it because it wasn't in its usual spot. Didn't the Nick one fail majorly? They already put the game on sale. 
It a game being on sale doesn't mean it failed. But I so I also heard it was a bit. It just rough means at Black launch. Friday is here. Yeah. <laughs> I also I also did hear it was a bit rough at launch though. Yeah, personally, if, if I'm gonna play any like Smash Brothers S game, I'm just gonna play Rivals of Aether. I'm just so. gonna play Smash. Or just play Smash. Yeah, that also works. None of those other characters have. Uh, none of those other games have Fyra. Yeah, ultimately, it, like a lot of these games are also gonna come down to the record, like how much people recognize the characters that are in the game as well. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Furry trash match. Rivals of Aether is a good game. How dare you? <laughs> Especially on PC because you have the modding scene. All right, here we go. Let's get that moon cheese. And this is, and here's also why I reacted like I did when when we saved uh, Gizmo Duck's pilot, because they actually explain how you f how this boss comes to be. Great Scott, I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus. He's fast in this version. Why are there rats on the moon? They were in the spaceship. That's what I was commenting on. They actually explained it. Oh. They, they never explained it in the original I game. I must have just gotten lost on that. Yeah, I missed that, unfortunately. But that would make sense, yeah. Yeah, they just had a bunch of lab rats. That's why they had uh, Gizmo Duck's pilot in there. Hmm. You see, they were keeping and him to be a, a lab rat. Fuck. Yeah, Kairashi, I will kind of agree. Like, a lot of the hype for Nick All-Stars Brawl was also sort of came from people bashing on Nintendo for Smash and everything else like that. Like, especially from the Melee community. Like, I even made a tweet where it was just like, hey, you can, you guys can enjoy both. Like, well, why it, do we it, have to chill? It's, it's more like everyone hyped themselves up over it because they were like, oh, shit. They're going to, like, they're going to try to beat Smash. Like, they weren't trying to beat Smash. They were just trying to make another Smash-like game. But uh, but also people were pointing out, like, oh, it has better netcode than Smash. Oh, it's going to be more competitive. And I'm just like, guys, well, that's what I mean. They, that's world. what I mean. They were hyping themselves up for it too much. Like, it, Nickelodeon rarely makes a non-budget game. Yes, they had yeah. a good studio behind it. Yeah, but, they had a good studio. But and it, like, had, it had, definitely had the potential to be a Smash killer, but that was, I don't think that was ever their point. Yeah. And I'll admit, I bought into the hype, too. But, I, like, I, I, I was never like, it's not going to kill Smash. Killer. It's just going to exist alongside it. There's there's room for more than one, like, platform fighter out there. Yeah. Or two, I guess, since Aether is also still pretty big. There was also a comment I saw, especially when when the devs were being interviewed by um by Hungry Boss, talking about, like, Project and like um, actual Smash mods being, like, the best Smash games, and then people using that as a reason to shit on Smash more. I'm just like, guys... You can enjoy both. Shut no, the fuck up. No, you can't. <laughs> it's impossible to enjoy more than one thing at the same time. God. It's, Everything it, it, has to be a war. It's just Everything. Moments, it's just moments like that that just make the Smash community there just we look go. terrible. But that's all I'll say on that well, fact. That's, that's not Smash. That's Radioactive cheese. People on the internet in general. Nothing's going to yeah. get this duck from that green cheese and all the green that's going to make me. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. But yeah, again, going back to multiverses, I'm like, on it. We'll see what happens. The duck who would be king. Where no duck has gone before. I'm assuming duck who would be king is the 10 million. Yeah, whatever happened to Gizmo Duck and Glomgold? They just dead? Yeah, they're just Left they're up moon. there. They they probably came back with us, I assume, since they were by the ship. Well, at least uh, Glom or not Glomgold. We'll never know what happened to Gizmo and Glom. Well, we will know what happened to Glomgold, and I'm sure he's gonna update us on Gizmo right now. Mm -hmm. They're talking about Gyro for a second. PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale with like a word with you with coexisting. That's because Sony didn't fucking give it any support. The roster was sort of weak because some of the best characters they couldn't get access to. Because they were in Smash. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, some of the other ones they just couldn't get at all. Like, PlayStation All-Stars not having 
Crash or Spyro was weird. Having Raiden instead of Snake was weird. There's like a bunch of things that were weird about it. The gameplay cycle itself was also really weird. It just didn't yeah. catch on because of the yeah, way I it heard was, about that. Like it was a cool idea, but it just it didn't execute the way they wanted it. We did it, boys! All five treasures are mine. <laughs> Uh, boys? <gasps> Sorry, McDuck, but your meddlesome nephews are a wee bit tied up at the moment. Flintheart Glomgold, you put the Beagle Boys up to this. Guilty as charged, Scroogey. Did you not realize I that on the moon? The world's second richest duck long enough, but these treasures will soon change that. <laughs> oh... Tell your goons to release my boys. Not till you fork over that last treasure. Don't do it, Uncle Scrooge. Don't do it. The way I see it, MacDuck, you're not in much of a position to argue. Yeah, hi. You drive a hard bargain, Glumgold. Take it, you filthy cheat. <laughs> Flintheart Glumgold, the richest duck in the world. How does it feel to be number two, Scroogey? <laughs> Magic as a spell! Oh, <laughs> it's so rude of me to drop in unannounced. What are you doing here, Magica? Oh, quick, somebody sound the alarm! Duckworth, Mrs. Beagley, call the Pentagon. They sell me stock and bonds. Not so fast, fools. Scrooge, I can't move. Me neither. Now I know how it's. You're started. definitely moving while you talk, though. Eh, greedy old fools. These Still moving your mouth. Are more valuable than money. And just what do you mean by that? You find secrets hidden inside old painting, yes? Painting of Drake von Bloodstone, also known as Count Dracula Duck. These treasures are part of spells to summon him. Bah. What rubbish. You will see. With power of Dracula Duck under my command, I will rule the world. Why is it always about ruling the world with these people? What would they even do with that? You'd rather surrender number one dime, Scrooge. Dime is much gentler way to conquer world. We'll save a great deal of trouble. <laughs> so let's risk of accidental Dracula bite. The first dime I ever made? Never. Then I will take precious nephews instead. You will bring me dime quickly enough after that. Hey, well, Dims is our hostages. Find your own. Quiet, piggle boys. Why not count Duckula? Because that's already taken. That's a different IP. Really? Yes. Count, count Duckula is a thing. Or little nephews will become Snackula for Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with Scrooge's dime? Why does she want it? I'll explain that in a minute. I'm just waiting All for right. cutscene oh, in. Dear. Sometimes I still get carried away. That lousy, no good so and so. I stole those treasures fair and square. This is no time for belly aching, Glomgold. I've got to save those boys. Bah, forget it. That she devil's long gone. You can't catch her now. Maybe you're right, Flinty. Uh, that leaves me no choice. How about a deal? You help me get the boys back, and you can keep the five treasures. Without your dime, I'll become the richest duck in the world, and you'll be nothing but a shriveled up old has been. <laughs> that dime's not worth ten cents next to the safety of my boys. Do we have an agreement? Are you joshing? It's a deal. You know what I think, McDuck? I think you've gone soft. You've let those pesky rugrats become a business liability, and I'm gonna be the richer for it. Oh, go soak your head. <laughs> I was about to say go fuck yourself, but that mm -hmm. works too. Uh, let's see. There's a cutscene as soon as we land. Hmm. 
Now remember our deal, Flinty. Help me rescue the lads, and the treasure is yours. You keep up your end, and I'll keep up mine. Okay, so uh, Scrooge's first dime uh, is a recurring plot topic for, I think, both the comics and the original show. Because it was a situation where it was a lucky charm that actually kept bringing him more and more good fortune and good luck. I know there's at least one episode of the original series where he loses the dime for some reason and he keeps losing money constantly. Like, literally, it's just a money charm. Hmm. So that's why everyone wants his lucky dime, because it, uh, it literally just prints money, essentially. Whoever has the lucky dime just gets more and more money. Also, um... I wanted to think I tend to bring this up. You talked about the DMCA stuff with this uh, game earlier, did you? Yeah. Um, the moon theme, this version, and the show theme uh, should trip on YouTube, the DMCA. But we should be fine for the VOD on Twitch itself, which means I'm just mm. not going to earn any revenue off of the, uh, the VOD. And as long as it's that and not banning it in countries, I'm fine with that. Well, um, I got a thing from Tenmar in VIP room who says that the end credits will affect both Twitch and YouTube in terms of being muted. Great! So, you might want to mute the credits it, just in case. Is, is the credits the actual show theme song or something? It is. That would be a thousand percent. So, definitely mute when the credits come up. Just wanted to give you that warning ahead of time. All right. There you go, then. Okay. Uh, I mean, whatever. They they weren't making it for streamers. They were making it for people to play. Yeah. This was this was before all the DMCA shit was happening. Well, not really, but yeah. Well, I mean, before anyone was making, like, streamer-friendly stuff for games. That's what I mean to say. Before it got bad on Twitch, I mean. Yeah, before... Okay, yeah, before it got bad on Twitch, for sure. But, like, it was a problem on YouTube back then. Yeah. This final level is definitely give me, yeah, um, like Half Genie Hero vibes. I was gonna say yeah, this looks just like the there. final stage of Half Genie Hero. E I even I, I know it's a different song, but even the music is reminding me of it. Like it's it's yeah. very thematically similar. Yeah, that's honestly why I mentioned earlier how like this soundtrack is kind of like a precursor to future Shantae soundtracks, honestly. But yeah, this this new theme is fantastic. Ah yeah, shit, I should have known. Rip. Or you are, you already have 10 million at this point, so. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but I still need enough money to actually get all the unlocks. We don't need any more money. Did you forget who we're playing as? <laughs> I am appalled, Cole. <laughs> I can't I can't wait. Let up. <laughs> you can never have too much with this guy, you know? It does depend on the continuity. While on the show it was a magical money magnet, in the original comics the dime was just a regular dime, but due to belonging to the richest duck in the world, it acted as a perfect magical totem for magic as magic. There's a famous issue in which Magica and the Beagle Boys rob Scrooge and get the dime. But because the Beagle Boys stole all the money and Scrooge was no longer rich, the dime became useless and Magica had to give everything back. Give everything? Like, not just the dime? Why'd they give back all the money? Status quo. <laughs> Status quo. And yeah, I noticed the rock respawned. Uh, I had to kill the bat first. That's why I tried to jump over it. Because it was going <laughs> to hit the bat again otherwise. Hard. Like, hard mode. If you just if you don't pick up something or if you leave money on the screen, you just you just die, or the screen will not progress. Damn it! Oh my god, man! Like them not dropping health really sucks. Yeah. Or being like a really rare drop. One thing I'll say, the fact that there were original, there was original content in this game, it kind of makes me want to see WayForward do another one of these games. But of course, the licensing issues would probably be hell. I don't think they're, yeah, like, WayForward does a lot of licensing stuff, but I feel like they don't, wouldn't want to do it, simply because 
This one just disappeared out of nowhere at one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was taken like, off Steam for a bit, and then it finally came back. Like they've done work with Disney a ton. Like they they did the Thor game for DS and 3DS. I think they did the Captain America one. Like they've done a lot of work with Disney, so it's not like they have a bad relationship with them. It's just they might not do it unless Disney pays Disney money. And I'm actually surprised yeah. this got made in the first place. To be perfectly honest, I feel like it's a miracle we even got this. Well, this was also Capcom as well, so Capcom must have like got a really good deal with Disney to, to get to make this happen. I'm liking this level because it looks hard as balls. Yeah. It's definitely a challenging level. Which is wonderful. Alright. That should be a checkpoint once you reach Glomgold. Yeah, but I'm worried about that bat. There's got to be a way through. There we go. I wasn't sure and if a cutscene was going to kick in or not. It could be dangerous, you go first. Uh, ah, that's how. Okay. I didn't see the bubbles. Honestly, I wish the game really did more of that, where it's just like, it's, there's talking when gameplay's actually happening. I wish there was more of that. Well, I mean, the downside is there's no subtitles, so if you use subtitles to follow along, you're SOL. Or you have to split your attention. It didn't stop Sonic. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I, there's plenty of games that do subtitles. No problem. Pogo a go go achievement unlocked. Did I pogo on exactly like a hundred characters or something, or is that just doing five in a row? I bet you that's just doing five in a row. Defeat five enemies in a row with pogo jumping without touching the ground. Yep. So basically a given since you have to right there to beat the game. Yeah, I guess. And yeah, the ducky would be king, <laughs> collect $10 million. Yeah, tw only 27% of people have that Pogo Go Go achievement. <sighs> then I guess only 27% of people beat the game. Well, we'll see how many people beat the game when we get that credit. Or that achievement. <laughs> Probably less. That's true. Usually, like, it's... what? Oh, what's the actual percentage people figured out? Is it 30% of people finish the game, or is it 20? Or is it even less than that? Talking about an average, right? Yeah, on for yeah. the average video game. I think someone worked it out based on achievements on either Steam or PlayStation, because there's most games usually have a you beat the game achievement. So I'm going as fast as I can. I know there was a study about it, and I just cannot remember what the actual number was. Yeah, I, I guess 20 as a nice average. Modern game is probably like five percent, and that you know what? That probably is something more like that. And it's not a knock on modern gaming, it's just that there's so many fucking games out now. So you kind of have to pick and choose what you play as a player. And you can't Peter afford them all. Even someone who collects like me, I will never be able to afford all video games. That's just not feasibly yeah. possible. A yeah. lot of people buy games and never play them because of Steam sales and stuff. Like, so was that, was that study done, like, on people who even opened the games? I think that's just the general, like, I think they picked a triple A game and we're just like, all right. Hmm. Here's, here's the what we have based on achievements. Like it's an inform, informal study, obviously, but yeah. Also, yeah, Kid Icarus did do something similar dialogue during gameplay, but there were captures on the lower screen on the 3DS, so it really depends. Actually, a little bit of correction on that. Uh, Kid Icarus Uprising allowed you to choose uh, where the captions were. Actually, you can either have it on the lower screen or the upper screen. So, but even so, even so, I still see what you're saying. The achievement stat normally only count people with a non-zero number of them. Oh, well, I mean, that makes sense, too. So it has to be people who've at least started the game. Okay, then, yeah, that would... Okay. Then that would help with the numbers for sure, then. Whack him. I tried. He's facing. They would not let me. <laughs> they knew you'd try, I guess. Digital games killed complete ownership of all games. I mean, I mean, they're okay. I get it. I I feel that because digital gaming, you technically don't own your game, which is why I yeah. still buy physical. But there is, I get the convenience of digital gaming. I can't, I can't be like, yo, you only gotta buy physical versions of your games. I can't do that to people because I don't know your life situation. If you can't afford it and you have the space for it, by all means, go for it. I, I recommend it on that aspect, but like digital games tend to go on sale more. 
Digital games don't take up physical space in your house, usually. Yes. Uh, digital games are easier to access because you can have them all on, on you at all time instead of having to, like, go fish out the disc. Yeah. Stuff digital like games there's, are, there's are good for indies. Yeah. The, for I, devs. I, I, I feel like the big thing for me for digital is honestly just the access is just accessibility. Like, the ability for people to actually play the game without needing to spend, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars on game on like like be like 10 or 15 games especially with how covid really affected used game sales so i feel like that i feel like that's honestly the biggest reason digital is so like um it's something that should exist i think that personally both should exist in tandem um yeah. agreed i like having both as an option because then i can if i want physical i can do that if i want digital i can do that i like having the choice I digital don't like, and, and someone brought it up, uh, some yep. companies will do, like, a physical version of a game hmm. in one region, and then digital everywhere else. Like, the Ninja Gaiden trilogy on Switch is digital here, but it's physical in Asia. Or, you know, like, uh, one thing that some people pointed out, digital games that have a physical boss, they're fucking pointless. Like, Oh, yeah, if it's a physical I, boss, but there's a code who... inside? Yeah, no, that's redundant. Yeah. Like, they just want that for, uh, th I think that's for people who, like, putting their box on the shelf for some reason. But like, but most collectors want to have like, you know, the actual game. Most collectors want a method to play the game after the service is gone, which is why yes. I tend to buy mostly physical. Yeah. Yeah, I, I find digital only physical games to be dumb. I <laughs> would agree they're kind of dumb, but that's also a thing where like, it's not hurting really anybody. But, to have that option. <laughs> but explain, it's like... Explain Fortnite then? Fortnite has physical versions. I've got at least one or two here in the house. But it, it has the single player. Yeah, so there is a way to play it after it's gone. You just can't play the multiplayer. Yeah. Well, the, uh, and there's there's a bunch of games that once they're gone, they're like the servers are down, they're gone. Like, there's like five or six on 360 alone. Chrome Hounds... I guess I guess Mag was actually PS3, but yeah, there's like a couple. I think the I think also another issue is just, is mainly around collector's editions, especially is when a company makes a collector's edition for a game, but they put they go through all the effort of adding all this extra stuff, all this extra stuff. Sonic Mania did this, and I think also a Fire Emblem game did this. You have all this extra stuff, but no game card. They didn't bother to do the actual physical thing. I personally don't get that. Like, why would you go through all this effort to make a collector's edition, and yet you won't actually print the game on an actual physical cart or CD? I don't get it. That's where I just get puzzled. So, I don't know. If it's not hurting anybody, fine. It's just dumb. It's capitalism? I mean, that's the actual answer. You're right. That's the actual fucking answer. Yeah. And also, Popsky actually brought up something saying that, he, that you can't get Horizon 1 through 3 on digital anymore. That's definitely one point against digital, is that games can be taken off storefronts basically whenever. We said Horizon 1 through 3? Well, Horizon has licensing issues. Yeah. That's another but thing. Also, so, like, mm -hmm. like, someone brought up Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah. It's hard to do digital, like, digital editions of Marvel's Capcom disappear because the fucking licensing for getting all those Marvel characters is ridiculously high. Yeah. Partially because guess who owns it? Disney. <laughs> An absolute legal nightmare. Yeah, there's cases like that, but then, of course, there's also cases like, uh, <clears throat> Mario 3D All-Stars. That was just stupid. I just, I still think that's really fucking dumb. They were just taking. They they were doing basically. They're false doing art, They're doing artificial scarcity because they wanted yes. to essentially just control it. Nintendo does that all the fucking time. Uh, it's stupid. I don't defend them for it. I think it's dumb. But yeah. they're never going to change. <laughs> they're never going yeah. to change. Yeah. It sucks, but that's Oop. just. Hang on. All right. Here we go. Uh, it took you long enough to catch up. What's the matter? Gold bricks in your caboose? Oh, shut your beak. You're not getting any younger yourself, you old windbag. Hush! Magica may not know we're here yet. We don't want to lose the element of surprise. 
So, you have decided to deliver dime after all. <laughs> Release my nephews, you evil enchantress. Oh, not until you show me number one dime. Here it is. Now, let the boys... What? It's been great doing business with you, Scroogey. <laughs> you too. <laughs> You've been in cahoots from the beginning. No, even before beginning. Do you remember who sold you painting in first place? Twas me in disguise, you fool. Why, you... No wonder it was such a bargain. Five dollar painting for you saved expensive treasure hunting expedition for me. And now, at long last, I am ready to use treasures to complete spells. I was going to say, in the original Keep game, the smoke and they pair the up, so... You've got my dime. Now release the lads. Oh, boo-hoo. No time for buyer's remorse from old handmen. Better to stick with master plan. Is much more exciting. I now summon Dracula Duck. Behold! Dracula Duck. I, Magic of the Spell, have summoned you to do my bidding. You must obey my will and mine alone. <laughs> and my will is that you destroy this meddling old fool. He basically looks like an evil Scrooge. Yeah, so here's the thing. Um, unless I'm remembering wrong, uh, isn't it? Isn't Dracula Duck actually? Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that threw me off for a second there. Jesus Christ. He's a big boy. Unless I'm just. Yeah, sorry, unless I'm misremembering, isn't it, like, isn't, uh, Dracoduck actually the boss of Transylvania and Magicka is the actual fight at the end of the game? Isn't it something like that? Or is it still Dracoduck at the end? Them? Yeah, I think they flipped them, but I, or maybe my memory's just spotty. No, people are, people are saying I'm correct, okay. Interesting. I guess maybe Wave War was just like, this would be more fitting. Also, I think this final, final boss theme is new as well. Oh yeah, it, it, was sounds... the, it was the same boss music in in every stage. Okay, this Shantae is fuck music. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Again, same composer. God, I I need to go listen to the soundtrack again. It's so good. Give me ultimate power. Breath is worse than his bite. Dagron. Honestly, I just think that looks adorable. <laughs> it's like a dopey looking dragon. This is a Shantae ass boss fight, if we're being honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, God, I, and again, I know the licensing would be hell. I want to see him do another one of these games, but maybe like in the newer, like, reboot style. That would be super cool. I think it was still Drac as the final boss in the original. It's weird, like, we did that playthrough this year, and I still don't remember. I Oh, you know what? No, I think you're right. I think it was Magicka still in Transylvania, because I remember I couldn't remember Magicka's name at the beginning, and then we remembered it part ways through. You're right, it is still the same order. Oh, so, like, in the original, after you finish the final stage, you just go to the final boss, basically? You Yeah, you go back to Transylvania for a third time, and you, oh, you cut through okay. that again, and... Uh, and it brings you through the Transylvania area again, and you just fight Dracula Duck in the same area. Weird. Uh, okay. I think okay. it's just the fact that you, you, f Magicka shows up after you defeat Dracula Duck, and you have to race her and Glomgold to the treasure. That's what it was making me think it was a boss fight. Oof. Yeah, the real problem is I only have one hit point. Ugh. And now I have to do two jumps to get to Dracula. Imagine it's still 12 hits. Now. Get a boss. Bombs. Oh, big duck. Long, isn't it? Oh. Fuck. Oh. I was just about to say this looks like an easy section too. No. That's where we took all our damage was on that form. You sure? But the first one was like unexpected. It took you by surprise, right? Also, Camille pointed out also, Camille pointed out in chat, this music is a remix of Transylvania 2. Actually, I, I think you're actually correct on that. I can't hear the lead motif. Fuck. 
Fun fact, they oh, did fuck. a pitch of... Okay. Okay, so uh, interesting thing from Roto Eve. So fun fact, they did a pitch. They did pitch a DuckTales game in this general style for the 2017 series. It was turned down, but they released images for, from the pitch. Wasn't that pitch faked? Like was that. it faked? If it was faked, then, um... If it was faked, then, uh, oh well. It looked good for what it was, but I thought, ah, oh, damn it. I need like a split second more time to be able to duck. Yeah, I, I think you're fine as long as you're not under the teeth. I mean, yes, that is how attacks tend to work, Ryan. But the problem is, but I don't know which way he's going to move. Right. No, I, I mean, it looked like you were trying to get to the center of his bill a couple of times. Well, it, generally, I was lined up with his teeth, which is why I was trying to get away. Hmm. They released images on April Fools, but they did actually, but but they actually did pitch it to Disney, who turned it down. Oh, okay. Okay, so was that actually confirmed? I thought for some reason they said we wanted to make this, but we didn't even get to the Disney phase or something like that. Thought they just made a hypothetical, not an actual pitch. Regardless, that still sucks. Yes, the pitch was fake, and that company and and that the company did it as a prank. Okay. I'm hearing you can pogo in his beak. I even had a feeling I should have tried it. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. All Even's my all my damage took come from that form. And to prove myself wrong, apparently I just took that hit from a bat. You took one earlier from the um, the bat wave. The bat right. screen I too. I yeah. Yeah. Again, regardless of whether that pitch was faked or not, I would still love them to do it again someday. Potentially. All right. If I can. Oh, yeah. That, nice. No, I took damage. That is not oh, safe. Oh, interesting. Yeah, they thought of that. Well, it. I think that was just because of the way that they lined up. Like, yeah, he, 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 moved, he moved so fast I didn't have my... Po my like, I, he clipped through me, basically. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. Within but, one frame, I, oh, dude, you went this, past this the run's pogo just gone to shit now. Oof. You missed the pogo? No. God, no, it's not you missed the pogo. You always have their pogo stick out. If an enemy moves too fast, it just goes through you. Yeah. That's happened the, numerous times this playthrough. It's not missing the pogo. I'm holding the button. The pogo stick has a hitbox or a hurtbox with a collision at the bottom of it. And if the enemy moves within one frame past the bounds of that box, then you'll just get hurt. Yeah. That's why I got hit a bunch while having pogo out. Like, you literally can... You can get in a position where you never have your pogo off, essentially. But if an enemy is fast enough, it just goes through you. And that's what happened there. Someone says the ceiling does damage too? Really? That definitely wasn't ceiling damage we took. Might have been because you're blocked by the ceiling. It might have screwed up the timing. Oh, you know what? Maybe, actually. But I thought I was on the up uh, when that, that clip happened. So We can try it again. We can easily try it again. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Oh, God, yeah, no, it's not that he got crushed between the bill and the ceiling. Like, he got hit when he's, when uh, Dracula just started moving. Like, it was on a down point. So he, I, like, he was moving up and just went through me? Is that what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, you, you were going down, he moved Oh, up. and there was no fucking ceiling. I just went off screen. Yeah, so that had to be it. All right. Branding Random says, so it wasn't Way Forward who did the April Fool's thing. It was FDG Entertainment. Oh, oh no, no, we know it's not Way Forward. Sorry. I don't know if that, okay. I didn't realize that wasn't clear. Okay. They said the pitch was real, but it was rejected. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I must have missed that. My bad. Do you think if WayForward did a more original property but the same gameplay style, they would probably get away with it? Or no? Isn't that just Shovel Knight? Fair point. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so... Good news! Yes. WayForward did do that! They just changed the name to Yacht Club Games! <laughs> yeah, but it, 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 it's different enough from DuckTales. That's not exactly DuckTales, so... It's different enough. Yeah, but that was what you asked! 
If you're asking would they just make DuckTales and call it Knock DuckTales, then yeah, they wouldn't get away with that. Look, Ryan, maybe I want them to make another Hey, how about we watch the ending of the video game I just spent all day beating? Maybe I just not know one of these games, Maybe just shut up is what I'm saying. Ugh. <laughs> also, guys, an AGG head. And I'm not leaving without it. You boys get going. Good luck, Uncle Scrooge. Oh, yeah, I still gotta do the race, huh? <laughs> now, give me time. Not till you give me those treasures. I want to be filthy, stinking rich. You already are filthy, stinking rich. But not as rich as that Chiseler McDuck. Where's the treasure? No okay. They fucked up. Play. I need that dime. Oh no, you don't, Missy. Ah, let go, you fool. Not till I get that treasure. And now we race. Oh, so they just move up at a consistent speed, and you yep. gotta beat them. Yep. And it was a it was a uh, life lost in the original game if you weren't able to get up there in time. They are way Ooh. faster because their path is a lot less complicated. Oh, but they have to move sideways. You got it. Try, Magica, but I'll be taking my dime with me back to Duckburg. <laughs> Luck of the ducks. Have a lovely time together. Now we gotta actually escape. Yep. Escape sequence. Now you know it's a way forward game. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did you not grab it, Scrooge? Well. How far back? Right. Oh, yeah, that's acceptable. That's good. Ah, uh, 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 there it is. The lava floor. Apparently I was not high enough. Or I just missed the tap. I don't know, whichever one happened. You still lose a life if they reach the top. I've died to them a few times. Oh, no. That's fair. Oh, fuck, that's fast! What the fuck? Woo! I didn't really was that fast. Jesus. I forgot about that. Remember, I am playing on hard difficulty here. Yeah. Does anyone know if the speed is actually different between difficulties? Wouldn't surprise me. It's probably just more likely, yeah, you gotta move a bit faster, lower to uh, buy there time. Oh, that was one jump away, too. Woo! We out, boys. Oh, there we go. And that is game. Return safe and sound. But Uncle Scrooge, well, what about the treasure? Yeah, we had it and we lost it. Sorry, Uncle Scrooge. Come on now, boys. We may not have got to keep the treasure, but we had the adventure of a lifetime. And best of all, we got to share it together. You, Webigail, Launchpad. And Epworth, too. Don't forget about Mrs. Beakley. And Bubba. And Benton. And Gyro, they helped us too. <laughs> Indeed they did, lads. Now come on, let's head for home. But that's all oh. thanks they're getting. Right, you just said the their name, right credits. there. I almost didn't have that ready. <laughs> all right. You doddering old deadweight. Oh, pipe down, you mangy burn. All right. Probably mute now. I'm hovering Do over, don't worry. Duck. Screw, di screw Dismo. S screw Gizmo Duck. Dismo Scrooge duck. remains the richest duck in the world. It was real swell of you to give Glam Gold a lift home, Mr. McD. <laughs> Aye. Uh, I'll put it on your bill, Flinty. You can pay me back in, oh, say, three to five years. <laughs> With interest, of course. I'll get you for this, McDuck. Mark my words. Ah, now there's a sight I never got tired of. Come on, lads. Let's head to the ice cream shop. Oh, I have ice cream. Hey, can we each get our own cone this time? <laughs> oh, why not? I'm in a generous mood today. In fact, each of you can even get a cone with ice cream in it. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Wow. Sometimes All I forget right. he is Scrooge. Yeah, oh, that is super the show's theme. Jesus. Yep, mute that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's get some Popsky music up. <laughs> that is DuckTales Remastered. Woo. Yay. Woo.
Tyrannical Overlord? What the fuck? And that they're just using fancy names. Yeah, there's creative director, executive producer. They just want to use fancy names for producer. That's fair. Producer, fair. yeah, like head, lead developer, etc. There we go. That's another game down. Yeah. Woo! Thank right. you, Fox McCloud. I have never played either of the DuckTales, but I am very well aware of them having existed in this space for a few years, so I'm glad to have, you know, at least been along for one of them. That was good. All right, chat, there's not a fourth difficulty that unlocks after you beat the game, right? I can't remember, actually. Uh-oh, I see the word expert run in chat. Oh, no. No, you're good. Yes, there is. <laughs> no, yes, no, yes. You unlock extreme difficulty. Well, I'm just there gonna is go no game to to, I'm gonna go to GameFAX to verify that. <sighs> oh, extreme difficulty. Okay, I know what that is. Um, extreme difficulty is if you die, you can't continue. It's game over. Why so it's it, a why is it not listed on the unlocks for this? Yes, yeah, correct. If you get a game over, you have to start from the beginning. So it's one life and you're done. Basically. Oh, and now we can listen to the the eight bit soundtrack now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, sure enough, there's uh tomorrow just showed me an achievement picture. Smarter than the smarties, beat game at extreme difficulty. One point six percent of people have it. Not surprising. Well, there you go. Uh, is the rest of the game changed in difficulty? Because we kind of didn't get a game over then. You died a couple times, but no continues. So does it mean you can't die, or you just can't continue? Well, if they got like if if the enemies hit harder, or if there are less one-up spawns, then it's different. If the only difference is no continues, then we did that. Are yeah. You my Rex Fun fact, if you want to go through the game a second time without cutscenes, you've unlocked that now by beating the game. Nice. Alright. I guess they assume they would want you to watch the cutscenes the first time around, and then sec other playthroughs just being like you skip both. The Steam version ah. is a bug during the final area that can freeze and ruin runs of the game. Oh, that sucks. Nah. Extreme is no continues with Force Hard Pogo. If it changes your operation, then that... Uh, hard pogo is an option in the menu. Yeah, no, no, that's classic. That's classic. Yeah. Pogo. Oh, so you have to use the old controls. Ooh, so you have to use basically the games that. if it were on an NES. You have lines if the game works as if it was NES. You get a game over, then you have to start from here. It's hard, okay. but with no continues, and you're forced to old pogo. You know what? I'm still willing to count that as, as a complete, because, yeah, that's not that bad. And Plus we did, like we just did that. If, if it's literally hard difficulty again, but the pogo is different, it, that's fine. Because the hard pogo isn't that different. All right, game complete. Nice. Well yeah, done. Good for, job, John. For, for the argument, I'm going to count that as complete. Because <laughs> it's, it's oh, yeah. just, yeah, if it's just a different control scheme, which I've already shown this year I can do. Yeah, no, I'm good. But yeah, this game, uh, this game's real fun. I, I definitely want to replay through this now, honestly. I had a good oh, time. lives are harder Just to get? Mm, then maybe. Mm. Extra lives don't spawn off him. But if it's if it's literally just hard again, then I feel like, yeah. Oh, you know what? Actually, the perfect way to test it would be to start a run and get to the end of the starting stage because there's that invisible one-up right before the, the Beagle Boy boss fight. And if that's still there, I feel like that means they're all still in the same spots. Hmm. What about buying everything? Uh, the concept art, I'm always wishy-washy on. Plus, I think I have the new game plus to do that anyways, which is already stupid. Stream mode has what? its own unlockable. Mm. Fine, I'll move it back to beaten. What would Gerard do? Gerard <laughs> I mean, complained about unlocking everything, if memory serves me, because I was at his house when he was unlocking stuff. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I mean, it's Gerard. He literally just like, what, this year, last year, finally had the conversation of what does completing mean for giant RPGs? For something like this, it's not a question. You get everything. I'm going to guess that was around Persona 5. Yeah. I think it was Persona 5 that started the conversation, and it's happened a couple times since then. Is it mm. safe to unmute now? I don't hear the theme anymore. 
It's Piano Moon that's, theme. Yeah, it's. I, yeah. I mean, that sounds I'll, familiar, but. I'll err on side of caution then. Yeah. But yeah, again, I, I stated it earlier, and I'll say it again. I would have loved them, like, way forward or any company to maybe make another one of these, like, DuckTales games. Because I think that, honestly, this type of style has so much potential. And I know, like, we mentioned Shovel Knight earlier, but I feel like it's different enough to still be its only thing. Like, this specific type of gameplay style, I would love to see someone try again, personally. So do you mean another DuckTale game or something and else that's just really, really close and OP? Or I mean, uh, o o original. If we're talking about, like, like, I I've already said earlier, I would love maybe someday if maybe they did another DuckTales game with the 2017 style. That'd be super cool. But if not that, then maybe something that's super similar. I feel like you were more likely to get that when the show was still in the air. Yeah. So. Whatever. Man can dream. There's always Shovel I, I mean, at the end of the day, there really is always Shovel Knight, so... <laughs> Yeah, it's... You're kind of expecting a remaster too at some point? <sighs> I heard that the second game was not as well received. So... Wait, what wasn't received? Sorry, repeat that? Uh, DuckTales 2. Oh, du no, DuckTales 2 came out late, uh, so not as many people played it, and I think most people back then said it was more of the same. I don't think, it doesn't feel as memorable, but it is a better game in the sense that you get new abilities, um, there are new, the stages are longer, and there's more things and secrets to find, and there's, again, still multiple endings. And you could buy items, so if you were almost dead, you could heal and stuff like that. Oh, that's although, neat. although there was a hidden healing system in the original, too. I think it costs like three million dollars in your vault. You could do that to in the full heal yourself. So you keep damage between levels. Is that it? No, you heal between stages. It's just if okay. you're in the middle of a stage and you uh, are about to die, you can just pay three million to full heal. I see. In the original game, you could see how much money you had in total at all times. Oh, we still got the three treasures they, they completely ignored. Double checked. And it's extreme difficulty replaces the thanks for playing line at the end of the credits with a reference. I'm pretty sure you can guess what that reference is. Mm. I can't, but I won't ask. All right, we ended with 13 million bucks. Let's just buy a bunch of shit. Give me concept art. Sketches, we didn't buy any of these. Oh, there's a graphical clip. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's all expensive. Uh. It's Dream and Friends is, is what the actual thing is, I'm assuming. So we got all the sketches, we got all the concept art. It wouldn't let me move between options. Okay, there we go. Pencil renders. We definitely do not have enough money to unlock all of these. It is Dreaming Friends, nice. Okay. That's a heck of a glitch. Yep, and they never fixed it. <laughs> I'll ask, is this, a, is this glitch exclusive to the Steam version, or does, did this happen on the other versions as well? I don't remember oh, seeing this in the Wii U version when I played it. Okay. All right, well, we can buy music now. Oh my god, all the music's so fucking expensive. Jesus Christ. Uh, this looks like stuff to uh, replay to unlock. Also, I, I will also point this out. Um, unfortunately, because Disney is... Uh, because specifically probably of Disney and maybe also Capcom... Uh, the music for this game is not available on, uh, Vert's, uh, Bandcamp, so. I think you have to, uh, go to other places to get the soundtrack. That's all we could unlock. Beat the game on hard difficulty. And 
we still have all these to unlock on background paintings, all these to unlock in music, and we didn't even get to TV show art one and two. Oh, they have TV show art in here too? Yeah, I assume from the nice. original series. Yeah, that's fair, Kirby Vol. A good chunk wasn't composed by him, so that's fair. All right, well then, uh, that's it. So now what happens if I go over here? Oh, I can play any stage now whenever I want. Okay, neat. Nice. Well, that's that. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Are you all right? That was a sneeze. That sounded violent. That's how I normally sneeze. Playtime, three hours, 18 minutes. <laughs> Someone played this for 581 hours, apparently. <laughs> I assume they just left it on running or something. Or they hacked or, it. Or speedrunner. Fastest playthrough, 31 minutes. Total money earned. That's a big number. That is 2 billion. Damn. Damn. Yeah, that's probably Speedrunner or somebody replaying. Most profitable playthrough. Hmm, two billion in one playthrough? I'm a call hacks on that, unless that counts New Game Plus. Total playthroughs, 126. Damn! Some of those numbers okay, are here. We go. Here's, here's Gerard's time bit. on the on the Steam version. Seven and a half hours. Uh, we were fourth on my friends list, apparently. Wait, what? Where? How is this? How is this sorting? Oh, that, wait. This is total time. Never mind. Not fastest time. That's why I was confused. Fastest playthrough. Gerard at one hour eleven minutes. I'm at the bottom of the list at three eighteen. Total money earned. Gerard had to earn, and this is assuming to get everything, 84 million. And we had 22. So we have to get four times almost how much money we had to, I assume, unlock everything. Damn. That seems unreasonable. Although I somehow had the most profitable playthrough out of everyone on my list. By a surprising amount, too. Is that total do, play like, through three for Gerard? Treasure? There you go. All right. Exit game. All right. Well, in that case, let's start wrapping up then, shall we? Attempt to turn off my Xbox controller. There we go. All right. Next week for game clearing, we start the last game of the last rotation, at least that's planned. It's the mod choice, which is going to be an interesting one. I don't know if I want to tell you everyone what it is yet, because it'll be funny when people find out what it is next week. At least for me. Um... After that, if we finish that and there's still game clearing streams left for the year, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might just, I might do uh, lightning rounds. I just, I'll see what 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 we have left time wise. I'll I'll wing it as I tend to do. But tonight officially marked us beating 50 games on stream for the year, which was actually my goal for the year was to beat 50. So there we go. Nice. We hit that goal. We also officially hit five polls done for games this year because we did the group of three together and then we did two separate ones as well. So that's all been hit. We hit 10 sub suggestions total. Sadly, my goal was 15 on that, which is not physically possible. And that leaves two others as well. Mod and another one I don't know if I've mentioned. All right, schedule for the week then in that case. 
Wednesday is looking like unless something changes last minute, we're probably gonna do a subscribers game night. We'll do some Jackbox, we'll do uh, some Power Bomber Man, and anything else that kind of strikes our fancy. But those are the main plans, at least. I figure since, uh, it was pitched to me, rather, that since Americans are gonna be having American Thanksgiving on Thursday, which probably means they're not, they're free, and don't have to worry about either work or, uh, or school or anything that day, it might be the best to put it there, so. We'll do that in this Wednesday. Friday is nothing. I don't know why I said Friday. I think it's because I'm at one Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Saturday is Fortune Cookie. We're doing a uh, sponsored Guardians of the Galaxy segment in the middle of it as well. And uh, other than Top Down on Thursday, I think that's about it. When is the next power trip? Uh, probably two weeks from now. When was the last one we did? I know we did one already this month. Oops. That was the wrong button. I keep forgetting when those happen. Oh, yeah. We did the last uh, power trip October 28th. Or October 27th, I guess, because I wrote that when it switched over. So, yeah. It would have been next week, but a bunch of people wanted me to do uh, crowd control next week. So we'll probably do crowd control. Okay, so, uh... Oh, does the game not track? Oh, hang on. Let me look at all the achievements for this game. I'm missing five achievements for DuckTales Remastered. Are they all hidden achievements? No, uh, one is. I assume the hidden one is beating the game on, uh... Beating the game on horror, or on expert. Yeah, collect all the heart containers on easy or medium difficulty. So, because we were on hard, it didn't count. Oh, wait, no! Beat the game on extreme difficulties there. What's the hidden achievement? Kind of serve the arts, unlock all art in the gallery. Of course, that's an achievement. Look, Mono Spats, enter either underground section of Amazon and climb up the other side using only the pogo jump. What? I guess jumping off of an enemy. And then there's a hidden achievement that I don't know what it is. Has your schedule cleared up a bit for more recording sessions? No, not yet, but uh, this week some stuff goes down. And that will give me a better idea of if we can go back to YouTube or not. I'll leave it at that. Ooh. I think it's more about the spike ceilings. Oh, that makes sense, too. It involves the M item. Uh, okay. One should be getting the magic invincibility coin and killing multiple enemies. That's the one I don't have, or the one I can't see, because hard doesn't have the M coin. Wow, I just realized we never got invincibility. Wow. Yeah, because it's not on hard difficulty at all. Oh, okay. I didn't know invincibility was a thing, and it's kind of just been glazing over me the whole time. Yeah, it's just a giant M you get. All right, we got four card drops on Steam. Scrooge, Mrs. Beakley, and two Webby cards. Who wants my second Webby? Trade me a trade me a launch pad. Uh, I got sidetracked. Oh, right. The thing I actually wanted to check was the how many people have beaten the game off of Steam. That was what I went there for the whole time I got sidetracked. Oh, is there just not an achievement for beating the game on easy or medium? Really? There's not. That's weird. I guess that's what Luck of the Ducks is. How do I check clear rate on an achievement? Is it there's like a compare option I have to go to, right? Glue, well, there we go. View global achievement stats. There we go. 
Uh, get back with Magicka Stole, Luck of the Ducks. This is where we get the magic dime back. 22.5% of people have that. So I guess 22.5% of people beat the game? Although technically that doesn't mean that they made it out of the volcano. That just means they got to the, the race part. Really, it categorizes cleared as that point? Well, that's the closest they have to a clear achievement other than beat the game. Hmm, okay. Yeah, but the only beat the game achievement they have is beat the game on hard and beat the game on expert. Or sorry, extreme. And 3.3% did hard and 1.6% did extreme. You need to kill five enemies with the coin in the easiest place is the Amazon. I mean, that makes sense. You get one right away there. Oh, there you go. Neat. <coughs> we got a little sidetrack. Sorry, let's do eggs. Tropic Sky, Spotify, 1256, and Tropic Sky again. Thank you all for the gift subs. Spotify, 1256, thank you for the new sub. Gamer Owen, 64 for 31. Elo Boosted Animal for 40. Uh, Angel the Unlikely for 25. And Chun Li Wan for 45. Thanks for subbing, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of. Nobody? Nope, there is one in there. Never mind. From Redneck Sella. What is this file name? Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> From Red Nexella. DuckTales. Is there no end to finishing the damn line? What? I'll handle this. Silly boss at the melon. Is there no end to this madness? Silly boss at the melon. Is there no end to this madness? Silly boss at the melon. Laughing me for just finishing the damn line. Listen. That's the rub. Is there no end to this madness? Did you use my voice? That was my voice. Was it? Yes, that was my voice. That was from the DuckTales playthrough I did with Reese. Yes, I thought. Oh. <laughs> Yes, it was. Wait. I didn't know you commentated in my playthrough with my wife. When did that happen? <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll even go back to it. Hi, there's the rub. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing at me for just finishing the damn line. Okay, that sounds like Reese. Never mind. You thought you sounded like Reese? Fuck you! No! <laughs> It sounds like that's what you thought. I'm fucking leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> you no, either said it like me, Cole, or my wife. It was one or the other. Which one is it? <laughs> you had two options there, buddy. Don't make this a meme chat, please. Don't please ask them don't. not to. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> laughing at me for just finishing the damn line. Listen. That's the rub. <laughs> Rubbing is involved. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I understand what Cole meant. The laugh sounds like his. In my defense, I didn't watch that playthrough. <laughs> In my defense. Hi, there's the rub. <laughs> that would make it even weirder that you were. I don't. On it. I don't hear that as Cole's laugh. That's too. Too brief is the best way to put it. And not as frantic as Cole's like frantic laugh can be. <laughs> you skip my message from the resub. I mean, oh. Oh, shit, you're right. There's a question there. Sorry, I don't usually read out the, the messages, but I, I normally read over them, and I miss that one. Sorry, Elo. Well, damn, 40 months. I'm getting to the four-year mark. Considering the end of the year is coming up, how many games do you think you can finish before the end of the year? I am at 82 right now and hope that to hit the 100 mark before the end of the year. Uh, yeah, no. On stream? No. Considering we only do, like, one game clear, like, a week, essentially, we're probably going to hit at most 52. That's my expectation, because we're going to finish the game we're doing for the last rotation. And then if we do a bunch of lightning rounds, then yeah, we'll we'll clear more than 52. But without it, 52. And then I think what we're doing for... I, I think I've finally decided on what we're doing for next year's game clearing. I had originally planned on doing just <coughs> aiming for a number again. 
But I think what I'm gonna do instead is a mishmash of everything we've done up to this point. I think I'm gonna go back to theming the months again. Uh... And then just changing up what happens each month. Like, one month might be poll month. One month might be I pick whatever I'm in the mood for. One month might be just mod suggestions. One month might be lightning rounds only. One month might be just, like, stuff like that. I think that might be the best way to do next year is just... What did someone call it a remix? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Maybe maybe next year is just the remix year, where we just kind of do uh, each month is just a different theme. Would you be keeping the sub picks from this year as an idea? I will be keeping those, yeah, and I'll also post at the beginning of the year like, hey, if you want, I can you can uh, keep the idea, the options you have in here already, and I'll keep them in for consideration. Or if you're a new sub, you can pop in your own there and add into it. And Bell, uh, I think I saw in the in the server you were wondering how come your game wasn't one of the ten. Uh, your game, if it's the one I think it was, Sayonara. Uh, two other people picked that one, so it actually wasn't in the running for this poll. Oh no, I wasn't complaining. No, sorry, I, I didn't didn't mean to say complain. I guess you were commenting is more than anything. But yeah, I just wanted to say yours wasn't in the running for it because multiple people picked it. Cole, you're gonna be okay? It's not that bad. He actually did step away. Hang on. Uh, Frozen, what did you pick? Uh, that's the one that you had me change. Oh yeah, no, two people picked the one you had. Ironically, you both picked it days apart from each other. You were the you were, the entries are side by side. Hmm. Was that were they the only two that picked that, or was there a third? I think you were the only two that picked that franchise. Yes, you were the only two that picked that entire franchise and that specific entry of the franchise too. And you did it back to back. One did it on the twenty first, and you did it on the twenty fifth of October. Two people pick Zero Ranger. So many of these are games I've just... I have no concept what they are. It's a, That one's a schmuck. Yeah, I I mean, if people want me to ask, want to ask, like, how many people pick something, I won't name names, but I can say for some of them, for sure. I, can, I have them all alphabetized here. That's how I picked uh, the options for this poll. Did anyone else pick Donkey Kong Country Returns? Uh... Dun, 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 dun. I also realized I never actually said who picked DuckTales Remastered, so that's me being an idiot. It was Alorane. Alorane picked the game we played today. That was their recommendation. Okay, Chad, I'm back. Cole, it'll be okay, buddy. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I, I, I just had to step away. Like, And I know, okay, I also want to clear this up. I know people are saying, like, hey, if you don't want it to be a meme, don't mention it. I mention it as a way of, of me actually saying, like, hey, if you, if you keep, like... <sighs> It's me thinking about all the stuff with all the syrup and then all the other memes in the past. I just don't want it to get so out of control that I get fucking sick of it. You gotta just mention it once and then leave it be. That's all I gotta do. Yeah. All I gotta do is just leave it, mention it once and then leave it there. Alright. Any chance of the list getting posted? Uh, anonymously? Maybe. I can probably... <sighs> we'll see, because some people do mention like their actual name. In the uh, in the messaging, and I don't want to get anyone in trouble for like picking, like why'd you pick this game? Why'd you pick this game, etc. Uh, only one person picked Donkey Kong Country Returns, which is surprising because I thought there was one for the 3D version as well. That's the only Donkey Kong game I have on the list here. Is Thanksgiving your Thursday? Yes, I don't. It, we're staying in Canada this year, so no American Thanksgiving for us. It's just a Thursday. Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. I think had a couple people. Uh, two people. Oh wait, no, no. Sorry, it's just because everyone put extra spaces in Ratchet and Clank, or no, because some people didn't use ampersand and some did. Four people picked Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. 
Two people picked a crack in time. Two people picked Tools of Destruction, and someone had Tools of Destruction, but re replaced it with a different game. Fun fact, uh... I looked at Rayman, which is right next to it. One person picked Rayman 1, one person picked Rayman 2, one person picked Rayman 3. <laughs> All, on the same day. Rayman. All on the same day. All on the same day. How many people picked Klonoa 1? There are two picks for Klonoa 1 and two picks for Klonoa 2. Both Klonoa 1 picks were the PlayStation version, not the Wii one. Alright, let's wrap up for the evening. Uh, what have I not done? I haven't done... Donos, hang on. Moon Whalers says, oh no. <laughs> We're whalers on the moon. We carry a harpoon. But there ain't no whales, so we tell tall tales and sing our whaling tune. Sing along now. I forget how the end goes anyways. We're whalers on the moon. <laughs> we carry a robot man. Robot moon whaler smashed by annoying Cyclops mutant. Or annoyed Cyclops mutant. Were you the Zone of the Enders pick, Mooch? No, I don't believe it was you. Nope, definitely wasn't you. Mooch, what do you have on this list? Uh, oh, yeah. Mooch, you have, you've only got one game on this list. You never resubmitted after. You had Tronbon on here. And uh, yeah. we already did that one. Yeah, you never resubmitted. You had an option to. Because Tronbon wasn't a uh, wasn't a sub choice; it was a mod choice. So anyone who picked Tronbon could have resubmitted, and most people did. Both Kanoa twos are the same. Yep, they're the PS2 ones. Lunatea's Lunatea's Veil. Rexinator, you. Yep, you did have battle tanks. You were the only... No, you aren't the only one. Never mind. Two people suggested battle tanks. Oh. Oh, never mind. That's the sequel. All right. So one had the original, one had the sequel. How does one submit a suggestion? If you are a sub uh, in the announcements tab in Discord, I think it's pinned, isn't it? Is it pinned in announcements? It should be. Let me check. Yes, exactly. If you are a sub and you did not suggest a game for game clearing, there's a pin in the announcements tab that should let you submit there. It's also how you can submit different options for games if you are if you wanted to change your game suggestion or if your game was actually beaten in my spare time or in a different mode, like if I picked it myself or if a mod picked it. So any, any sub that picked a game but it got picked in another category, they were free to just resubmit. But if your game was actually picked for a sub-suggestion, like, that that was it for the year. Any votes for Narita Boy? I don't even know if I own Narita Boy. No. Uh, no, it was not there. I don't know if I own it. I have to stop this, otherwise I'm just going to keep doing this for the rest of the stream. Oh, also, I don't own Narita Boy, so that would be why. Unless I spelled it wrong. Uh, catch him, kid. Cheered. Fox McCloud with the mission accomplished. Tails Haraga, congrats on the dream and friends. Thanks, Tails. I finally achieved both. And all it took was escaping a volcano. Any way for us to look and see what our old suggestion is? Unfortunately, no, because I'm the only one who has access to the list. So basically, uh, you gotta bug me for it. I was thinking maybe we should set up a thread in uh, in general or maybe an announcement that people can be like, hey, what did I have? I don't remember, and I can respond and tell you. That way I can do it off stream at my own leisure. Uh, if subs want to do that, I can. We'll, I'll figure something out for that. Anyways, let us wrap up. Let's go to art block. Art block is two, two rows and some change. Starting with... This art here from Raptoid. Weird shit too. Attack of the Ryans. I got a, a thought for a ship post in my head, and this was the result. I think it turned out fine. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Raptoid. 
Well, good news, Cole. Looks like you... It looks like you're Boba Fett. Or no, this is Django in this case? Boba or Django? No, you're a Fett no matter what, which is pretty great. He's Ryan. All these things don't actually involve oh, me right. in any also, way. Also Ryan. <laughs> also Ryan. I don't know sh I don't know shit about Star Wars, so... <laughs> Like, okay. Is there any way you can screenshot it in a readable way? It is a spreadsheet of about 700 game choices, so no. No, there is no way I can screenshot that. Uh, next up. Really? From Angels in the Window. Felt like drawing this. No reason except to de-stress again because of work. By the way, since I came in late, how is Little Bagel doing now? I remember Saturday he was being a butt, not wanting his meds. He's off his meds now. Uh, he has learned to run on three paws and keep his, his bad shoulder up, but he's also been walking a bit on it, so he is doing better. But he's now crying to go outside a bunch, so. Also, he needs supervision when he, when we peer, when he pees or poops, rather. Uh, I think he's just worried about being wounded and needs someone around to protect him, but it is very weird when he will come all the way down here to cry at me for that when I have to bring him back upstairs. <laughs> Thank you, Angels, for the Duck Rosa. Or Duck do, John. Do, do, you guys, over there. do you guys know that Bubba's not me? It, I'm just realizing this now. That's the second one where you've used Bubba's face. <laughs> oh, <I'm a> <laughs> I didn't even notice that part. No, 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 no that is actually Bubba, because your face is right there. You're you're the Stormtrooper. Ah, there I am. There I am. Yes. You're gotcha, fine. gotcha. You're I fine. didn't see that before. You're covered. You're cool, covered. cool. <laughs> Next up from Kid Ark Storm. Uh, it's officially the 23rd here on the East Coast, meaning it's officially now the second anniversary of the Egg Pack. Time has flown by, but like last year, joining this community was one of the most monumental events of my life, as it has led me to meet so many individuals when, whom I'd soon later to call friends and some of my best friends. With the second year uh, in now, still more changes to go on and new deepening friendships had occurred. Uh, not to mention joining the community Egg Pack staff. All in all, I'm thankful to all my friends, co-workers, uh, and head of the Egg Pack. For a second, I thought I was skipping lines unintentionally. Sorry about that. Uh, this year, as it may be evident, I'm doing a bit more with my piece in comparison to the last, but I decided to decide from adding more peeps was to parody a game cover art. I'll let folks guess and give the answer when the post is complete. Thanks, John, for enabling artists to come into a welcoming community, and I would love to thank Bear, Aelita, and the rest of the Egg Pack mod and staff team for keeping the art community running and stable. No worries, Kid Ark. Your helping with the tagging has been invaluable. Trust me. I have really appreciated your helping with that amongst everyone else that helps from the Egg Pack. So thank you all so much for your hard work. As for the cover, it does look really familiar. The two... <sighs> the orb that they're standing on along with the shadows on the back makes me think of something else, but I can't think of what exactly. It's probably not this, but it makes me think of Kingdom Hearts. It's you know what? Actually, it kind of... Yeah, that might just be Kingdom Hearts 2, actually. <laughs> A lot of people are saying Kingdom Hearts 2. A lot of people are... Yeah, no, that's, that's straight up Kingdom Hearts 2. Okay, good. Cool. Uh, although I don't see the, the people on the side. But, um... Here, let me just, for comparison. There you go, there's a comparison shot. Oh yeah, I can see it now. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right, next up. I feel bad, Kid Ark. I had to stop right before their art and I think they had to go to bed. Sorry, Kid Ark, if you went to bed, but thank you for the art. I can't wait to see the finished result. Uh, next up is me getting my notes back again from Nasu Blue. My brain, DuckTales? Okay, let's draw a duck. How is this stream relevant? Eh, let's stick a toque on the duck and call it an Ultron. That'll do. There you go. Done and done. Dust off your hands. Done perfectly. Next up, from Begrudgingly Waluigi, my favorite action star, Chat Lee. Oh, no. Here he is, Chat Lee, ready to do some martial arts. <laughs> I forgot about yeah. Chat Lee. It's not Chat Lee, it's Chat Lee. <laughs> Chat Lee has a sub here. How could you forget, Ryan? It's, he's not very talkative, all right? But he's very talkative. Can't you see all those words coming off of his face? 
<laughs> nice. I didn't expect this to be animated, by the way, when I clicked on it. <laughs> would you look? Would you look at that? Gandhi, John has learned how to use nukes. They grow up so fast these days. <laughs> that seems dangerous. From I have good day, everyone. Meme poster, but animated. I don't know. Just taking a break from finishing that music video. I promise. Small update: the video won't be done in time for November. That's fine. Don't worry. So everyone, how's everyone's him day been? <laughs> Thanks, I. <laughs> Was that another callback to Hambos? Oh, let's start that conversation up again. And moving on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. Please don't shake the baby. Had a drawing of Rosa John wearing similar clothes to Scrooge McDuck, but I needed to make this before I forgot. Thanks. Thanks before. <laughs> God. <laughs> Baby. The baby. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. God damn it. I'm Ryan. I'm Ryan. I'm Ryan. No, I'm Ryan. I'm Ryan. I'm Spartacus. Too old of a movie reference. I mean, I feel like the I'm Spartacus thing lives on pretty well. Even if people haven't seen the movie, they know that quote. Eventually, I'll see the movie. I you, I don't feel like you don't really need to watch Spartacus. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll never see the movie. I think I'm all right. I just got the okay from professional movie critic John. Oh yes, I'm famous for my movie criticism. <laughs> I can tell you all the dumb shit that happens in a fucking Steven Seagal movie, but no. Actual cinema, no, I'm out. <laughs> I think the fanciest movie I've ever watched was a Scanner Darkly. I guess I watched Clockwork Orange, I guess that counts. <laughs> Ryan, from Camille. <laughs> Kaka, I'm Moth Meal, the last Ryan, now in jail. <laughs> now excuse me while I hide in a corner of shame. <laughs> This is just going so many places. Actually, that went five different directions. <laughs> Nicely done, Camille. Next up, also from Camille, it's Beefaroo. Also, I'm a bit late, but what if Beefaroo was in Sonic Mania? He would be a precious boy, very precious, and very tall, too. Nice and lean. <laughs> baby, 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 baby. He's very cute. Thank you, Camille. That is so cute. Also, also... Also, why the heck not? Let's roll with this bad art train baby in Rosa the Banui. Very inspired by Aelita's mod of Sonic Mania. Go follow her on Twitch and Twitter. She deserves it. And a design for Rosa the Bunny by Weedy posted here on the Buru. Now, forgive me uh, bothering you. I will shrink into the corner of shame. I like. I actually like the Rosa the Bunny that a couple people have been doing now. They've been they've been solid choices. Why everybody with the shame? Also, no shame. It looks good. Thank you, Camille. I can send you Grand Budapest Hotel. Dude, I barely get through my action movies. I wouldn't I wouldn't exactly go ahead sending me like like lost in translation and stuff like that. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot. I watched Hotel Rwanda in a movie theaters. That would be the actually the the most movie movie I've watched. The most serious movie. Oh, I'm actually doing art during Art Block for once. Wow. Oh, nice. From cool. Nasu Blue. So my brain went and did a silly Beagle Boys? More like Bagel Boys, am I right? He would be a criminal. He totally would. Thank you, Nasu. Next up. It looks like a BVA comic from Tiger. Sometime before the attack on the BVA, Scout is spy. I have a door, you know. Juliana? I see my reputation precedes me. If you're about to ask why I've graced you with my presence, then let me ask my own question. Why is the most powerful psychic in the Johnniverse hideaway playing video games? Those BVA goons, perhaps? Come with me and I'll we'll unleash your full power. Or if you'd prefer, I could take those powers off of you. Well, if you put it like that, how can I refuse? Oh god, of course she's on that side. Of course she's on Juliana's side. I visited Goose John in her room and has been broken into and she's been missing. I hope she's okay. For the record, Negative didn't know I already had plans for Goose when he made his Psychonauts picture, so that's unfortunately considered non-canon for the war. Oops. I mean, yeah, I'm. she's just chaos, so I'm not surprised she would jump over to Joliana, but that's a bummer. Thank you, Tiger. The BBA storyline continues. Meanwhile, in Urban Dictionary, these are... 
There are, there. oh sorry, 3,257 entries containing the word booty. This is valuable information, thank you. Dead serious, but I made myself hungry from wanting pork buns. <laughs> See, she had to make sure she got the biggest shorts possible to tell you that important information. Ryan, I will say this, I love how somehow every time you find the weirdest yet most fitting thing to put on these on her booty shorts. I love that this is a <laughs> reoccurring thing constantly. There are two things that you do with the with the alts that always makes me laugh. Rosa's like weirdly detailed booty shorts and Hydra always wearing the movie a movie script as a shirt. <laughs> Those two things are just like the dumbest things, but they've also made me laugh every time. So thank you for both. Also, she really enjoys the pork buns. I heard something about bigger earlier, and my stylist went zoom. <laughs> Girl, you don't need an excuse to draw Rosa big. You do that already. Just do it whenever you feel like. But thanks, Ryan. And with that, folks, I think we are done, though, for the evening. Yeah. I already mentioned schedule for the week. Wednesday is going to be a sub night, so subs, check the Discord for information on Wednesday. If something changes last minute, I'll probably know Tuesday. We'll see. We'll see. But that's the tentative plan now. What's our raid message, everybody? I had to do the math for this one. Oh my god, did you actually count? <laughs> <laughs> Chatley, Chatley's pretty good. Is there no end to this madness would be a good throwback to the beginning of the stream. We Are Ryan <laughs> is also kind of funny. I didn't want to suggest that one. Felt a little narcissistic. Honestly, We Are Ryan might be my favorite. I'm saying we are Ryan. That's my vote. I can follow the raid and be like, hi, I'm Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Himbo Leia's is also kind of funny. There's some good ones tonight. We did. That was all in the Himalayas, wasn't it? That yeah. whole chat. Oh my god. <laughs> no. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, it was. I didn't tell you that, but it was, guys. That's actually pretty smart. <laughs> Which is actually ironic now that I just said that. <laughs> I kind of want to go with Himalayas now, actually. I think I've been swung <laughs> over there. Uh, well, let's see who we can raid first, and that may dictate which one we go with. Yeah. Oh, hey, we can make up for last time where we couldn't raid LNR. We can raid him now. He's playing he's speed, well, speed running, quote unquote. Oh, actually, I think he's about to finish the game. I think he literally just finished Yonoid. Yeah, we're doing himbo lays. <coughs> it works. It's a good message. All right, and uh, before I do that, I guess I did mean to show some people this. Uh, here, let me just slide that over so it's not that visible. Uh, this is the spreadsheet of all the suggestions, so you can just see what I've skimmed through and some of the ones I've pulled and some I haven't pulled. So you can see there's a lot in there. Here's LNR. It was too hard. No, dudes, I'm leaving. Switch, switch directions. I'm out. I'm out. Guys, I'm really leaving. Switch directions. Switch directions immediately. Switch. It's over. Himalayas. It's over, guys. Leave, leave. This is it. I'm going to the end screen in like 30 seconds. Switch directions. Alert, Mr. Proton John, Mr. Page of Mr. Proton John, switch directions. Proton, leave. Switch direct, Mr. Proton, Page and Mr. Paging Mr. Proton <laughs> John, switch directions fast, fast and hard. Mr. Proton, fast and hard. You have to leave. Look, <laughs> look what's happening. <laughs> Damn. Thank you. He changed it. He changed it. Bless your heart. Switch directions. He fucking changed it. Bless your heart. But leave. All right, fine. Thank you, but leave. We have to raid somebody else. Fine. Around. I'll go raid someone else. <laughs> fine, I'll go raid Andy. We'll go raid Andy. Okay. <laughs> 
that might be a first, actually. No, I don't think it is. <laughs> is it? Is it not? That was still hilarious. All right, here we go. And he's currently working on Balrog speedruns for Super... Uh, which version of Street Fighter 2 oh, is he playing right now? Oh, oh, this looks like Genesis. Time. That's definitely no, Genesis. No, I do. Let, let's just stop gameplay immediately. Himbolayas. Now I've heard <laughs> of the Himbolayas. They're uh, like in Switzerland or something. <laughs> One of them European. There was countries. some time when uh, Steven and John were raiding each other. That's true. Oh, it right. happened. Right. It was really funny. The Himbolayas. I don't. I don't know what that is. And at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. This is uh, the, the Proton John. All right, go give Andy some love. He's a good dude. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Good night, everybody. Later. Good night. Yes, sir.